Hey y'all, it's Fear back again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 2nd of May, 2022. It was Mount Farm Monday. Uh, look, it was good fun. I enjoyed it. I think it was a good stream. Nice and chill, many chats. I hope you like watching the VOD as much as we enjoyed it during stream. If you'd like to catch us live and participate, uh, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. If you add a slash schedule to that, you'll see when I will next be going live in your time zone. And uh, if you want to catch me, like, not live, but not offline either, social media is the place to do it, in particular Instagram. Lots of experimentation with new types of content lately. Uh, head on over there. You can jump down into the description box and find links for all my social media. Uh, very convenient, easy to access, all that kind of fun stuff. Anyway, enough about me. Enjoy the VOD, and we'll see you in chat next time. Let's get cracking then, shall we? Hello, hello. Welcome on in, Zam. Well done on first. Well done, Dupe on second. J or oh, mm, so close. Uh, well done, K on third. Also fairly close. Dupe has contributed to the toy hunting stream challenge. If you would like to do the same, you can do that at the campfire button underneath the chat box. If you want to see me hunt some toys next month. That has begun our new goal. Uh, hello, Minth. Hello, Shiba. There we go, 69th for mints. Well done. Competition is fierce today. It is. It is. And I mean, like, I'm not upset with this. I am, uh. It's just me. Definitely not against that. Okay, so I don't actually have any completed quests. I just said I did. Good. Brilliant. Um. Ooh, that shuffled around a bit. Uh, Musketeers? Musketeer. So let's place that one. Make sure you follow the link in chat, log in with your Twitch account, and drag and drop your units to the battlefield to assist us in winning the, uh, the battle. Battle is the word I'm looking for. Fantastic. Hello, Rel. Welcome in. Bones Tom from Dupe. Axiom, thank you so much for the cheer. Thank you. Where's the give me? Ah, oh, and another one. My god. Thank you so much for the cheer. Much appreciated. Uh, where am I going? We're hearthing. Brilliant. Wonderful. Thank you for your generosity. Much appreciated. Uh, Viridian Sharp Talon. No. Today's... Let me... Let me tell you. Today's mount is going to mess with some people. It's gonna mess with some people. Not necessarily everyone. There might be a couple of people out there who like no, but this is this is a this is a tricky one. This is a really tricky one. So we have, as you can see, green, lots of green in my crease and around my eyes. Uh, we then have it's a maroon on the outside, and that's silver on the inside. It's very 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 shiny silver, but it obviously you know cameras. We all know how it works. We know how it works. Um, this is a mount that I own. And it's a ground mount. Best of luck. Bestest of lucks. Um, but it is not the Viridian Sharp Talon. Ah! K, Rel, and one other, and Stank. Thank you very much all for your uh, contributions. Fantastic. Why is that glowing red in the middle? Is that new? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna pop this up because we didn't actually get. Hi, the sun well. <gasps> Trud! Trud with the resub! 13 months! Thank you so much for your support and generosity. Much appreciated. Hope you're having a fantastic day. A fantastic day. Um. Mess with Sheep. I think it might mess with Sheep a little bit. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Enjoy your lurk, cat. We'll see you soon. Bleak Hoof Ruins Strata. No. Amani Battle Bear. Nope. Good afternoon. How's it going? Very well, thank you. Very well. I've had a relatively productive day, which is good. Always like that. Mighty Caravan Brutosaur. Nope. Um, it's going okay. Good to hear. Armored Rosashi Raptor. Nope. How about yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Doing all right, thank you. Doing all right. Green Skeletal Warhorse. Nope. You're gonna be so angry. So angry. 
It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> I reckon I've done a really good job. Like a really good job of this one. Um, but you're going to be so angry. Fuming already. Good. Good, good. Good, 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 good. Bile Tooth Nasher. No. So, um, in case you missed it, we are finishing off the remainder of the tunes I didn't get to smack against Shah uh, on the, the Wednesday, Friday last week. We did have still a couple, uh, I think I've got like six left or something like that. Um, so I'm going to knock those over and then we're going to go back to our regularly scheduled Mount Farm Monday programming, starting with Covenant Assaults across six tunes. Um, because what I realized was going through everything on one tune, then everything on the next tune, then everything on the next tune, although it's like the efficient way to do it, I have like... 18 to 20 hours worth of mount farming in my list to do so i need to focus on one mount, one mount at a time so we're going to get through covenants uh, across everyone and then we're going to do the next thing across everyone and then the next thing across everyone because that way i feel like we're actually racking up attempts on one mount and we have more of a chance to get it and i mean those covenant assault mounts are like if if it's the right assault i don't think i can check on this tune but um if it's the right assault, that's six attempts, and they're a one in twenty drop. So, like, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, Black Dragon Turtle. Nope. Black War Tiger. Nope. Um. All oh, the hydrates. Thank you, yeah, X. Hydrate. Bleak Hoof Ruin Strider. Nope. Makes sense. Yeah. I like as as nice as it is. Like doing everything on one tune and then everything on the next one. I'm just not. I'm not making the progress I want to, even though we've had like a lot of mounts drop. Not gonna, not gonna question that. Um, yeah, I feel like racking up attempts on one mount, at a, yeah, is gonna be more efficient. What is the, uh, the, what's it? Na 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 na. It's a Kyrian Assault. Right, so Kyrian don't have a mount at all that can drop. Uh, it's a toy, so I'm gonna tick off all the Covenant Assaults because I'm not gonna do it because it's only Necrolord and Night Fae, uh, because it is Mount Farm Monday, not Toy Farm Monday, uh, ugh, which means I've got to do Arcanist Code. Ah! Neke with the resub! Six months! Much appreciated! Thank you so much for your generosity and support. And we have a minute 20 to trigger a hype train if people want to unlock some fancy emotes. Uh, we do need an, a third additional person to, to do something uh, in order to trigger that. I've noticed a couple of times when I've said that people have gone and then cheered and it's the same person that's resubbed and unfortunately that won't, that's not how Twitch judges it. It's, um, yeah, three different individuals. But thank you so, so much, Neke, for your resub. Much appreciated. Hope you're having an awesome day. Ah! Like that. X, thank you for the Hi, gifted Sunny. sub. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Uh, Red Skeletal Horse. No. Good afternoon, Jazz. Welcome back. Happy Monday to you too, Nike. I did have a good weekend. It's a long weekend here in Queensland. So uh, Jazz had today off as well. So it's been, yeah, we've had like a whole series of long weekends in a row. It's been pretty, pretty nuts. Child of Torkali. Nope. Sherford McKenna Hog. Nope. Toy Toiling Tuesdays. I don't stream Tuesdays or Thursdays. So, nope. Oh, look. Sure. Have a good stream. Sleep time. Enjoy. X. Rest well. We'll see you next time. We'll be here again. Ah, oh, well done, Kate. Congratulations. Did someone say toy? Why not chip in some embers towards Fiat's toy hunting stream? Uh, correct. Correct. You should all absolutely chip in towards Fiat's toy hunting stream. Absolutely. I really, like... It's like Archivist Codex to get to tier 6 to get that mount is like next on the list. But I, like, ugh. Farming that rep is the most painful thing in the world. I swear to RNG Jesus. Um. This. Codex Faction. There we go. That's the one. Uh, green shadow pan riding tiger. Nope. Surf jelly. Nope. On to the next tune. Hi. 
buy this five to go. There we go. Hey, Rel with the gifted sub. Much appreciated. Thank you so much for your generosity. Amazing. And we have cleared tier one, level one of the hype train. Amazing. Amazing. 22% into level two. Phenomenal. Thank you, Rel. Uh, Maddened Chaos Runner. Nope. <clears throat> mm, okay. Realistic amount of activities of a daily cap. Loot the killer following, no longer seeing them or receiving rewards for the day. Unlocking farming rep. Relic farming. One time call three relic quests. Rank one, rank two, rank three, rank four, rank five. I've done all those. Um, can you please go over there? Southport. Okay, I need to go to um frenzied fell talon. No, red shadow pan riding tiger. Yes, <laughs> it is the red shadow pan riding tiger. Don't hate me. It's green. The red shadow pan riding tiger is green. Said it'd be Trixie. <laughs> What's your number, shapes? <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He man. Uh, I'm not sure what that is in reference to Dwight, but I hope you are having a fantastic day today. Welcome to chat. Fifty, brilliant. How's that for a curveball? I know, right? I'm like, hmm. This one's gonna, this one's gonna trip some people up. I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Wait, that's illegal, but it's not. It's actually factual. Actually factual. Uh, all right, here we go. This one's Genesis Alpha One Deluxe Edition. I don't know what that means, but it's yours now. Well done. This way. Um, Mecha Spider. Does it fly? Ah, it's in reference to Battle Cat. Oh, okay, brilliant. Yes, I did not understand that reference. Thank you, Duke, for clarifying. Much appreciated. That's all right. I, I don't get lots of references. <laughs> Can I... Sp spider? Wait. Mecha spider. Mecha spider. Scrap forge mecha spider. There we go. It does. Brilliant. Um... Uh, the green one is red and white. It's in reference to the armor. The color that they named it is reference to the armor. That, or the devs did an oopsie and couldn't be bothered fixing it. Which, you know what? Same. Same. Uh, if you are keen on un unlocking some uh, Hype Train emotes, if you haven't grabbed your, your tier 1 or tier 2 ones yet, you still have a chance. We've got just under a minute left on the Hype Train. Uh, if you chip in, I think, what's the minimum bits? Is it 50 or 100 or something like that? But if you chip that in, you get on the leaderboard for the hype train, and then when the hype train finishes, you unlock an emote. Um, so if that is something you're interested in, that opportunity is available to you, uh, but not for long. Um, do I have to do Nax and Ulduar again? I see, see. Which one is... Which, which one is supposed to be replaced with ICC? I mean, you don't have to do any of it. Um, but if you're looking for something that hasn't dropped and you want it to drop, then yeah, you do need to do it to get it to drop, unfortunately. <laughs> and it does, it recently made them flyable. It's very cool. Very, very cool. 100, I think it is 100. Okay, cool. Awesome. There you go. Collect rains are heavily on the cloud server. If only with that easy cycle. And then the little tiny text says, this mount has a very low drop rate. 
No, really. I've collected all the level one emotes. Amazing! Amazing. Well done. And thank you so much to everyone who contributed to the hype train. I hope you got some emotes unlocked. Enjoy. Enjoy. Um, the mounts? Yeah, you'll get them. You'll get them. They'll drop. They exist. I have both of them. So you're good. you get them eventually. You just gotta keep trying. Just lasso the dragon. She can't be that hard. <laughs> we can't see the dragon though. Where does it come from? Where does it go? Into my bags, hopefully, eventually. One day. Last two trains I've joined didn't give me any emote. Ah. Oh. That might have been... So if you've unlocked all the level 1 and all the level 2 ones and it does a level 2 train, you can't get another emote. Does that make sense? But um, the other ones, if it wasn't a high enough contribution, um, I know, like, obviously a single sub at tier 1 does it. But um, the... Uh, like, bits, there is a minimum threshold. You can't just chip in one bit and have it count. Uh... But yeah, if you've already unlocked the entire- like, my- my thing there was you have, uh, you've already collected all level 1 emotes. Um, so I didn't get one either, because that's- but yeah, the, the streamer usually gets one from a hype train that's done in their channel. But I've got all the level 1 ones. Um, I'm not sure about 2 and 3, etc, etc. Um, I think last time we got a train to level 5, I got a level 5 emote, so I don't think I've unlocked all of those ones. But, um, yeah, there is only a certain, like, set of them, and then- Every so often, unannounced of course, they don't tell us, but every so often they drop those ones and have a new set that you can unlock to encourage people to like keep doing the thing. It's kind of cute. Uh, choo choo, well done, Neke! Oh, that is adorable. That's super cute. Uh, hey Josh, for a reason to dislike serve hunters, every key has too many melee in Volcanic Week. Yeah, look. Volcanic is not a super nice, cheerful one, that's for sure. Uh, I must have got all the tier one ones. Didn't think I had that many. Yeah, my I got a message that said you have you have collected all the tier one hype train emotes, and they had a button that said show me. And I'm presuming that when you press show me, it opens up your emotes and shows you where they are. Um. um where are we? Global. Under the Twitch hype train. There you go. I've got quite a few hype train um, emotes. But yeah, there's a. Uh, yeah, there's. um. You can kind of tell which ones are of which sets because I think at the moment they're all like cartoon animals. There was a point where they were all dolphins. There's a point where they were all photorealistic animals, uh, etc., etc. Like there's um, different sets that you can kind of collect over time, um, which is yeah, it's kind of funky. Kind of funky. I was hiding under a notification. Ah, there you go. Ah, oh, there you are. Well done, Rel. Congratulations. I only need rock my mount for me to finally leave one behind. Nice. Well done, Dwight. Congratulations. Also managed two plus three a sixteen necro wake. Aha! Congrats. Good job. Oh, thank you, Josh. Much appreciated. Ha, oh, dearie me. So this is um my fifth last tune. I've got four more after this one. Uh, so there is still a chance that I could get the mount to drop, but we'll see. I've only got four hundred and seventy-two attempts so far, uh, and it is a one in two k. So I'm not really expecting it to drop anytime soon. But hey. Gotta do what we can do. Mm. OBS is being a numpty. Uh, hmm. I got some more news today. Completely unrelated to any other news that I've received in the last couple months. And it's it's very good news. Very good news. Oh dear. All other news. Yep. Yep. Um oh. Let me 
me a second. I wonder, I think I, mm, hang on. In the right channel. Good. There we go. Um, pressure hair looks nice. Thank you, Michael. Yeah. Um, we dyed it on Saturday night. Saturday night we put all the dye in, and then I washed it out yesterday morning. Uh, so it is still very fresh, and I still have a kind of a bit of a scuffed hairline, but that's okay. <laughs> it it rubs off eventually. It takes a few days, but it goes away, and it's all good. A few people checked Instagram lately. Ah, yes, Fia did post her entry in the Estelle miniskirt competition. It's not fantastic, but it's also the very first time I've like recorded anything specifically to put on Instagram. And um, I've learned lots of things about it. Um, for example, the ratio. Um, it's not your regular phone ratio. You need to crop it to four by five. So, so I've learned that for next time. Um, I, I've I've learned several things and I've now I've just today actually edited another two videos that I'm gonna put on Instagram that aren't real, so not clips, and they look so much better um because of what I've learned from the first round. So yeah, definitely go and engage with that. Um there uh, basically it's a it's a competition for Yes style influences, of which I am one. Um, and let me double check what you can win. It's not like a big, huge, oh my god, that's an incredibly ridiculous kind of dealy, but it's also not crap. <laughs> it is something that I would like to have. Um, so give me just a second and I'll, I'll figure out exactly uh, what it is. Uh, right, so 20 people are going to be chosen and each of them are going to receive 100 US dollars. So that's not bad. That's not too shabby. Um, it is, to, to be fair, to be very clear and not try to mislead anybody, it is 100 US dollars uh, coupon for YesStyle, so it is to be used on, on YesStyle's website, but it means that I can get clothes that I need because clothes have holes and I'm trying to clear out my wardrobe, uh, but I can't because if I do that, I'll have no clothes left. Uh, so, so it'll be very handy for me to be able to pick up a few bits and pieces um, and have them shipped to me free of charge. Uh, so yes, um, definitely do the interacty thing. Um, and if you like any of the stuff, that all the codes for actually shopping are in the uh, in the description box, which is nice and convenient. I tried to do a help. I tried to do a help. Uh, we need two hundred eighty-four thousand embers to make Fear Hunt for some fun toys. That is one hundred forty-two people to donate. All you need to do is click the little fire under and to the left track box. Hit that big old bar that says Toy Hunting Stream. Right. Um, where is it to? Uh, donate 2k up to 2k embers or you can donate multiple times up to that point each day so each day you can do 2k but because I don't stream every day it's a um uh, so it's 2k every stream uh embers are completely free currency to spend uh, and you get your embers back if we don't reach the goal you may notice that I have upped the goal it was it used to be 250k for a full week and I've upped it to 300k because you guys were getting it entirely too easily. Like it was just, it was being smashed out of the park every time. So yeah, I upped it. Uh, for your posts are entering the Estelle Minister competition, you should go engage with the post. Yes, please. I'm loving the engagement we've been getting. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. Like seeing and seeing what people, different people like in terms of like their taste in clothing and stuff and, and colors and all that is super interesting. I love it. 
Need to reach 75k embers today to be on track for our goal. How will these be selected? The winners are made. It just says um, best content will be chosen. Um, it doesn't say how or like if it's a random draw or anything like that. It's just, yeah. So I have a feeling they're just going to pick. It, it will probably be out of a hat, honestly. Um, but yeah, there is another one coming up. One that's been, it's like the competition's been announced already, but I haven't posted my entry yet. Uh, and that one is being, they're, they're picking 10 people to get a hundred dollar coupon. And then, I think it's a hundred or a hundred coupon, I don't remember. Anyway, they're picking 10 people to win round one and they get a hundred bucks each. And then out of those 10, they pick five and then they're gonna post those five on the Yes Style page and whoever gets the most likes will win. Uh, 500 or 400 so it's it's so because the person who wins second round gets 400 they will have already gotten the 100 from the first round so it'll be a total of a 500 prize so i'm like not again it's not happening again um <laughs> but uh there are there are so many yes style influencers that have communities like 20 million times the size of mine so it's all good, but hey, it's fun. It's challenging me to step outside my comfort zone and create new types of content that I've never done before. And that's that's what it's all about. I'm trying to learn about that kind of stuff. And if that, like if I post something like that and it performs well, then it's an indicator to me that maybe I should try it again sometime, even I if it's not somewhere. for competition. Uh, Trapsy. Oh, Chaos, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Much appreciated. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you for your generosity. Uh, speaking of clothes, I'm going through mine and starting to try and add more color into my life. Thrifting some really cute colorful shirts has made me happy. Yay, I'm so pleased to hear that, Sheba. That's wonderful. Hello, Chaos, doing very well. How are you? How are you? Hi, the Sunwell. Ewok! From Trud. Trud has gifted a sub to Overgrown Ewok. Much appreciated. Thank you so much, Trud. Very generous. Oh my goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. Dupe anything green doesn't matter what it is yet. <laughs> oh, thank you everyone who's contributed. Ember so far, 10% in half an hour is not bad. Good lord. No, it's not at all. Far out. I need to get to 25%. I'm sure we can do it. Uh, hey, Chad. What add-on did you just use to load the individual guides? That's Zygor. It's under here. I've got it here. I just have it out the way because I had too many things open on my UI a little while back. Uh, but that's Zygor. Yeah, welcome to chat. Hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you, Zam. Yep, Zam, Zam has dropped the, the link for you. Some streamers set the goal too high. I had one that even if everyone who watched put in 2k channel points every day, it was an impossible goal. Yeah, that's... I'm not, I'm not aiming for that. Um, when you... When you put in how many points and how long, it tells you you'll need X number of people to contribute the max each day to get this goal completed. And because I stream four out of seven days, I double it because I'm taking three days out. So I just assume, you know, if I stream one out of two days, I stream a little bit more than that. So it gives it a bit more of an option. But if I, yeah, I double it and have a look. So at the moment with 300K for seven days, you need 22 people every day. So because that's, because I only stream half the days, you need approximately 44 people each day. And we're usually, we're usually pretty okay for like, if I'm looking at my average numbers, we're, we're pretty okay for 44 a day. Um, but of course it depends on whether those people want it to happen or not. So it's up to them. Ah, uh, good evening, Dono. How are you doing so far? Very well, thank you. Hope you can say the same. Uh, but yeah, Vil, that's on the streamer. Like if they if they really don't want to do something, they should just not put it up as a goal. Like, honestly. But um, yeah, the, the streamer absolutely knows what they're doing. It says it, it states it right there when you're setting it up. They they can't mess that up. Like they have to have acknowledged that and agreed that that's what they wanted to do intentionally. Um, yes. Uh, hey, Phil. 
You're like sponsored on the Blizzard homepage. Um, I'm definitely not sponsored, but I am being featured on the launcher. Yes, um, I do need to clarify that because sponsored means paid and I am not being paid by Blizzard. If I am, there's like a legal requirement to like put a big banner across the top that says sponsored by Blizzard Entertainment and stuff. So it's definitely not the case. Definitely not. Not being paid, can confirm. Uh, but yes, featured on the launcher. It's amazing. I've met so many new people and I've just had such an, a great time kind of having that little bit of additional exposure and all that kind of stuff. It's been fantastic. Truly an amazing journey. Um, I'm guessing that's how you found us, so welcome on in. I hope you're having an awesome day. Ugh, I'm trying to get comfy. Uh, you pay for that or nah? Absolutely not. Nope. Cannot do that. Not a possibility. Uh, having some sinus issues, hopefully. They get sorted soon. Oof, I'm sorry to hear that, Chaos. Yeah, fingers crossed for you, hey. Fingers crossed. Hey, Ahedon, welcome back. Doing well, thank you. Wonderful to hear, Dano. Good. I'm so pleased. How long we got? Couple minutes. All right. Let me, while we wait for Shah to Shah, uh, could you imagine if you could pay to be on the watch? <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, no. Nah. They'd have, like, I mean, obviously, as a business, it would be feasible to do so, but you'd have to have so many, like, You'd have to go through and actually watch the content and um, verify that there's someone you want the company to be associated with and all this kind of stuff because like you know anyone can do anything especially when it's live um or people can have unmoderated chats or like and, and if you're advertising that content and then people link that content to the company it's whew, mm -hmm, you'd be you'd be asking for trouble um you'd be asking for trouble uh, but look, um, maybe they will do that kind of thing in future. I have no idea. I have no input on that. I'm not an employee. I'm not a, um, I'm not really uh, anything like that. I just love to play WoW and uh, I create content. And so here we are. <laughs> Liz would absolutely have to make a whole department dedicated to it if it ever were to happen. Uh, people would basically moderate promoted streamers. Yeah, look, it's, um, well, they wouldn't necessarily have to do the moderation themselves, but they would have to, like, verify. They'd have to go through and, like, every single person who applied they'd have to go through and vouch for them. Like they'd have to go and watch the content for several hours. Cause you know, you can watch 10 minutes of a stream and get an idea of somebody, but it's not like the rest of it's different. It just ha it depends on which 10 minutes you get. Uh, Dano, Zam and Fade, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Look, there are plenty of places where you absolutely can pay to have your stream promoted, uh, but it's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You're much better off. Um, like, you, you're much better off allowing it, like, allowing it to grow organically and do it, maintaining your social presence. If you have a presence on the internet that's available 24-7, um, you know, the, the evergreen content, whenever, if you're on Twitch, you can only, people can only find you when you're live. They can only ever find you when you're live. But if you have content across Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and TikTok and YouTube and blah, 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 all the, all of the different platforms, if you have content there, people can find you 24 seven. They can stumble across a clip on TikTok and go through to your, and if they like it enough, they'll go through to your profile. And if they like more of your videos, they'll go follow your link in bio and follow you on Twitch and catch you next time sort of thing. But um, rather than the, you know, uh, striking gold and just so happening to stumble across you while you're live. Um, so yeah, all that kind of visibility really, really helps if you're trying to grow. But yeah, no, uh, I, I've never paid for my stream to be promoted. Never, not once in six and a six and a bit years. What is it? it was February. Uh, six and a quarter years. Um, not once have I paid to promote my stream. I haven't even paid for like Facebook or Instagram ads or anything like that. Not a single time. Uh, it's just, it's not, um, for this kind of content, it doesn't usually work very well. Um, but yeah, it does take work. <laughs> it, it takes the worky times. Uh, 
Um, imagine if they only came in for 10 minutes during one of your cannibalism chats. Well, that's the other, that's the other side of it, isn't it, dude? Like, they could come in and see you as this wholesome person, and then as soon as they leave, it's, like, explosions and, and racism and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it, this, the opposite can be true. If they came in and we were talking about, you know, the definition of cannibalism and where do you draw the line, that's probably going to scare them right the hell off. But as a whole, that's not what I'm about. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a minefield. It's a minefield. Like there are there are people that I've met who have been amazing, lovely people, and then I jump into one of their streams and I'm like, oh, what is this? <laughs> no, this is not my kind of content. What is going on? Um, which is fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Not all content is made for everyone, but it just, oh no, I get along with them fantastically, individually, one on one, like as people in a group in real life. But good lord, no, I can't. I can't sit through their content. It just it. It just irritates me and it's not my jam. And then there are other people who like their content I adore and I could listen and watch for hours and hours and hours and then I've met them and they're fucking assholes. <laughs> like it just, um, note to self, try to be nice at PAX. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really, really interesting. Really interesting. Um, you, but you, I'm assuming that you guys have had those kind of experiences in your lives, like, a lot as well. Like, you know, you have a person and you have this one particular thing that you have in common and you both love, you're, like, super fans of this particular thing and you, you really click whenever you're talking about You could talk about that for hours. And then outside of that, you have literally nothing in common. The only individual thing that you have in common is your love of this one thing. That's it. Um, so it's, yeah, it's really, really odd sort of feeling. Hey, it's, it's interesting. The human experience. My gosh. My gosh. <clears throat> uh, enjoy your luck, Aelin. Enjoy. Uh, finally got to 100k. Have a stream goal to contribute to. Decisions, decisions. Well, um... I'm pretty, doesn't it show you somewhere what, how much you earn per hour anyway, in terms of like, I'm pretty sure you could have a look at what your, what, how many embers you earn per hour and then make a decision on like how long, if you, if you dropped your hundred K on, on the redemption you wanted, will you earn another two K today? If you watch for the rest of stream sort of, that's kind of what I'm getting at. Um, cause I know if you're subbed, you get, uh, extra like you get a multiplier depending on what tier of sub you are on and all that kind of stuff so double check and see if you'd be able to even if you can't be here all stream you could always like afk it and then swing by just before the end of stream and drop your 2k in if, if you needed to um oh did i sit down for the shit talk ah no no i'm uh i'm very but i do not have time for drama I, like, I just don't have the energy to deal with people's drama. I just don't. If you don't like me, that's fine. Like, that's totally okay. You do not have to like me. I do not have to like others. But, like, spending that energy trying to drag somebody down that you don't like, I don't understand the point in that. That confuses me um so yeah there are like I I tend to not I tend to not shit talk simply because people aren't idiots it'll it'll get around and it'll get back to people who I would shit talk and stuff I just don't I don't waste the energy on them if I don't like them I just don't interact with them it's very simple or if I have to you be fucking cordial you be civil you do what you gotta do make a good impression on the other people who are there who, you know, might be paying you um, because the industry is tiny, especially in Australia, and people talk and you do not want a reputation for being an arsehole or a troublemaker. So no, I don't, I don't shit talk. Um, there are definitely people who I don't like because our personalities don't mesh well or because they have beliefs that contradict with my beliefs or whatever it happens to be, and that's fine. You don't have to like everybody. Um... 
just also don't be a shitlord. Like, <laughs> don't, don't, don't do it. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Life advice with fear. Yeah. But no, we were talking about, um, because somebody, a new person, was the name Phil? Phil came in and asked, uh, said I'm being, spo like, sponsored on the launcher. And I explained that I was definitely not sponsored. I uh, legally, you have to disclose if you're being sponsored. And it would be a big banner at the top of the stream. Um, uh, speaking of, I have been sponsored a couple of times by Blizzard. I've had three sponsored streams with Blizz. And they paid me for those. But they are not paying me now, to be very clear. Um, and then asked if I paid for that. If I paid for the, the launcher promotion. Uh, and so we got into a discussion about um, how it would be so difficult for Blizzard to run a program like that because they can't, They as a business, you don't want to feature someone you don't know as as your, you know, front page kind of duva. So you'd, every single person who applied, you'd have to go and actually watch their content and not just to, for 10 minutes because like 10 minutes, they could appear to be a really wholesome person and then 15 minutes later, they're spouting racist bullshit. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, you can't, You'd have to, it'd have to be such a big job. Um, I can't, I can't see them spending that much money on something like that. They already make enough money. They don't need to have a sponsorship program uh, or an advertising program set up like that. Um, so why would they waste the money on it? But yeah, it's a, it's an interesting concept. That's for sure. Uh, if he isn't a nice person, she's managed to pull the wool over our eyes for a long time. I... Yeah, honestly, I like to think that I'm a nice person. I try to be a nice person as much as I can. I absolutely am not nice sometimes. F absolutely. Like, there are there are definitely times that I have said some snarky fucking shit. Of course I have. I'm human. And I have feelings just like anyone else, and sometimes they escape out my mouth. Um, <laughs> but I do try. I actively try my best to not be a mean person. Um, and, and not spend the energy, you know, because why? Uh, but also, yeah, like, you know, there are, there are people out there who stream like one or two hours a day and they, they bank, like they make bank for doing it because their, their stuff is super high production value and it's incredibly entertaining and all they need to do is one hour and they, like everyone rushes as soon as they go online and they stay there the whole time and all this kind of stuff. And that's totally awesome for them. That's absolutely wonderful. Um, but you don't have to, like maintaining a facade for an hour is a whole lot easier than maintaining a facade for six hours. Four times a week. So I feel, I feel like you're right. I feel like if I, I feel like it would have been a lot easier for that facade to break down given how my content works. Um, but I try, so. It's <laughs> so true to you. If you click the embers, scroll down the bottom, it'll tell you how to earn them. There you go. And it should tell you how many, yes. Multiply is shown at the top. Fantastic. I once corpse camped a really big streamer because I was like, he deserves it and I'm tiny. This doesn't matter. Three weeks later when I was at BlizzCon and talked to this person, it was awkward. <laughs> oh, purse. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, I think I can math, but who knows? So like 720 a stream since I was late. Oh, is that? Okay. All right. Interesting. That sounds low, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, or just don't and be yourself. I mean, I that's generally what I do on stream. I am definitely an amped up version of myself. Like, uh, I've I've spoken about it a few times. Like, when when you're content creator, when you're on stream, um, it's it can be difficult and dangerous to be one hundred percent exactly who you are IRL versus online. It can it can be quite dangerous and it can also be difficult. Um, and uh, like I'm, I'm actually rather quiet. <laughs> IRL, I'm a, I'm a chronic lurker. Um, when I, when I make a connection with somebody and we're like quite close, then everything comes out, and I'm very much, you know, active and enthusiastic and blah 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 blah. But it's amped up on stream. Um, I talk a lot more on stream than I do IRL, uh, mostly because nobody else is talking, so I have to fill all the space. <laughs> um, and I, there's nobody to listen to uh, when I'm streaming, except sometimes Jazz. Um, so there are, there are parts of myself, and if I'm having a really, really shit go of it, like if I am not good at all, I'm not going to come on stream and be a miserable fuck. Like, um, 
if I'm if I'm truly well and truly not good at all, I will not stream because like if I if I think it would be too difficult to be, then I won't stream. Uh, but if if I'm if I'm kind of on the borderline there and I can I kind of you know put on the mask for a little bit, um, you know you talk about masking in terms of mental health and stuff like that. Um, and uh, yeah, so I, I'm quite experienced with masking. And uh, so I sometimes do that if I've had a really, like a, just a terrible day. Uh, and I come on and I'm like, hi! Uh, and my hype and my enthusiasm often bleeds into chat, but then that also affects me seeing or reading, I guess, <laughs> you guys and, and being all enthusiastic and happy and stuff, that affects my mood as well. And so it ends up lifting me up. Um, but yeah, it's not, you. Like, I'm never 100% completely and entirely, like, RL fear on stream. It is definitely, like, none of it's fake, ex like, obviously, except the masking. If you would consider masking to be fake, then yes, that is fake. That's totally valid. Um, but it's still a part of me. That is how I behave. Like, when I'm masking, that's still how I behave when I'm happy. It's not like I'm putting on some show of, of it's no, it's it's not like that. It is still who I am. It's just this part of who I am. I don't show some of the other bits, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but yeah, you'll find that that happens with like a lot of creators as well. Um, they'll talk about their experiences. They'll talk about what they're going through and who they are and all that kind of stuff. But you've got to keep a slice of it private. You've got to keep a bit of it for yourself and for your loved ones and, and all that kind of stuff, because it's, um, if you give all yourself away, it can be exceptionally draining, like exceptionally draining. Really, truly. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that sounds slow to me too. Uh, I mean, when you got blocked in real life and yes, it was who you probably think of when you think of really big streamer. Deserves to be corpse scammed. I didn't think of anyone. Sorry, Purse. I um, I don't really tend to pay attention to like who the names are and stuff like that. I just, <laughs> I I'm too busy focusing on my own shit. I guess. Sorry. Um. Uh, I like your personality. Thanks. I made it special just for you. Yeah. Look. <laughs> nah. Um. Yeah. It is still who I am. It's just some bits are amped up and some bits are toned down and. Yeah, just some slight tweaks. You'd still, like, obviously you'd recognize me, like, physically. And I, I feel like... I feel like if... Uh, how do I explain? You'd recognize my personality, IRL. Like, it's not like I'm a complete... Like, I'm not a completely different person. It might just kind of be like, oh, wow, you're not... You don't talk a whole lot. Like you're you're quieter, IRL, and you know those kind of things. It's just those little differences um, that you might you know pick up on, but it's not like it's a whole entire game changer. Yeah. I was actually when I was talking to Dad the other night, I was like, I talk a lot. Like I talk over people, and I do this and that and this sometimes. Like with the people I'm really really close to. I, I can I I can rant. I still rant. I still give fear talks IRL. Um I spe like when I'm really close with people, especially, like it happens a lot, and I often find myself accidentally talking about myself or or that kind of, you know, those sort of things. And I'm like, and it's, you know, I've I've been training myself to do you know, the whole um the the tips that I give to new streamers, that whole, if somebody asks you a question, don't answer with two or three words, spread it out into a rant, like really expand on it, give them paragraphs of an answer because it's engaging and it lets other people pick up on different things in your conversation that they can reply to. And it makes, you know, if someone drops into your stream at that exact moment, it makes the stream look more active and engaging and da 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 da, all that kind of stuff. I find myself doing that IRL like a lot as well. And I'm getting to that point where I'm like, you need to stop and go back to the two to three word answers occasionally. <laughs> it's, yeah. So, and, and dad was literally like, yeah, but it's your job. That's just your job bleeding over into your real life. That happens to literally everyone. And I'm like, yeah, but I feel like I come across as really self-absorbed. And he's like, yeah, you probably are. I'm like, <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> but he's not wrong. So there's that. <laughs> Ah oh dear. 
Uh, I mean, that's natural for everyone, depending on social situation. It, yeah, and that's one of the other things he said as well, but it's, um, it's hard to explain without actually seeing the situation. It happens a lot and to more of an extent that it usually would in in a what I would consider to be a regular relationship. Um, I actively have to kind of cut myself off mid-paragraph, not mid-sentence, like I'll finish my sentence and then go, nope, okay, I have to stop there. Oh, and now get them to answer too and then turn the question around. You know, someone asked me how I am and it's like, oh yeah, da 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 How are you? But I have to consciously make the decision to say that. Yeah, it's unfortunate. But I'm working on it. And that's what counts. That's what counts. I wonder if us viewers are the same. Possibly. Possibly. I mean, if you've ever typed something out and then gotten rid of it out of chat and backspaced it without sending it, then probably, yeah. Accidentally talking about yourself in front of family. The horror. <laughs> not just family. Like, loved ones isn't just... It's not just, uh, like, related family. It's the family you choose as well. And so, yeah, I have friends and I'll be talking and talking and talking and then I'm like, oh, right, yes, no, your turn. <laughs> uh, that's fine. I, I get there. I get there. Comment was mainly for everyone else. Ah, gotcha. They thought of a name. It was probably right. I got you. Understood. Thank you, Purse, for clarifying. Much appreciated. Good job, Dad. Dad's awesome. Dad tells it how it is. Dad's awesome. But I know it's coming from a place of love. So it's like, yeah. I know that if he's telling me something about me that sucks, it's because he feels like I need to know it to improve as a human. Um, and he never just flat out insults me. Like it's, yeah, tone is so important. So important. <laughs> You're not wrong. Calculators also count. They do. They do. Hell yeah. Are you just coming about meeting famous folk at VidCon typed out and deleted it? Oh, there is, you guys get so many fancy conventions in the US and stuff. It's just, although, did you guys see that uh, Melbourne has got a second gaming convention? They have scored themselves another another con. Uh, hey, is there a reason you're always on the Battle Network page advertised? Hey, Demetrius. Um, welcome on to chat. First of all, uh, thank you for being here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Yeah, there is. Um, so there have been plenty. In fact, if you tune in, uh, if you check the launcher on Wednesday afternoons, uh, you'll find uh, Nick Beckwith. Nick, I think it's Beckwith. Now I'm afraid I've said his name incorrectly. Um, he started being advertising as well. We have had a bunch of different streamers featured on Launcher. Some of them have moved on uh, to other games. Some of them have asked Blizzard to stop featuring them for a variety of reasons. Um, there's a whole lot of bunch of, like, there have been a wide variety of people featured. It's just that I've not stopped playing WoW. I've not had enough bad experiences to want to, to hide away from it and cancel it. Um, and I'm really, really bloody consistent. Um, they schedule all that kind of stuff in advance. Uh, so if you've got a streamer who wants to be featured kind of thing and, you know, they, they don't know when they're going live until two hours beforehand, uh, or their schedule's kind of all over the place, uh, because of work and things like that, uh, it can make it really difficult for the company to schedule that kind of stuff because they don't know when they're going live and they could have to pull it at the last second or they have to, like, it's, it kind of gets a bit messy. Um, so I've been told by my by my uh, contact at Blizzard that the big reasons are that, you know, I've I've handled it well. Like I've, you know, we've had more people come in, we've had trolls and we've gotten rid of them and it's all been fine. Um, I am still playing the game quite actively and I'm consistent as hell. I, I give them a, a schedule at the start of every month. Like this is what I'm doing for the month. And then they pick and choose when they want. Like I, I don't ask for it. I don't, uh, I just, you know, they, they told me to give them my schedule and so I did. Uh, and so they pick when they want to put me up there, and it's been fairly frequently. Uh, but it looks like they are, um, they've had a few other people that they've had in mind, and they're kind of figuring out when they're going to put them on and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's really, really awesome. The bigger, the bigger the WoW community in Australia and New Zealand, the better it is for all of us as creators, uh, because if head office... Uh, in, in the US sees that they have plenty of streamers being cycled through the launcher and stuff like that, then it means that, you know, they might actually direct some more of their attention to us and we might get some, you know, opportunities here as, as Aussies and Kiwis rather than a lot of those big opportunities being over in the uh, over state side. 
so yeah, no, I'm I'm really excited to see who else they start featuring. It's great. Looking forward to it. Uh, I am Australian, correct. That is where I am from. Um, not in the US, just happened to go there twice. <laughs> VidCon, love it. Fantastic. Um, look like Nick Beckwith, yeah. Yeah. He's awesome. Definitely go check out his content. He's really good. Really good. Uh, he's actually, he's a voice actor as well, I believe. Um, from the limited research I can remember doing. Uh, <laughs> My memory is trash, uh, but I believe he's a voice actor. So yeah, no, for sure. Go do the thing. Go do the thing. Throw him a follow. Uh, that's actually how I found you on the launcher. Oh, fantastic, Tark. Well, welcome on in. Uh, he's in my recommended channels at the moment. Fantastic. Funny you say that. I've never seen anyone else before. Yeah. It also really depends on when you open the launcher. I know um, back when they were featuring, like there were, I think, four or five of us on rotation, like a lot of us sitting there, um, but a lot of them only stream during the day. So if you work during the day and you don't open your launcher, you might be on Twitch, you might be listening to stuff, but if you didn't actually open your launcher during the day, you were never going to see them because that was the only time that they streamed. That was their schedule. Um, it just so happens that I, many years ago, optimized my schedule for Australians coming home from work. Uh, <laughs> so like that's the, the time slot that I've chosen for myself and it, it happens to work really well for people seeing me on the launcher. Um, and there's been... Uh, quite a bit of hate um, directed in uh, directed in my direction is not a good sentence, but yeah, um, there's been a bit of hate um, just because I'm there and, you know, there are different attributes that I happen to fulfill that people don't seem to like and that's okay. You know, that's all right. I, yeah, just so happens that um, I happen to be live when they're launching their games. Uh, but if you don't like seeing me there, uh, you can launch your games without using the launcher. It does unfortunately mean you have to type in your username and password every time though, which does kind of suck. I get that. Uh, but I don't think I'm on like the first panel anymore. I think they've got Dragonflight there. They used to have whoever was live got the first panel slot on the carousel at the top. But I think they've put me back a couple now. Um, which is a good thing because, you know, you have to kind of go hunting. Uh, if you're looking for more things to do with World of Warcraft that are not in the game, you might happen to find me. I think that's a good place to put um, streamers and stuff like that. Maybe, you know, obviously for the first few months they're being featured, if there are a new streamer being featured in the launcher, chuck them up the front page. Absolutely. Make sure people know their name uh, and then shuffle us back down a little bit so that people um, don't get sick of our faces. <laughs> and, and also... Um, yeah, if you're looking, actively looking for something WoW related outside of playing the game, then yeah, you come find us. Make some new friends. Awesome to call the channel messages. Yeah, we, we did that a while back because we had quite a few questions. So I'm like, you know what? Let's um let's stick it all in a, in a message that we can automate. You've seen Panna? Yep, Panna TV was one of the ones featured as well. Um, uh, Dark Mac was on there a few times. Uh, that's how I met him. And Horty Chicken was as well. I think Horty has been doing a lot more variety these days. Um, uh, but that's okay. And uh, uh, I feel like there was somebody else, but I'm forgetting. Yeah, no, I forget. Sorry. My bad. That's, uh, yeah, I'm sure there have been others. My little always has the same handful of things and then fear when she's live. Hey, Crud. I about 1,400 pets last night and made them all rare. Jesus Christ, well done. Well done. It'd be really cool if US launchers still did that. Haven't seen a streamer on here in years. There's a reason for that. Uh, she's from the land down under. I am indeed. Vegemite and koalas. Um, are they the only ones seeing the camera flicker? Nope. You're not. It's been happening for over, literally over a year. Uh, and I'm in conversation with Logitech and they cannot figure out why it's going wrong. They've replaced it on warranty uh, and we've done a whole lot of testing and stuff and they they do not know. Um, and I can't afford a DSLR to use. Um, and I'm not willing to step back down to a, uh, a not as good, uh, like an older webcam. So yeah, it's kind of, it's a thing. It's a thing. Seemed chill to me so far. Thank you. I try to be. That's kind of, you know, uh, we, we've we often been described as a just chatting stream with a side of World of Warcraft. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, I don't know. I just, 
I like chill. It's it's nice. My video game time is is my chill time. And I don't really have time to play games outside of stream these days, unfortunately. Hopefully soon, but unfortunately at this point, not really. Excuse me. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Is it still worth playing WoW? If yes, what server should I create a character? I played until LK many, many years ago and it was an OT server, not Blizzard. Right, okay, I'm not sure what OT server is. If it's private servers, uh, that's obviously not good. Is against TOS, don't do that. Um, so I think it's worth it, obviously. Otherwise I wouldn't still be playing it. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy it. It really does depend on what parts of the game you enjoy doing. It is a, a very, very, very different game since Wrath. The game has changed like a lot, considering that Wrath was what, like 12 years ago? That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, you know, The Simpsons is not the sh same show it was 12 years ago. You can't expect anything to stay the same for that long and actually still be successful. Um, so honestly, it's probably going to just be one of those things where you give it a go and see if it's worth it for you personally, because everyone looks for different things out of their games. Uh, everyone, very, very, like everyone will have like the ideal kind of thing that they're looking for and it'll all be completely different. So um, they do offer a free trial. Uh, you can get up to level 20 in the free trial. Uh, and just kind of have a play around with it, have an experiment. Uh, the other option is they do obviously now have the classic servers, uh, classic and what we call retail, which is what I'm playing, uh, available on the same subscription. So you pay one sub, one monthly sub, and you get access to both. Uh, you get access to retail, you get access to classic, and now TBCC, which is Burning Crusade Classic as well. Um, they are different servers, so you can play vanilla, or you can play Burning Crusade. Like, it's... Yep, or you can play Shadowlands, which is retail. Um, so yeah, I'd honestly just give it a go. Uh, and if you have the cash to buy like a one-off, like I think you can, is it like two months now? Or is it one month is the minimum? I don't remember. Um, I have a six monthly sub, so I, I can't, I haven't tweaked that in a very long time. But if you have the cash to go for like the lowest tier of subscription that you can, and you wouldn't feel, like you wouldn't feel the pain too much if it wasn't what you were looking for, um, for that price, then it might be worth paying for a month and uh, and giving it a go. And then if you don't enjoy it, cancel. And if you do, don't. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it's kind of... I think it's worth it, but there are thousands of people out there who don't. So it really depends on, on the individual, unfortunately. Sorry, I can't give you a more concrete answer. Um, I'm going on launcher. It must be because of boobs or because I've slept with everybody at Blizzard. Don't forget that part. Not only, like, would I have even had time to, that, that's a big ass company, but anyway, whatever. Um, who gives a crap if you're on launcher? People didn't want to see you there. How petty can you be to get mad at other people bring, being broadcast? I don't think it's necessarily pettiness. A lot of the comments I saw, um, it kind of sounded like, um, or, you know, how, how, you know, I'm better than she is. How did she get on there? And I didn't sort of thing. Um, so it's, it, and as, as I know, it sounds really cliche and I'm not trying to sound like I've got my head up my ass, but it, it kind of sounds like some of it might be coming from a place of jealousy. Like they didn't get the same opportunity that I did. And therefore they hate me for getting the opportunity that they didn't. And look, as not okay as it is throwing those kind of insults and stuff like that. Um, I get it. It's, it's okay. Like, it's not okay, but whatever. Like, I'm not going to change their opinion of me. So they're, they're free to feel how they want to feel. Um, but I'm just going to keep doing me. Uh, I'm pretty damn successful when it comes to this streaming thing. I'm really happy with what I've been able to achieve and accomplish. And I'm going to keep going. Because I really, I love what I do. I fucking love what I do. And I want to be a full-time content creator. And this is working. What I'm doing is working. So I'm going to keep doing that. Uh, it's probably going to piss them off, and unfortunately, that is the price of doing business. Um, but I hope that they find what they're looking for, and uh, and find some joy in something at least. Because uh, everyone deserves that. Everyone deserves to be happy. Most people. <laughs> there are some very select outliers um, that probably don't deserve to be happy for the horrendous shit that they put other people through. But that's, you know... That's different. <laughs> uh, I started clicking much more often. Oh yeah? Uh, okay, noted. Ooh. 
that's interesting. Nah. Uh, there's a couple of things that that could be, and none of them I can actually change right this second. Unfortunately. Uh, but that's okay, I can change them for next stream and see how we go. Um, how could anyone get sick of your face? I mean, I get sick of my face, so I understand it. <laughs> like, all the fucking editing I do and the, you know, putting selfies on Instagram and all this, but I get sick of my face, so I cannot blame anyone else for getting sick of my face. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, HC is moving at the moment, no internet. Oh, okay, there you go. There you go. Um, so we always say is it just chatting stream with a bit of wow on the side. We're just hanging out, nothing crazy going on all the time, just some chill times. It does make clips a little difficult to find sometimes though, unfortunately. So I finally caved and set up an IG since half the videos friends linked weren't playing unless I had an account. Tossed you and one other wow stream out like a follow there. Thank you so much, Thor. That's so kind of you. Much appreciated. Uh, Joe, Ali, Kat, Dunno, and Aelin, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Have I hit a ceiling? I must have. Oh well. Thank you very much. Thor, that's so sweet of you. So kind. Who got skins? Who got skins? I hope you all got skins from that skin chest. Uh, yay, Thor, have a great night. Feel you gonna head off to dinner. Enjoy dinner, Rel, and tell us in Discord all the well, if you want to. Tell us about the food. I'm hungry, and I would like to know about your food. <laughs> when am I not hungry? Exclamation is fear hungry. Uh, follow the link in chat, log in with your Twitch account and drag and drop those units to the battlefield. Come help us in stream raiders, if you so desire. Does that mean there'll be Dragonflight, Vanilla, TBC and Wrath all on different servers? They haven't clarified exactly how they're going to do Wrath's servers, but if they go the same way as they did with TBC, then yes. If they decide to do it the same way, then yes, but they haven't made that clear yet. They haven't told us. Am I seeing Shah? Possibly? Uh, that was said four minutes ago, so maybe. Yes, you would have been, maybe. Um, we need 263,017 embers to make Fear Hunt for some fun toys in June. That's 132 people worth of embers. Uh, to donate, all you need to do is click the little fire under into the left of the chat box, hit that big old bar that says Toy Hunting Stream. You can donate up to 2,000 embers, or you can donate multiple times up to that point. Embers are a completely free currency to spend, and you get your embers back if we do not reach the goal. I am one of the people who don't think it's worth it. Totally fair. Totally fair. Um, relating to the end I slept with everyone, also they're all in America, unless they came to Australia. I don't know how you would have gotten to them. <laughs> yeah, look. There's there's some real there's some real leaps. Um, what do they what do they say? I hope you I hope you stretched before you took that leap. Um, in in logic, yep. But uh, nah, not the case. Definitely not the case. Ah, <laughs> uh, the exploration dings are the best. Oh, good lord. All right. Uh, where's my? What's who's this? Lucille. Good god, that's hilarious. Ah, oh, dearie me. Um, who gives a shit what others think? Um, unfortunately my job kind of relies on what other people think. <laughs> as, as an influencer, um, if people don't like me, they won't buy things I recommend to them and earn me commission. They won't subscribe to me on Twitch. They won't blah, 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 blah. And then I won't be able to pay my bills. I'd be broke. So my job is literally what other people think of me. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's an interesting kind of, it's, it's a balance between, um, I really care what people think because that's literally how I make my income versus I'm not going to be for everybody. And I know that, and I understand that. And it's okay if they don't like me, that's fine. But also I need people to like me. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a bit of a mindfuck. Let me tell you. It's, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How did your meeting with the social media person go? Really well. Really, really well. She gave me a whole bunch of hints and tips and tricks and, um, you know, a, a bit of analysis and stuff. And uh, after the meeting, I gave her more info uh, from my back end, like analysis and stuff. Ling Ling, thank you so much for your Prime sub. Much appreciated. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. What the fuck do you want, OBS? Stop it. You're fine. Anyway. 
Uh, no, really well. I gave her some, like, back-end information around analytics and insights and stuff like that, and uh, she's going to do some more deep diving into that and do me up, like, a document um, with some, like, some plans moving forward, like, how we're going to handle stuff and what, um, so, uh, content pillars. So, at the moment, I have, like, food. Food is a thing. My mount makeup stuff. Uh, my, like, affiliates. So, Bubble Tea Club, Wylera, Humble, all that kind of stuff. That's, that's the thing. Um, and, uh, so, and a few others that she's kind of picked out work really well on my feed. Um, and then sort of looking at, okay, so obviously Mount Makeup does quite well. I get quite a bit of interaction on those. What else can I do with that? How do I expand on that particular content pillar? Um, so she's going to help me figure that stuff out, which is really good. She gave me some hints that I've already started working on, uh, and doing it. You probably won't see much of it in May. Uh, because I do tend to plan my content uh, out fair in advance. Um, so I have to, like, this month I'll actually create that content so that it'll be able to be posted in in June. But, um, yeah, no, definitely working on a few bits and pieces, and it's been fun. I'm really enjoying it so far, so that's good. That's good. Are you ready? Uh, I should do my yearly stream. Uh, better to get sick of your face rather than sick on your face. Oh, brick. 100%. Agreed wholeheartedly. My gosh. Um, got my list ready to guess. Brilliant. Uh, no skins. Tons of gold! Yay! Yay for gold. Still no skin. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, like, I understand the jealousy, but how is that your fault? Someone else didn't get the opportunity you got offered. Blizzard NZ seems super great. They really are. If they fit into the region, why don't they just ask? Worst they can say is no. Exactly. Exactly. And that's, um, so a couple of people, like, the first one, the first thread that I saw that was, like, full of people hating on me and stuff like that, the original poster wasn't. The original poster had asked a genuine question, um... And then everyone had kind of hated on me in the comments, if that makes sense. So I responded to the original post. It was on a Facebook group that I'm a part of. I don't know that they knew I was there, but that's fine. Uh, so I responded to that original post, uh, basically outlining how I managed to get on there, advice I had for people who, like other people who wanted. And one of the things in there was literally reach out to them. If you've got it, like get a consistent, get your schedule like hella consistent, um, tag them in all the posts you make when you go live, like actually tweet out that you're going live and tag them and all this kind of stuff. Um, and gave them a whole bunch of advice. And they swung by stream that day. It was on my birthday, which was fantastic because that's what you want on your birthday. Hate. Um, so, <laughs> uh, and they came by stream and were like, I am so, so, so. I'm like, you don't need to be sorry. You asked a valid question. So the misogynists in the comments that need to be need to be apologizing, but they're not gonna, so I'm just gonna let it go. Um, but no, it was, it was really good. Uh, but yeah, it's regardless of whether or not what they said, like obviously what they said was wrong, but I'm not going to be able to control that, so why the hell would I get angry about it? It's not my fault, so why do, Why should I get, why should I, like... I, like, absolutely answered the original person because they were quite very polite. They, they said nothing negative, it was just a genuine question. How did she get on here and why is she always there? So I gave the answers that I knew of. Um, and, yeah. Beyond that, I'm... Pfft. They can feel how they want to feel. That's okay. Currently cooking a tandoori chicken curry. Ooh, yum. That sounds delicious, Tuck. Well done. Just having breakfast? Ah, oh, mouse! Uh, EU? I'm get is that is that EU time zone? Uh, hello, nurse! Welcome on in. Welcome back. Um, oh, yeah, the mount was guessed already. <laughs> Um, but you can, you can keep trying if you'd like. There's just no more prize up for grabs, Ali. Um, even if you are the juiciest peach. Yeah, it's the, the Dita Von Teese quote. You could be the juiciest, sweetest peach in the world. Some people just don't like peaches. It's got me through a lot of shit, let me tell you. Pretty hard time being late. Do you know what it was? It was it maybe I was close. Richard fan. 11th on my list. Nice. Well done. Well done. Good day so far. Thanks for reminding me to do shot. You're very welcome, Ling. Very welcome. I think this is my second last tune I need to do Sharon. I've done it on all 50 tunes this week. Uh, the bar is ugly. Um, <laughs> so uh, th I think this is my second last tune. Yeah, and then Aldella. Um, and then I get onto my regularly scheduled Mount Farm Monday programming, uh, 
which I'm starting with Archivists, and I really don't want to because rep grinding that shit is boring and sucks, but it's fine. I'll do my best. I'll get there eventually if I keep going. Uh, jealous and turn their anger outwards because looking inwards is too discomforting. I wouldn't call it discomforting, I'd say hard. It's difficult. Um, it's not that they're uncomfortable looking at themselves, it's she must have used her boobs or slept with somebody to get this because there's no possibility that she could work hard because I don't want to work hard and no one works hard doing this because why would they? Because I don't want to, so therefore why would anybody else? Um, streaming is... Streaming is easy. Building a community around a stream is... In, it's incredibly difficult. Incredibly difficult and takes a crap ton of work. Like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. Uh, and people don't want to do that. Or they can't because they have other requirements of them and, you know, other commitments. Families, children, jobs, uh, all that kind of stuff. And they, they want the stuff. They want to succeed, what they see as success. Um, but they can't do it. Or they won't. Or they don't want to. Or whatever. Um, and that sucks. But that's not my problem. I work my ass off for this because I want it and because I can. And so, I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm at least try. I'm gonna at least try to keep doing that. Who knows, maybe there will come a day where I can't. But I will not give this up without a fucking hell of a fight. I love this too much. I just love it too much. Uh, 9.20 in Denmark, there you go. You go, missed on a stream, Matt guessing it's frantic. Tonight is yesterday! Not quite, um, but it was oh, it was a bit somewhere. tricksy. A little bit tricksy. Oh, Skip! Skip, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. Much appreciated. Thank you for the support. Thank you so much. Uh, like you have an opportunity, I being an American just will never get. Am I supposed to be mad at you for not being not American? That would be terribly exhausting. Yeah. Yeah, it, it would be. It would be. Um, the the place that the first conversation, the one that happened on my birthday, the place that that one, that was in an oceanic group. So it was very specifically a bunch of Australians and New Zealanders um, and making those comments, which it's, it's <laughs> I'm not sure that they noticed that Blizzard was also in that group. Here's a really hot, here's a great tip, right? Here's a great tip. If you, if you are in a region where you have a chance to be featured on the launcher and you're a streamer and you want to take advantage of that opportunity, um, maybe when you're trying to partner with a company that has a lawsuit against them for being misogynistic, don't be misogynistic. Just a thought. What server do I play on? I play on Amanthal for Alliance characters and Sourfang for Horde. I have 30 Horde tunes and 20 Alliance. Logical and true, anger and jealousy aren't logical. Correct. Correct. Your passion is- Aww! Thank you, Skip. Those are so kind words. Such kind words. Okay, good. I'm all... Thank you. Thank you so much. That's awesome. <laughs> you know, you know, when those things happen, you just kind of get all happy and you just... Yeah. Yeah. It's your fault. I blame you, Skip. Thank you. <laughs> I should drink water because I have a headache. Amanthal represent- Ah! Gilsey, welcome on in! Yeah, Amanthal for the 20 Alliance tunes. There seem to be some Durgans. Ah, uh, hey Scarlet! How you doing? Uh, you don't play on OCE for Alliance. Uh, I do. Amanthal is Alliance- Ah, uh, is OCE. Sorry. Amanthal is OCE. Yep. Yeah, they're both on- both servers are Oceanic. Uh, Haya, do you have a favorite mount? I most certainly do, Gar. My favorite mount is Ashes of Allah. It's also the first mount that I uh, actually actively farmed ever. Um, it was in Legion. I mean, I farmed it off and on for little bits, but I got bored of it. Uh, and then I started streaming it, and you'll find if you ever want to accomplish something that you feel like there's a chance you won't complete it, stream it. Because you will get this bloody community thing that constantly asks you, where are you up to with that thing? Or where, what are you, how far are you gotten? And so you feel guilted into actually doing it. Uh, they keep you accountable. It's great. Um, so I started streaming them and eventually I was doing uh, an attempt every week. And I had 
three. I want to say I had three characters at the time. And so every every week I did three attempts on on Ashes. And then during the week, because I was aiming for the Legion, uh, a legendary campaign achievement. Uh, no, it's a feat of strength. This one. Um, because I wanted that, I was leveling characters during the week. And then on the weekend, I'd, I'd do my attempts. Every time I got a new character to max, I'd add it. So I'd started doing four runs a week and then five runs a week and then six runs a week. And finally, when I was doing seven runs a week, it dropped and I screamed and it was great. It was awesome. Uh, where are we going? So yeah, Ashes of Lara is my favorite mount and it was the very first one that I actively farmed for because I wanted it so badly. How about you? What's your favorite mount? Uh, it gets terribly frustrating seeing how all the ANZ companies actually care about the content creators, but that's not the content creators' fault. Um, so ANZ companies care about their content creators, but the rest of our society gives no, like, zero fucks. Over in America, you guys have so many more opportunities than we have because video gaming isn't seen as an embarrassment by your culture. Um, you guys have the opportunity, like, in the, in the past, they had the Heroes of the Dorm, like back before when heroes was still in beta you could get a whole ass fucking college like scholarship by playing video games you guys have people who earn salaries for being on esports teams you guys have partnerships with with companies and brands and stuff like that um you you have twitch streamers who partner up with and have sponsorships with like colourpop hooked up with Pokemon. You don't, that shit never happens in Australia. We don't get big launches. We don't get events. We have one, count them, one convention a year <laughs> for video games. Uh, well, now two. This year we're getting DreamHack for the first time ever um, because Australia gives zero fucks. Um, like, Riot completely cancelled the Oceanic League that they had for League of Legends. They just, like, all that money that they have, all those people who had jobs at gone. They just decided to close the office and that was it, done. Australia does not play video. It's an embarrassment. Get out of your basement. Get out of your mother's basement and go and go out and go camping. Go play some sport. Like, literally. Australians as a whole don't like video games and hate the players even more. Um, so the fact that the companies actually care about us here is fantastic but the culture doesn't the community doesn't society doesn't at all whatsoever in any way shape or form uh granted you guys in america also have a crap load more creators because it's so shunned here in australia we have fewer people who do it and so you know we have these opportunities that are starting to pop up go for a smaller group of creators whereas in america you have a ton more opportunities but a ton 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 more creators so you know, it all kind of, it doesn't balance out, but it gets somewhere around there. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, all that, all these opportunities that ANZ creators have is, it's very recent, very incredibly recent because they're starting to realize, like on, on Twitch, there's a really fantastic example. You guys get ads. There's an ad starting in four minutes and 30 seconds here, right? Uh, and everyone around the world will see different uh, ads d determined by what country you live in because, you know, countries will go to Amazon and buy ad blocks for people in country X. It occasionally gets to the point, like, Australians will see the same ad every half an hour for days because there are no other ads. And then eventually, eventually, there'll be an ad block and we won't even see an ad because we've run out of things to be shown because no Australian companies are targeting ads at Australians on a video gaming platform because it's video games and they don't think it's an investment. They don't think it's a worthwhile investment. Uh, watching Dance Monster decided to watch you for a bit. Brilliant. Amazing. Uh, lots of dragons. Indeed, many dragon noodles. Do you have the Mount Bloodfang Widow? I do. I do just switch my main demon hunter to ally, joining my friend's raid guild. Fantastic. Best of luck with the raiding guild. Ash just still eludes me. You'll get it eventually. Just gotta keep trying. Gotta keep trying. Probably Sky Golem. Ooh. Yep, it's a good one. Very, very popular. Probably because you can do the whole, um, like, herbing on it, yeah? 
The Swordsman Mount, even though I don't have it yet, you don't have to have it for it to be your favourite. You'll get it. Just gotta keep trying. Took me three months searching for Timeless Protodrake, not the prettiest when I saw it pop on my screen. My heart stopped, yep, high on adrenaline for like half an hour afterwards. I love that feeling, Hagar. I, I absolutely love that feeling. It's so good. Congratulations, well done. Does Australia still require certain games to be modified or refuse them a rating? Yes. Yes. Uh, it has, we do now have an R18 plus rating. But there are still restrictions. One of the big, the really, really big one that people don't seem to understand is that your game cannot show drug use providing a benefit. Um, so basically you can't encourage people to use drugs to get a buff or something like that. So there's, there was a, uh, I can't remember which one it was, but you'd find like boosts and boosters and stuff like that. And it would literally, in first person, it would literally show you pulling up your sleeve pulling the cap off a syringe, putting it in your arm, and literally injecting a syringe into your arm to make you stronger. And that's that's one of the really, really big ones in Oz that's completely a no-go. 100% absolutely not. Um, there, you can, there are things like drinking a potion to get a buff. Seems to be okay, that kind of stuff. But actual, like you know, popping a pill or, or injecting drugs and stuff like that because it's it encourages, you know, you got to remember that laws cater to the weakest links of society, people who are exceptionally impressionable and stuff like that. That's, that's what those laws are there to protect those people. So if someone, you know, plays a game a whole lot and sees them shooting up and they become really strong, there is a chance of them linking, I should go and find drunks, uh, drunks, I should go and find drugs and shoot up and then I will become strong like in my favorite video game. Yes, that is not an intelligent line of thought. I agree and I understand, but those people who have those not particularly intelligent lines of thought are the people that laws are protecting. So yes, games have to be altered sometimes, depending on what the ratings board says, to be released in Australia. But that's the one that gets triggered the most. I honestly think Riot would shut down US offices too if their home offices weren't here. Koreans clobber us in every event for League, pun intended. Ah, good morning from the blue cabinet. Hey, Ness. <laughs> That's because you're fancy. You're in the blue cabinet because you're fancy. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, I saw the same bloody red rooster ad generally has shops out west for a week. Yep, because no one else is paying to advertise. Uh, what does chair stream do? Uh, eventually, it gives me an opportunity to go stretch my legs and, and all that kind of stuff, but chair takes over stream. Chair is the most supportive member of our community. Meanwhile, we have so many gambling apps companies even advertising during sports games. Yeah. Yup. I mean, I literally just saw the same ad twice in a row. Um, herbing and looks cool underwater. Yes. Yeah, to modified. Yep. Yep. Hey, Yuri, how you doing? How goes the writing? Um, Fallout 3, was that the one? Right, okay, yeah. I Look, I hear when stuff happens, but I don't super duper pay amazing attention. Um, most of the games that have like that kind of hyper-realism stuff, they're not really my type of games anyway. So I'm not usually like watching for when they're gonna be released and did they get past the thing and did they da da da. So I don't tend to like retain that information super well. Um, so games like We Happy Few struggle. Uh, I think they had to... Give me a second. Australia. I f feel like I remember... Yeah, We Happy Few has been banned in Australia again. Initially refused classification in Australia, or essentially originally banning the game last year due to its portrayal of drug use. Um, and then... So this was back in 2019, it got banned again. <clears throat> Tasking you with surviving without use of the fictional hallucinogenic drug Joy, which NPCs take to attempt uh, to forget a shared trauma. Sales ban was overturned in May 2019, following a successful appeal by the game's publisher Gearbox. However, as of today, August 20th, um, We Happy Few has been refused classification again. Previous report last year, the ACB stated that a three-member panel had unanimously determined the game can be classified as R18+. The panel determined the game's interactive drug use did not exceed high levels and that the game will be sold with a consumer advice label confirming its fantasy violence and interactive drug use. Um, 
new wave of bland, uh, was a victim of a new wave of bands, including uh, which also includes Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, Hotline Miami and an unannounced rock star game called Bon Air that no one had heard of until it was banned. Um, it'll have to go through the same review again, though. Uh, initially stated that in the board's opinion, the game's drug use mechanic making, drug pro uh, making game progression less difficult constitutes an incentive or reward for drug use, and therefore the game exceeds the R18 classification that states, drug use related to incentives and rewards is not permitted. Therefore, the game warrants being refused classification. Um, so that was what it got snuck on. I don't know if it actually got that second ban overturned, though. That The article doesn't say that. Um, ooh, and it's done a silly. That's fine. Um, uh, med stims. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Rimworld only came out really recently since were like, yeah, the drug use depicted in this game is not beneficial and has many downsides. Other things like slavery, cannibalism, high impact themes. Fancy am I really the turd inside the cabinet? No, never. No, Ness, absolutely not. Very fancy. I drink sports. There is another click. Ah, uh, God, I'm so sick of gambling ads. I share. Sick Emily ads all the time on Twitch, on TV. I'm sick of all the Australian United Party. I haven't seen it. I mustn't be consuming anything that has ads attached to it because I haven't seen anything except the billboards and they were enough. <laughs> games are weird here for the opposite reason. We don't give games ratings at all. However, there's a non-legally binding recommended age for games. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's up to the parents to kind of determine what they are happy for their kids to, to play or watch or whatever. But you can't, like... Yeah, it, it, it's impossible to, to monitor your child 100% of the time, so it's sort of... Yeah. Um, the sparkly turd. Uh, dear. I mean, um, we do, when we have R18+, plus, I don't think the MA15+, plus games require it, but I know the R18+, plus games, if they're sold, um, that when you're going to, uh, like, a store, if you're going to a physical store like EB Games to, to purchase it, you are need to show ID, I'm pretty sure. Like, they, they can ID you. Um, but, uh, yeah. That's probably just to prevent themselves being, you know, sued or similar by an angry parent whose child was allowed to buy an R18 game without the parent's knowledge. Which, you know what? Fair. Like, if you're doing the best parenting job you possibly can and you're trying to make sure that everything that your child sees has contextual guidance so that they know why things are happening and why it's not okay, etc, etc. Having some kid at a store circumvent that would be really frustrating. Um... I heard from games folks also stories how kid want GTA 5 and parent buys it for them. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like, I'm not saying that parents always do that. Um, but, you know, those kind of things with the... I mean, we have we have ratings here as well. Like, R18 plus is a rating. We also have, like, MA15 plus. We have PG13. We have G, which is general, good for everyone. Um, all that kind of stuff. We, we have those too, and they are, again, not legally binding, except for the R18 plus one. I think I'm pretty sure you have to be carded for that. Um, but, you know, it's then up to the parents to parent and, you know, check whether or not they want their child consuming a particular type of media. That doesn't mean everyone does. Of course not. Uh, good evening, we farming Shah today. Ah, uh, we just finished farming Shah today because- actually, I don't need to switch things yet. Um, uh, because those were the ones that I missed last week because of the shitty spawn timers. Um, so- I oh, know we do need to change. God damn it, right, the Covenant Assault is Kyrian, which doesn't drop a mount. Um, so I've- I've finished my 50 Shah runs for the week now, and no mount, because of course not. Uh, <laughs> I need to head out to Corthia and try to get some Archivist tier rep. Give films. And V ratings, however this rating restricts people under that age from buying it, not from consuming it if someone else does. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah, and that's the same thing as we have here. Uh, so many kids try to buy GTA 5 on launch. Yep. Yeah. Have... We'll have a an adult do it when the kid was around the corner. I ended up getting back on. Wow, it's so different. Well, it feels so different. It is. Depending on how long you've been away for, it, it's totally different. Uh, did you get the Shaman Man today? No. <laughs> No, I'm only on 470 something attempts. Like I'm not going to be getting it for a, lo a long while, but if I don't attempt, I won't get it at all. So, you know. Um, 
Make you 50 tunes. You have an idea of which one you'll retire for the Evoker if they don't raise the cap. I don't see why they'd raise the cap because they've released so many new uh, classes and, and races and stuff over the last 18, 17 years, whatever it is, 17 and a half years. They've never raised the cap. It's always been 50. They've raised the server cap. And they've, they've removed the server cap, but that 50 tunes per account, I'm pretty sure has been in place since vanilla, as far as I can remember. So I don't see why they'd raise it. They don't have any reason to. Um, so yes, of course I do. I, and since, since I got the 50 tunes, um, it's always been in the back of my mind because they always had the possibility of, of releasing new races or classes or whatever. So yeah, absolutely. The fact that they're currently considering restricting it to one evoker per server definitely makes it easier because uh, i have to get rid of one uh one on each so two instead of three um but I, yeah i already have them the three of them flagged uh where am i going our boss uh gtv makes me feel weird to look at fair enough um i don't think they will people keep saying they will and i'm like nah why 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 would they like why will they raise the character cap how many of those people saying they will have actually got 50 tunes? Is the other question. Um, that one time you don't fram, it will drop. Oh, farm. Well, they can't drop if I don't farm it, so. I've done real proof fear in chat and fears chat. That's made me a smarter person, more online person. Brilliant. Brilliant. Never raise a couple of 50, adding all the spaces required for potentially 50 tunes in classic. And season of mastery is enough of a data issue. That's the thing. Like, you got to imagine, like, okay, so we we are well aware that not every single account will create another three characters. But they have to plan for the potential for every single account, active and inactive, to come live and create 53 tunes. They have to plan for that possibility if they raise the cap. No! <laughs> I don't want it, like, no! God, that'd be so much effort. Absolutely not. I uh, should have a character funeral for them. I I do not RP in any way, shape, or form. I have never even considered doing something. They are not going to be deleted until I create the new character. So it'll literally be, I'll be on character select, delete a tune, create the evoker. Um, I don't know, that... I don't think I'm that kind of person. I'm so sorry. 99% uh, of people wouldn't have 50 tunes. Agreed. Absolutely. 100% correct. Doesn't matter. They have to have their servers and their data stuff, all the data store, prepared for the possibility of everybody doing that. Because if they don't, what happens when someone goes to create their seventh character and all of a sudden, sorry, no more WoW tunes can be created. Our servers are full. Like, they can't. It, I, yeah, no. We have a solemn responsibility. They have to be prepared for the possibility. Uh, Litter, Silver, Zem, Ali, Mano, Wallach, Aelin, uh, Miz, and Thor. Congratulations to all of you on your friendship. Well done. Well done. Welcome on in, Slice. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Who doesn't have 50 tunes, though? <laughs> 150, there might be avid classic and BC players too. Yeah. Although those would be like separate sort of, they'd have to have them as separate storage, I would assume. But, um, yeah. And even if they're not avid players, they can go and create 50 level one tunes on every account that they have access to. Like, don't need to actually play them to take up data. things away. Okay, do... Repaired Rift Key, perfect. Um, open the not for Lizard, to create systems assuming that 100% of users will use everything they're entitled to so they can use whatever they're legally entitled to. Correct, exactly right. Exactly right. You have to make sure that people can. Even if you don't expect them ever to, you have to let them, just in case. Um, but yeah, that'd be an enormous job. Like, enormous. Another one of those times where I do not envy Blizzard's employees. Ah, oh, then scale it. I'm aiming for 152 to myself every release. Then we bank alts! Brilliant. No reason for it to be separate. Classic BC run the same client now as retail. Do they? Oh, I didn't know that. Cool! Funky! 
I would have assumed because different characters have different restrictions placed upon them and all that kind of stuff, it'd just make sense to have all that data like separate. So if they needed to apply a patch to certain tunes, they could apply it to that whole fucking server. I don't know how it works, obviously. Um, rather than, but I'm guessing that they all have just a flag on the tune somewhere, and it's so it's apply change to all with flag. Um, can you imagine how big that spreadsheet would be? Sorry, I really like spreadsheets; they're great. Okay, let's do this. Rift portal entered and get some Corthian repositories and let's crack open these caches while we're in here. That was quick. Um, just in case, who's that? <laughs> Didn't know that either. Nifty dreading those flags. Oof. Be over 10 million rows long. That's really cool though. Like, that's so cool. Uh, alright. So, I'm heading... Actually, I might as well... Do... Dispatch right here. Because. Oh, it's right there anyway. Hey! So each of these colors of chests on the map, um, one of them will spawn each day? Question mark. Um, so I need to find which of the. Ah! Gah! Thank you so much for this sub! Welcome to the Fianati! Thank you so much for your support. It really means the world. I'm, I'm hoping that that's an indication that you're enjoying yourself, and I'm glad if that is in fact the case. Are your lips anyway um now i need a lipstick called apoka just so i can make the joke anyway um reason blizz thought it'd be impossible was because they could make the old client talk to the new servers the project was instructed people was to make the new wow client work with the old game there you go funky funky half the time what people think is easy to pull out doesn't have a flag that says yes this specific thing usually because when they make the data though when they start the spreadsheet dupe all of my spreadsheets that cover things over a length of time have like one or two columns filled and then as you get down to today there's now like 20 columns filled because I didn't know I needed the data back then and so I didn't gather it but if they launched the servers knowing that they were going to need a way to separate them out, they probably should have, like, they may have put that flag in, you know? My, some of my spreadsheets, good lord. Actually, question. Those of you who are, like, really good with computers and whatnot, Excel. Like, not, not Google Sheets, like, actual Excel. Um, my, I've got a particular Excel sheet that started really slowing down, uh, like when I scroll or when I move from one cell to the next using the arrow keys, there's lag. The spreadsheet is quite large, but it's not that large. There are some sh like s shades, uh, like cells that are coloured in and stuff like that, but it's it that shouldn't have too much of an effect on it. What it does have is a crap load of comments on cells. Is that something that is causing lag? Or is that something that just my PC is being a numpty? You don't need to actually, like, I, I understand that this would be like an opinion or a theory or something like that. I know that you don't have access to my stuff and so you wouldn't know for certain. Um, but if it is a comment thing, then I'm gonna have to look at spending a couple of hours moving all the comments into cells, which is fine, I can do that. It's just gonna take some time. Um, 
The database is even semi-competently designed. Every character will have its own table rather than just a row. Oh, no, no, no. I, I imagine that because there's so much data that every individual character needs to have. I was just thinking about every character ever created having a row in a spreadsheet and how big that spreadsheet would be because I like spreadsheets. <laughs> I know. I'm, I know. Um, or just, yes, I'm aware, gold. That was what I was explaining by the different colors of stuff on the map. Like, because each of the each of the blocks has a different color. Like that one was green, and these ones are blue. These ones are purple, and those ones are red. Um, but it's kind of it makes it a lot easier to tell which ones are actually in the same groups. Um, for those who don't actually just know that off the top of their head, because they have too much information to retain. Um, all the game has to do is filter by tunes and game realm. Okay, makes sense. Ah, uh, it's Australian streamers. Love it, Gar. Thank you so much for making me an Australian streamer that you choose to support. I appreciate it so very much. Oh, excuse me. Something like select character from characters where game equals retail and realm equals general, for example. Yeah. It's funky. Rendering it shouldn't affect... I'm not sure how it deals with comments. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, I mean, because it's all the little red arrow, like the red corners of the cells, but maybe it's preemptively loading all of those actual comments rather than just the flag for the comments. Maybe that's why it's taking so bloody long to do stuff. I'm not sure. Only one way to find out, upgrade that PC. Uh, are you going to pay for that? <laughs> um, I can't afford to do that currently. Uh, my PC is... When did I last upgrade? Three years old. It was the start of, oh crap. Start of BFA was when I did my last gut and rebuild. Um, but, uh, I have $23,000 worth of dental work to get done. I think I've done somewhere around nine grand of that so far. Uh, but I'm paying for that with my Twitch income. So affiliate programs, subs, uh, all those, uh, any any kind of income that comes from my online endeavors, as I call them, sponsorships, all that kind of stuff. Um, all that's what's that's paying for my dental work. So 23 grand. Um, I don't have all of that saved up just yet. I'm working on it, um, but it means that I can't really afford big ticket stuff like uh, a PC rebuild or um, uh, one of the things I really want at the moment is a laptop because I work from home, I stream, I work in this chair, I stream from this chair and all of my back end stream stuff I also do in this chair and it is starting to affect my mental health because I've been doing that for two and a half years now um, or actually no just under two and a half years I think. Um, and so I want to be able to pick up and move and go elsewhere and still be able to do my work. So I want to grab, I want to get a laptop. Um, of course, that's not going to be capable of streaming because uh, laptops are capable of streaming of thousands and thousands of dollars. But I found uh, one that will do everything I want it to uh, and well for about 900. Um, but again, can't buy that yet. Dentistry. Um, yeah. But one day, one day, it is on the shopping list. It's on the wish list. Well, actually, it's not on the wish list because I'd be building it myself, and so I'd have to put each of the individual parts and components on the wish list. And by the time I uh, got a couple of those, the other ones would be out of date, and I'd want to upgrade them, etc. Like it's yeah, it'd just be a bit of a mess. So uh, they're not on the wish list. Uh, an opinion comments will cause my brain to lag. Yeah, look, me, me, mine too, mine too. You're not alone. Uh, Excel file saved in the most recent file type for Excel. I believe so, but I can definitely check that, just not while I'm running away from tiny things that want to kill me. Um, but yeah, I can check that. Thank you for the suggestion. In fact, I'll j if I'll check, and if it's not, I'll save it in the most recent file format, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, this has to be your makeup spreadsheet. No, it's my mount f my mount makeup spreadsheet. It's the the spreadsheet where I plan out all my looks. So it has a date, it has a mount, it has the colors, it has 
um, the and then in the colors column, it has a comment saying which exact eyeshadows I'm going to use to create the look. Um, then it has a do I own it column, then a does it fly column, and then a bunch of columns for all the other products that I put on my face that don't tend to change very often, like my, my face powder, my mascara, my blush, etc, etc. Um, so that when I go and make my Instagram comments, I can copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, and put that list of products used together. System works, it just, the, the spreadsheet's getting a bit laggy. Hello friends and family, hello Zarin, how are you going today? Welcome back. Uh, when you say not large, how big is that? Uh, playing with the spreadsheet working for I didn't think it through, was surprised when I hit 198 Megan size, which a couple of hours got the data I needed though. Um, I'll have to check this, I don't know how big it is in terms of file size, but I've got, I think it's somewhere in the realm of 200 rows, roughly. Or like in the 200s somewhere, I think. I've been doing this thing for a while now. <laughs> so I've got like a, a, a log of everything that I've done for my mount makeup. So that I don't repeat mounts. So if that's... Oh no, they're in there. I always forget this. These ones are actually in the cave. Always forget this. Twenty three thousand. It's like oral surgery, maxillofacial work plus orthodontics. Correct. Two oral surgeries plus orthodontics. So I have two teeth that are problematic. Two. Twenty three grand for two teeth. Uh, one of them is a root canal that failed a bunch of times, and so um, it got to the point where there was no, not enough natural tooth left for them to put a crown on that will actually hold. Um, I never had a crown on it because crowns are too expensive and I couldn't afford them and so it kept failing, kept failing, kept failing and there's yeah, not enough tooth left to properly do a root canal with a crown. Um, so they had to do a complex extraction of that one because the all of the remaining tooth was below the gum line. Um, so they did a complex extraction with a bone graft. Uh, that was surgery one. Four months later that had healed uh, and then I went in for surgery number two and they put an implant put an implant in that's that's where the big yep yeah. mm -hmm. um after this one's like the implant's still there once that oh funny if it's not there i've paid a lot of money for nothing um and once that heals up uh, they're gonna go do a talk test and put the post in it and then i get a crown on top of that and that's that tooth done tooth up the top has a uh, failed root canal uh, i have and i have issues with my enamel they didn't form properly when i was a kid or something i don't know it just there it's crap um, so I have a lot of, a lot of dental issues, uh, but I, you know, I've done the best to try to keep up with them, but this, these just got to the point where it was terrible. So, um, uh, this one failed. So I went and got the root canal redone. The problem is, uh, it ha it, it failed and uh, the tooth cracked and a piece of tooth came off, leaving a gap between two teeth, uh, when at the start of the pandemic. So I couldn't see anybody because I have an autoimmune condition. Uh, and I, I didn't leave the, uh, the apartment for eight months at the start of the pandemic because I would have died if I'd caught it. Yep, I literally, no, no, no maybe, I would have been dead. Um, so uh, I didn't go and get it fixed because I couldn't. Um, and once I finally did manage to go and see the dentist, um, I got the appointment done, like went and had the root canal redone. They're gonna put a crown on it, but the crown won't fit because the tooth next to it shifted into the gap left by the broken tooth. So I need Invisalign to move that singular tooth back so that the crown will fit. But you can't get it, you can't get orthodontics, you can't get Invisalign for one. And they like, they went through all the options I would have and they basically said Invisalign is the best option for your situation and your, you know, everything sorted out. Yep. Um, so you have to get full two full trays. You can't just get it for that section you got to get the whole lot and so it's four grand but because it's four grand no matter how many issues you're trying to fix for one or for a million it's all going to be the same price what we're going to do is um i've got a lot of very very teeny tiny 
purely cosmetic misalignments. They don't cause any issues. You can't see them. You can't tell unless I actually kind of go uh, and point them out to you in person. You can't tell. But they're there. So I'm going to get them straightened up. Why not? It doesn't cost me any extra. Why bloody not? And you can put whitening gel in Invisalign trays. And I've always hated my teeth because of the yellow. Because of my enamel being crap. So, at the end of this $23,000 expenditure, I am going to have a perfect, white, amazingly aligned influencer smile. And I cannot wait. Ah, crap. I, I can't wait. It's, I am, like, that is the ultimate silver lining for all of this. It's, it's a terrible experience. It's very crap. I don't like it. I've never seen 23 grand, let alone spent it. So that hurts. <laughs> um, but by the end of it, I'm going to be able to smile with my teeth. And that's just, it'll make, and as stupid as it is, and as much as it shouldn't be the case, it'll make me more attractive to sponsors, to, to product placement shit on my Instagram feed, all that kind of crap my chances of making this successful and being a full-time content creator will increase because of the dental work I had to get done. So that's what I'm looking at. That's, I'm focusing less on the 23 grand. I mean, I'm obviously focusing on it because it's a necessity, um, but I am very much focusing on the fact that this is a huge opportunity. Um, and it's, there's a big positive, a really, really big, huge, enormous positive at the end of it all. So I'm gonna go with that. Uh, the best really thank you, Gar. Thank you very much. Well, you've helped pay for it now. The the my my cut from your sub is helping pay for a a piece of something that's gonna go in my mouth. So <laughs> Yeah, how good's that? Hello! Can you please give Jupe some coins? Oh, absolutely I can. For sure. Give me just a second. Where's... Searching. Oh, nope, that's not you. Alright. There you are. There's a button that says reset points to zero for everyone. That's a very dangerous button. Oh, I've got an unlock on. There you go. Done, done. Um, Google search for Excel slow comments suggests the answer is maybe yes, as various people shared experience of that. Cool. I thought like that was what was kind of in my head as maybe this is what's going on, but I thought, hey, Maybe we'll have a bit of a conversation while we try to figure it out. Oh, I got it. Okay, I can leave now. Ooh, where's the more? Ooh, two of them. Okay. Gosh, there's lots in there. My shoulder blades hate me. Excuse me, do not start doing a swirly and then tell me that there's no path available. That's just cruel and mean and horrible. from the other side. Maybe? Eh. Go up the thing, please. Learn to jump, woman. There we go. No path, my butt. It's absolutely a path. I can see it. Look, along here. 
Is that a go around and drop down one? It might be. Maybe not. Um, how many tabs is in the spreadsheet? One. Just one. Well done, Zen. That bloody coin. The cage jumping back and forth between streaming kitchen. Buffalo wings in the fryer. Ah, yes. Okay, it's almost like you can't land on that. Would you kindly piss off? Please and thank you. Uh, make wings the other night. Yes. I'm afraid from Buffalo Wings are invented. I love them, but living in Oz now is hard to find authentic ones stuck making my own. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, opportunity for a food truck. Kidding, obviously. Try selling the recipe. That'd be nice. Um, try rolling between rooms. I feel that being. As a plus, the cat just swatted me around like a giant dimple ball instead. <laughs> oh dear. Topic fear would do great in a talk test. Where it's talk, a close to a pun. Yep, totally fair. I understand. I feel you. So there's an invisible wall there. How are you supposed to get up there? Oh, bugger it. I give up. Not worth. Nope. That's not what I meant to do, but that's fine. Chucks would wood chuck chuck if wood chuck could chuck wood. Four, yeah. <laughs> Ultimate silver lining would be making it tax deductible. Fucking oath. Oh yes, absolutely. So if if anyone is in the alignment, the tooth, the dental alignment business, and the once an influencer. Let me know. I saw a high amount of money. Was there a deposit on this house? Never saw that either. Came straight from savings in the hands of a lawyer. Yep. Yep. I mean, I've worked at a chocolate shop at Easter. I, I've, I probably have seen close to that amount physically. Uh, but. Not for a long time. The seashells, the seashells. Which one didn't go for? Thanks, Spoon. I was created based on a specific one. Going to give up. You mode only. Brilliant. Mm, experience seeker. Brilliant. Wonderful. Clothia does the same thing. Welcome, Warriors. I dislike Gothia for that. Yep. Yep. It's like, I beg your pardon. Incorrect. Don't know if I typed this already. I lost my chat history. Copying that single tab to a new spreadsheet may even help. Really? Oh, that's whack. Unbelievable. Believable. But, but whack. That's, uh, okay. Noted. Can I just say I think you're very strong and brave talking openly about these kind of problems. There's a stigma around the subject. My girlfriend and I have similar problems. I've turned it around to be completely different individual. Mentally, self-esteem isn't recognizable. But you're very welcome. God damn it. 
Paying too much attention to chat, I'm stepping in circles. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, no, I've I've often spoken about um like issues, uh, you know, health issues I've had of m multiple types. I mean, I have an autoimmune condition, and that's come with a whole lot of stuff, not just physically, but everything else that goes along with it. Um, so yeah, it is health in general, all types of health, is something I've spoken about pretty frequently. Um, but yeah, it always, like, it's... Occasionally I forget how much of an effect talking about my struggles can have on other people, so it is, it's nice to know you know, it's nice to have that reminder sometimes that it is a good thing to, to talk about it. So thank you. It's a drop down from the top one. But there wasn't, it didn't seem to be a way to, ah, uh, yeah. Usually they always have an actual path to them though, rather than a, um, because I'm pretty sure that hill up the top, you actually have to like jump up to as well. Not like you can't walk up there as a standard any, any player kind of whatever. Um, I don't know. Uh, any reason you're carrying around that shield icon? Uh, yeah, it's a relic from, um, the Mage Tower stuff, and I haven't actually done- I should just turn- I thought I did turn the weak aura off, but clearly not. Um. It's Kaiui Cursor. Blazing Barrier. Turn off. Ah, uh, okay something okay it must have been like a partial nope see it's still it's got all the way blinked why is it loaded can we unload it I had it, like... But it's not, like... Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I guess I have to just actually delete it, which is really annoying. Um... That's alright. It wasn't like it took me too much effort to... Um, didn't take me too much effort to create it in the first place, so I guess I can just do it again. So I'm looking for the keys. This one. Uh, can you actually see the weak aura I'm- yeah, it's behind the humble thing. It's just above- nope, here. It's above me here. This is a weak aura I'm working off. Um, it's a Corthia checklist weak aura uh, that tells you how many of things you have left for the day that you can possibly get relics from. Um, it's super handy if you're trying to grind out the Archivist tier rep, which is what I'm doing. Um, I'm on tier 5 at the moment. I'm 16% of the way through. It's a slow-ass grind. It's I, it's not a traditional rep grind, and I I don't think I like it. it. I like that it's different, but I don't like how difficult it is to do solo, or how time consuming I should say it is to do solo. But I need to buy the mount, so <laughs> like I have I have enough of the relics to purchase the mount like twenty times over. And I'm still not, like, tier 6 with them. I just, I think maybe it required too much rep to go from one tier to the next. Maybe that's my issue. Um, but yeah, it just, it wasn't, it's not super great. But that's okay. I'm doing what I can. Working with what I've been given. Uh, for me, Shara Tempting. Yes. Liz caught me talking shit in a stream. Why is that, Sunbad? And why were you talking shit in the first place? <laughs> uh, near the blue cabinet. This is an actual money for my account was 30 grand for my car. Never again. Yep. Yep. Golly gosh. Joe, Silver, Thor, Mano, Miz, Aelin, Brick, and Wallach. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Um, let's see if your next blue cabinet emote could be in the future. Oh dear. 
Much cauterize. Oh yeah, absolutely. Cauterize is this. Cauterize is this. Um, how goes manhunting? Very well, Thurls. Uh, I haven't got anything yet, which is a bit unfortunate, but that's fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, place your units. Don't miss out. You don't turn off the goat. I've grown to love the goat. <laughs> uh, give me a second. Let me do some of these. I can load tab on, right? Ah, too late. Oh, well, that's fine. It wasn't like it was a difficult one to create because I've got the ones from, like, if I... Boop! This one here from Jack, he made, uh, well, he gave me a whole, I don't, I'm pretty sure he made it, but um, he gave me a whole bunch, like, so it customizes per class. Um, so when I'm leveling characters, if I don't have poisons on a rogue, or if I don't have my lightning shield on a shaman, etc., it reminds me to do that. So I just kind of grabbed one of those and butchered it into a blazing shield one. So that was that, it was super easy to make because I had that skeleton to build it on. Um, so that's fine. I'll just make another one. Sad thing about the car was five days later we started work from home due to COVID. Now I rarely use the car. But look, having it is a good thing. Having it is a good thing. Um, one moment, Seeker. I'm not too sure because I am a bit behind. Um... ask what you put in your water you can it's a jar of like uh it's like liquid tea it's like liquid concentrated tea essence and they have one that's apple cinnamon and this one i think is like strawberry another berry and something else that's red um but it's really tasty did i, I didn't open that did i someone else yanked it from under me while i was in combat bastards i have to wait for it re to, to respawn now i think or but there's a morse one cage up the other side maybe we're good to get that um yeah, so I add like a teaspoon of that to the bottom of my glass and it just makes it not taste like dirt because water tastes like dirt. Uh, it might just be Brisbane. Uh, I seem to recall um, stuff in Melbourne not tasting too bad, but Brisbane water tastes, it's very high mineral content, so it tastes like dirt to me. Uh, so it just takes that edge off it um, just a little bit, but because the red one is like red and red stains everything, um, yeah, it's a, it, it just colors the water like super muchly. Yeah. Um. Once I get out of here. I got, I do. I heart in this. Okay, give me just a second, guys. Um, yes, Seeker. The answer to your question is yes. If you type slash user and then paste the name in or type the name in, whatever you prefer, um, you can do it through there. Um, yeah. messages sounds yum it is it's really good really good i'm in melbourne water is fine yeah as far like as far as i, I don't, it's been a while since i've been down there so i can't quite remember but i'm pretty sure i was okay with the melbourne water but brisbane water just tastes like butts uh, <laughs> uh but welcome on in celtic hope you're having a wonderful day not wrong melbourne water is top notch didn't know there were so many aussie wow streamers what the fuck yeah <laughs> there's a few of us there's a few of us 
Uh, hey, geez, can you confirm Brisbane water tastes like liquid iron and dirt? Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. I'm not, I'm not bonkers. Like, I'm actually, val thank you for validating my feelings. I appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well as well. Water is fine. Perhaps nearly 100 years old. Somehow my water is fine. I uh, still drink bottled water most of the time. Healing my inner child and making a big playlist of songs used to absolutely love. My brain decided to cringe, so I stopped listening to them for years. What is cringe? Uh, apparently some of the songs Sheebs used to listen to. Uh, did you enjoy your Labor Day? Uh, I worked. I mean, like, stream stuff, but it's, um, like, I'm registered as a business. I have an ABN and all that kind of stuff, so I did do work stuff, but that's, um, that's okay. And Jas was home. Jas didn't have to go to work, so that was nice. Yeah, having him at home was nice. I hope you did. I hope you did, Frit. I need examples for how I sent you the link. Better be golden. Where? Where did the chest go? What is the respawn timer on this chest? I have the keys. Give me my chest. This is really frustrating me. Like, assholes who steal shit from out, out from under you is just, like, not okay. Um, cringe is subjective, though. Only cringe if you make it cringe most of the time. Fair. Fair. Very fair. Um, I had to work for a few hours, but good. Wonderful. Got spag ball on my white singlet. I am an adult. I mean, I don't think I've ever worn a white anything without getting food on it, so that's... <laughs> I feel you, I feel you. Um. Oh, this is the wrong spectral bound chest. This is the one in Torghast. Here we go. This is the one. Comments. Um. Just disappeared. Reappeared a few minutes later. Never seen it do that before. Yeah, but how? How long is a few minutes? I don't want to be waiting here for seven hours. Had to come back later. We completely leave the area, then come back. Five minutes after my last shoot. Just here. Um. All right. I'm gonna go out of the named area and then come back to the named area and see if that works. Yeah, there we go. Do not interfere, mortal. Other off. Just really funky. I don't any of these songs. I cringe. My hey, brains are weird. They are. I mean, also like teenage Sheba versus today Sheba may have very different opinions of what's cringe as well. Like, I don't think there's any sort of overarching body that makes decisions about whether or not something is or is not cringe. Oh, oh no. Well, there we go. That was close. Let's get off the mount, shall we? Oh, I got a tasty one. I haven't had one of them in a while. God. Ooh, and purple ones. 
Apparently only one more purple one will actually count, so let's see. Ah, and there's a few of those others. Just a little like early 2010s party music. Forgot all the shops are closed, yes. Most of the shops were absolutely closed, like vast majority of them. There were a couple of cafes near us that were open, but not many at all. Not many at all. So this one is still purple, but I don't have any purple ones that I can actually get left. So we'll see if this one actually has relics on it still. It does. Interesting. Okay, so maybe that's not quite accurate. Um... Links in the if you search proper, it should work out too. If you look one, two plays a bit of songs less to when I was in middle school, very easy to have a shiver back then. So if they called me today, I'll be able to go with what's going to put in the window dropouts for sure. For sure. Uh, Alright. We have left. Mushrooms, two caches, pulse worn chest, anima vessels, I'm going to ignore. I think we're almost done. That's a purple one again. closed for ages. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a public holiday. Today is Labor Day in Queensland. It's, yeah, it's a public holiday. It's got nothing to do with COVID. Um. What is Labor Day in Australia anyway? Where does it originate from? Um, it's from the unions fighting uh, and winning. Like, just a whole ton of unions fighting for workers' rights and stuff like that, hence labour. Because you labour, you work, you labour. Yeah. Uh, what else do we seem to be missing? Oh, there's a more shroom I can go grab. That tasty one, how long does that last? Oh. Um. I think I might. Yeah. 
leave that there. And go turn these relics in. As well as the weekly. Oh, and the stolen Corthian supplies. So we're at 16%. Welcome to the archive. What remains of it? And that puts us to 21, so it's 5% per Shadow week. Studies all. And then that was 6% for the research. So we've got 11%. That's not too bad. But of course, you know, that's the, that's a weekly, not a daily. Um, moving to lockdown. COVID. I saw if it's done things like penalty rates, five day work week, holiday pay. Yep. I thought of women going into labor. No. No. Pro tip in this instance, it's labor day. No, you. Um, went to go get an air compressor to clean my computer. So much dust build up. My computer overheated. Oh, no. That's not good at all. Um, so many holidays. It's funny as fuck. We do. We have a lot. And they're all like. They're all in like the one bloody month. <laughs> and then nothing for like six months. Eight months. That part kind of sucks. You need something another time. Um, okay. Mm, I don't think I have anything else openable in my bags. So that's that done for today. I'm going to go do Valfir. We're going to start with Alliance. And then we're going to do Horde. I've got two Night Fae characters. So if anyone else is a Night Fae tune and wants a chance at the mount from Balfir, I know it can be purchased. So can other things. And those things can't drop. So this is what we're doing. Um, but yeah, I don't have the summon on Horde or Alliance. Um, so if you do and you're looking for people to help you kill it, I can do that. Uh, it's a Demon Hunter on Alliance and a Druid on Horde. But yeah. That's what we're doing. Oh, are we that close? Oh my gosh. 22%. That's awesome, Sheeps. Well done. Well done, all of you. Still can't complain with all the days off. Yeah, except I don't get any of them. I work part-time Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then I do stream um, and all the back-end stuff that's associated with that. So none of the public holidays fall on a Tuesday or Thursday. Um, and I work them because I do stream stuff on those days. So I haven't had a public holiday in a couple of years. <laughs> Copper Beak's been so damn busy because of the long weekends. Um, yes, want to support Fear? Why not follow on social media? Following is a free way to support streamers and makes a huge difference to them by expanding their reach. It's also a great opportunity to share her content with someone you think may enjoy it. Fear has just recently hit 1,000 followers on Instagram, which is a trigger for the algorithm, allowing increased visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. You can find all my profiles in that link. Thank you so much, Seeker. Much appreciated. Some of our Fear was just heading there. Ah, oh, fantastic, Thurls. Wonderful. Having a holiday in this economy, I know, right? You gotta love that part, that too. Part-time work, then streaming, not a bad gig. So streaming, I do 42, three hours a week. I'm live 24, but everything else in the back end that I do for my growth and for managing sponsorships and, and all that kind of stuff, I work, including the hours live, 42 hours a week on stream. And then I work 15.2 hours for my day, for my day job week <laughs> this is not just playing video games alrighty here we go uh seeker isn't a bot she types all that actually well copy paste but hey close enough oh wait hang on my where's my hearth that actually takes me to thing now I forget um but no I enjoy it I love it um, my day job is amazing. I work with incredible people and I love what I do. I work for a not-for-profit and uh, I'm an assistant accountant and so numbers uh, are my thing. I speak numbers better than I speak English most days and uh, I, I love what I do and I love content creation. It's it's in my blood I feel like and it just oh it's amazing but I work my fucking ass off. I work my absolute fucking ass off. I'm never not working. Uh, I was talking to Jas about this the other day, and the last time I had an hour to do something that was not one of my jobs related was like several months ago. I work hard. This is not this is not all shits and giggles. It's uh, it's hard work. I love it though, so it's you know 
worth it. It's worth it. <clears throat> Uh, streaming takes a lot more effort than just sitting in front of a game. Of course, of course. I think more and more people are definitely starting to realize that these days. Uh, she copies and pastes it. Nobody's that crazy. Did you even notice it was different that this time though? I'm not, am I not seeing? I did notice it was different. I absolutely did. Maybe other people didn't, but I definitely did see her. But to do what you want to do in life. Yeah, as long as you can still survive doing that though. Like, that's, that's the goal. You still, you, you have to be able to survive. Um, can anyone prove Seeker isn't a bot? I should be able to come October. Uh, maybe me, but Seeker feels fleshy to me. Uh, what night Faith thing will Bobby doing? Valfair. The, the rare. The big dude that drops the noodle. Uh, bloody detailed bot, if so. Also, why add the anxiety? It's not cool, programmer. <laughs> So you can click all the images that are buses to prove you aren't a robot now. <laughs> what spec am I in? I'm in tank this time. Look at me go. Look at me go. Working configuration as well. A lot different from streaming. Ah, fantastic, Celtic. What do you do? If you don't mind sharing. You don't have to share companies or any of that kind of crap, obviously. But the general gist of what you're involved in would be awesome. Um, I, like, I've been doing the streaming thing for six and a bit years. But um, over the last kind of year or so, I've branched out into all the other kinds of content as well uh, because it's the only way to increase your reach. And that's, you know, that's what you survive on as an influencer. It's it's all about your reach. Um, so, yeah, I've been learning a lot about all the different types and, you know, what works well on each of the different platforms and blah, 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 blah. Um, so always, always up to learn more. Always curious. What is about here? Fear is actually alone talking to a bunch of AIs. Look, you know, it would not surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, also, field bot would imagine it would manage to not get to be any on chest. Probably Seeker, but would the bot not talk about putting spaghetti on its chest to seem more relatable to the humans? Wiggles eyebrows convincingly. Thank you very much, guys. No mount for fear. Hopefully, it's, whoa, fuck. Hopefully somebody else got a mount, though. That's always nice. Um, so I'm going to jump onto the druid, the horde druid, to do the same bloody thing. <laughs> um, I'm counting, though. I couldn't lull it. Feel that's hard as fuck. Um, for some people, it absolutely is, 100%. But um, numbers work. Numbers make sense to me. Uh, they always have, like, I was always top of my math class and always getting all, like, the math war awards and all that kind of crap when I was younger. Um, and it kind of has carried on since then. I also, like, my personal budget. Oh, honey. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm really, really good with numbers and money and all that. It just comes so naturally to me. You know how, like, there's some people who have to really work hard at a particular skill and then for others, it's just a talent that just happens and they don't even have to think about it and they're already as good as the person who's been grinding at it for so long. That's kind of how I am with the money and numbers thing. Like, it just it just flows. Um, and I'm thankful. I'm really, really thankful for that. Uh, especially with the whole content creating thing because, it, and, you know, I work in... I do payroll and stuff like that. So all the payroll law and, and you know, uh, tax and super and all that kind of bits and pieces that I need to know for my job uh, is super applicable to me personally, because if I do become a full-time content creator in future at some point, and I do that for 20, 30 years, and then I end up getting superannuation and it's nothing because I haven't been putting anything into it. For, do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's those kind of, yeah. Uh, and making sure I have enough money to pay my taxes so that when tax time comes around and they ask me for however many thousands of dollars, I don't go, oh, and can't pay it. I can just be like, yep, here you go, done. Yeah, it's a nice feeling. Really nice feeling. Uh, Shiba, has she clicked any buses yet? I didn't think so. And they should realize just sitting here in front of camera takes a huge amount of mental fortitude for many. It does. Again, for some people it comes more naturally than others. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, definitely not easy. I was all day, be fried as fuck, have a brand, work with social media, music promotion, with record labels. Oh, cool. That's super awesome. Nice. Uh, wait, is someone here not an AI? Um, I, I don't think I am, but I might be. How can you, t where, where's the Turing test when you need it? 
Isn't the terrain test like completely flawed anyway? Or something? Or is that what a bot would say? Shit. <laughs> Everything is fine. Everything is fine. All right. Heading over to Valfir for round two on the Horde tune. No luck. Oh, sorry, Thurls. Bugger, TOSCK, if you believe you aren't a bot, I'll believe you. Spaghetti.exe running flawlessly. Mashibu who's managed to figure out the internet. Anything is possible. Uh, we're up to we're up to your shenanigans. Nice kid now I'm questioning it. Yeah, look me too. Sorry, I really was aiming at funny, not at worrying you. Yeah, it's a it's an interesting kind of thought, isn't it? I'm good was joking. Weird how it works. If it's algorithm numbers, I love it. Try and get me crunching numbers though, I'll crumble. Fair, totally fair. Wish I was a bot, maybe then I'd get all my art done. <gasps> Sheba, maybe I wouldn't have a to-do list if I was a fucking bot. Bots don't need to sleep. Now I'm just angry. <laughs> Did we do the emote only shot before? I don't remember. <clears throat> I wish I was an AI I would explain my AIs to socially acceptable matter, yes! Ah, oh, sleepers for the weak and the broken and the squishy and the, the made of flesh. If Elon Musk's Neuralink becomes symbiote. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd trust it. Um, they do get shut down for updates. Yeah, but not every night for eight bloody hours. Or, you know, in my case, more like two and a half. But anyway. When you don't sleep great, maybe you are on your way to bot. Yeah, but I feel like crap when I haven't slept. Computers take months to slow down if you don't restart them. Mm, sleep is life. Yeah, it would be life, except I'm an insomniac. So there's that. But you could make half the planet bots, though. Fear, but that's okay. Hopefully someone else got one. I need to jump onto Fia for Harika. 1.44 a.m. for me. I'm strong. The opposite to an insomniac. Mate, to reset your computer, just let the dust build up a good way. Oh no. It's how long it's been since I played my Demon Hunter. Uh, I'd also love to not have all my annoying health things if- oh god. You, yes. Yes. So if I was a bot, I would just like to take my brain out and blast it with an air compressor for a moment. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if you could, like, get rid of all the little weird annoying... Yeah. There's moments when you think you're a geared enough tuned to be wherever you want, and then the leak gives you a sideways glance and you realize how wrong you were! Me. All the time, Thor. All the time. I'm so sorry. I hope you're okay. Here's some of the data storage. Replace expand RAM. Yes. Where's my... Like, do I have a RAM slot somewhere? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Can I have more? Oh, this is great. I like this conversation. This is fun. I like this one a lot. You guys are awesome. Have I told you that lately? Not sure if I have. I love my community. We fucking kick ass. What's your eye level? Uh, on which of the 50 characters? I am I'm going to assume you're talking about my main and I'll check when, when the loading screen goes away. Uh, whistling sound for all the holo chambers would be horrendous in my case. Just download more RAM. Like, but, uh, how? <laughs> how? Or change the case, whatever you wanted. <gasps> That'd be cool. I mean, I do have this accessory that I can kind of change pretty well, but I, like, I like the way that it looks, so it's fine. Um, so yeah, my main is 5H. She's 251. Ah! Bang on 251. Love that. <gasps> I like even numbers. They make my heart happy. Uh, okay. Harika. Let's go smack Harika on the noggin. Bonk! That's what we're gonna do. And then we're going to go back to the Alliance tune and do the world quests. 
in Drustvar, not Storm's Wake. No, not Storm... Place. Battle! I uh, love the symmetry of 141 users in chat. I've got 136. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Uh, assigned bot at birth. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Na, 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 na. It's going to take that 144. I mean, up is better than down. I'll take it. Got things, yeah. Ah, dear. Uh, speaking of numbers, though, I do hope that everyone who is lurking is having a fantastic time. You don't have to chat. We we love our lurkers here. There's there's no absolutely no requirement for you to participate in chat whatsoever. If you do, though, I mean, obviously we're happy to have you. But um, I hope you are all having a fantastic day. I hope the food you've had has been delicious, and I hope that whatever you want to get, whatever you want to achieve today you are able to smash. Or if it's like late in the evening that you are able to smash it tomorrow. Airbot emote. Amy Minch. <laughs> we pay our artists what they're worth. That's what we do here. Um, oh, did we t We hit 1011? Oh my god. When when I started stream, it was a thousand and nine, and I'm like, oh, maybe we'll hit one, like maybe we'll hit ten ten today, and now we're ten eleven. That's amazing, amazing. And I'm starting to mix up the content. Okay, apart from the shitty filming quality, what do you think of the concept of that outfit video, the mini skirt one I did for Yes Style? Like shitty quality aside, how do we feel about the actual type of content? Uh, Zem, Mano, Thor, Cat, Dunno, Aelin, Joe, and Brick. Congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Well done. Ugh. We do want 11.11. We'd love 11.11, but we'll take every step we go as we get there. Um, okay, we'll go, we'll go for skins. <clears throat> um, uh, Tonk. Let's go Tonk. Oh, I have to call a doctor today. I'm terrified of calling people I don't know. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that, Small. Um, I hope the call goes well for you. And I hope you're able to get the information you need. I uh, want video on my Instagram. On the Instagram, crop uh, content was good. Top got a bit cropped too. The top and bottom got cropped because it wasn't in the right ratio because I didn't know that it had to be in a different ratio. But I know that now and the videos, plural, that I edited today um, have been appropriately cropped. So, like, I cropped them where I wanted them to be, so they they will be of the, the appropriate ratio, um, which is good. Oh, no, it was quests I was trying to turn in, wasn't it? Done that. That. Ah! 25% on the community challenge. Well done. Goal for today achieved. Of course, that doesn't mean you don't you have to stop. You can absolutely keep going if you would like. But that's fantastic. That's awesome. Oh, excuse me. Uh brilliant. Um I approve that kind of content. Wonderful. Wonderful. And thank you for your feedback, Zam. I really do appreciate it. Unfortunately, yeah, DSLR is a pain in the ass to work with for that kind of content. Uh, but I can tell you I've got two more videos that I've done that are going up and both of them were filmed in different places in the house and the lighting made such an enormous quality difference. So, um, yeah. Uh, and I've also, so the, the spot where I did that, never again. Or I could do it again, but I'd have to make some adjustments to some stuff. But that's okay. Now I know. Now I know. Um, but yeah, it got it. It wasn't that grainy when it like on my phone. It wasn't grainy on my PC. It wasn't that grainy. Um, but when it actually went up to Instagram, it, yeah, it became. I I don't know exactly what happened there, but um, the other videos look fine. Like they look a lot better. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Um. 
Can someone do me a quick favor and donate 267 embers to the challenge goal? Amazing. Do that. Little campfire at the bottom of the chat. Um, IG one to one, real 16 to nine. Incorrect. Incorrect. Videos on your Instagram feed. The, the feed itself, when you're looking at it, everything's one to one. But when you're scrolling through your feed, vertical videos are four to five. Yep. Incorrect. There is a ton of different ratios that are able to be used for a bunch of different Instagram content. There's like four or five different types of IG content these days. Um, but yeah, vertical videos are four to five. Uh, and it's better because they actually take up more as you're scrolling through, you get more of an impact as you scroll past and it's a vertical video. Um, but if you put a square video as your first thing, as you swipe through a carousel, everything else will be square. And if you put a four to five as your first thing and you scroll through, everything else will be four to five. Even if you've uploaded it as a square, it'll, um, it'll yeah, make it go funky. The first, the first piece of content in a carousel uh, will determine the ratio for the rest of the pieces. So you gotta be careful about what you put where. Uh, right, Harika's done. Nothing, because pfft, I've gotta wait 30 seconds for my Garrison Hothstone. Uh, it's really tough. Is it something you can get help from someone you know and trust? A boom. Yes, indeed. Most apps use 16 9 ratio. Yes, yeah, because it's the ratio of what the phone looks like uh, vertically. Um, well done, campaigning. Indeed, today's goal complete. Let's keep it going. So you've bumped them up too, Fear. Uh, what have I bumped up? Uh, what's the goal do? I'm new to Twitch. If When you click it, it tells you. There's a description in there because it'll change each week. Um, and yeah, it'll it'll tell you. Uh, asked my coach if she could stay with me the time being. She said yes, so that's something fantastic. Um, if the girls reach people from choice next month, uh, how's the Mage Tower coming along? Did you finish Agatha? No. I haven't tried again since then. I haven't had time. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, community's using embers. Free channel points. The little fireplace next to chat to donate to a stream. You can pop in up to 2,000 embers in as many increments as you like per stream. If we don't hit the goal, you get the points back. Good, good, nice to hear we get higher quality for you, yeah, and better makeup. That that makeup was a another yes yeah, style challenge that they set, and it is not my kind of thing. Um, it was interesting, like putting the look together was really kind of like it put me out of my comfort zone a bit. But um, it's yeah, not my not my first choice of styling. Uh, really little well, fifty k more. It's not enough to slow us. Feels a 916. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pretty impressive. You got over 1k. Having said that, my dog has an influence with over 1k followers. But have you got 1k already, Meaty? Holy shit. I told you. I told you. Doggos. It's, yeah, instantaneous. Oh, hang on. No, I misread that. Has an influence with over... Oh, because I followed you. Because I remember I followed and I'm like, you know, that'll, that number will increase pretty damn quick. And I'm like, it's hit a K already. But no, you, yeah, I misread. That's fine. We're good. Everything's okay. <laughs> oh, what I really like are the pics you scroll through them and they're continuous, kind of like, like a panoramic photo. Yeah, it's kind of tricky. I don't, like, I don't know what I would do like what kind of content I could create that would translate to a panoramic picture like that. It's yeah, a little bit tricky um, for my particular content type. Try reels on Instagram for each. Go check out my Instagram play page, please, Celtic. Like <laughs> you're giving me advice that I've been doing for months. <laughs> um, yes, I, I've been using reels and I have a TikTok and yeah. I know, I, I use almost every type of uh, content available on IG except for um, uh, IGTV. Um, and that's because of a potential clash with my Twitch contract. Uh, I don't have any social media in shot. It's amazing. Brilliant. Fantastic. Um, there's a, there's a uh, photo editor inbuilt into my um, scheduling apps though. So I tend to use that, uh, but good to know. Good to know. It took some time. It's not that famous. Oh, you watch. You watch. Matte makeup. 
open on left, closed on right. But I'd have, like, it'd still, like, to make it two square photos wide, it, Because mm, then you got to remember what that's going to look like on my feed, Do Like, the, the actual photo on the feed still has to look decent as well. And if it's just a close-up of half my face, it's a little bit strange. I enjoyed watching her work through that one. Good, good. Her real brilliant. Wonderful. Uh, does someone get the matte makeup? Sheba did, yes. It's three guesses who, yep, Sheba, Sue, Sheba, and Sheebs. I love it. That's hilarious. Oh, I'll follow you on one of my pages. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. I'm kind of hungry. Um, did we do the emote only chat before? I don't remember. There's one in my, in my redemption queue and I'm not sure if we did it. Uh, what's cooking? Ah, uh, nothing at the moment. Yes. Feel free to follow on all of them. <laughs> I don't think we've done any. What well, was your one do? I have, it's got an emote only thing here from you. Let's, you know what? Bam. Two minutes of emote only. Do the thing. All the emotes. All the emotes. Show me all your favorite emotes and the emotes from your favorite streamers. I'd love to see them. Crabber MLT. Order of Embers! <gasps> Guys. Guys, there's an Order of Embers one today. Is this the day? Is this it? Are we getting exalted? Are we buying mounts today? Guys, all the hype. Our emote only chat is two minutes. Uh, we've got about a minute and a half left, so feel free to spam. They all bounce across the screen too. It's kind of fun. They're so cute. So many adorable ones. Yes, all the hype, Zam. Look at it all. Yay! Love it. Here, coin. Hello, Talexi. Love those glowing booties. Amazing. Hope you're having a wonderful day. <laughs> okay so this is where it's meant to be but I don't see oh is it here yeah it is safe travel <clears throat> Alrighty. There we go. Emote only is complete. Well done. Going videos of the cutest, they are adorable. Also, Seeker, did you know you can speak in emote only mode now? Amazing. Love that. Love that. Uh, good morning, Kia. Welcome back. Do you work with YouTube a lot? Not really. Um, I do upload my VODs uh, and I'm very behind because we had floods and I had surgery and there was a whole lot of problematic stuff in there that prevented me from doing what I needed to do. Um, but I have been uploading shorts and I've been uploading my VODs. Uh, I used to do um, like makeup, skincare, beauty related YouTube videos like a few years back. Uh, and then stuff started happening with stream. Like I started building and growing quite quickly at one point. Um, and I kind of realized either I focus on Twitch or I focus on YouTube because there was not going to be enough time for both of them. And I, so I decided to drop the YouTube side of things. But just recently, like start of this year, I started um, uploading VODs and shorts and, and all that kind of stuff too. So yeah, but beyond that, not really. 
It's good to see streamers in Brizzy. Hello! Welcome in. I'm not a paladin. Um, could you buy order of Embers rep when Time Walking in Draenor comes up? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Possibly. I haven't checked. I don't tend to buy rep tokens because I have too many like collectibles to buy with Time Warp badges. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I just do the world quests. I don't I don't hate world quests. So I'm, I'm happy to do it this way. Uh, any general tips for starting out on Twitch? Um, yeah, it's hard. Like, it's really hard work. If you're trying to do it as, like, an income, if you want it to become a job, I do 42 hours work a week on Twitch stuff. Back end, front end, you know, streaming, all that kind of stuff. Um, 42 hours a week, and I have a job because it's not enough to cover my, like, just the bills. It's not enough. Um, so if you're wanting to do it, at, like, if you're trying to make an income from it, it also took me six years to get to this point. So, like, have realistic expectations. If you want to do it as a hobby for fun, for shits and giggles, for your mates, all that kind of stuff, fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. That is a lot easier to do. Um, sit down and actually work with your program that you've decided. Like, if you're going to use OBS or whatever, like, sit down and actually get to know your program. Work on it, like, watch YouTube videos, understand what all the little bits and options mean and stuff, and, and really you know, figure out what's going to be best for you and your setup. Um, and get used to talking to nobody. Because when you start out, chances are, unless you're piggybacking off a, like, a friend of yours who's really big and who gives you a, t a ton of raids every week and stuff like that, unless you're being fed viewers, um, you will grow really slowly. And that's fine. Everyone does. I did. And that's perfectly okay. It is normal. Um, but if you come into a stream and no one's doing anything, there's no chat, No, the, the stream is not talking, chances are people click out real quick. They'll just, they'll leave pretty quick. You've got maybe five to ten seconds to make that first impression. So making sure that it's constantly entertaining, it's hard, but it's a necessity um, if you want to see growth. Again, if you're just streaming for your friends and you don't really care who else watches, then it doesn't matter. Do what you want. Have fun. Just fuck around. It's no one, it does not matter. Um, but if you're trying to grow, uh, learn how to turn one question with a two to three word answer into several paragraphs worth of response. Um, talk constantly. Narrate what you're doing. Talk about things you did that day, plans you have for the weekend. It doesn't matter if you repeat yourself. Um, be, like, if you're repeating yourself every half hour or so, it doesn't matter because there's a chance that somebody who's in there now wasn't there half an hour ago. Uh, so it's not as bad as you might think. Uh, but yeah, overall, it's fucking hard work. It's it's hard. It's hard. Oh, consistency. Schedule. Set yourself a schedule and stick to it. Doesn't matter if it's one day a week for two hours. Uh, doesn't matter if it's seven days a week for, for, for five or six hours. It doesn't matter. Set a schedule and stick to it. Upload your future streams onto the schedule part of Twitch and be there when you say you're going to be there. Consistency and uh, knowing, like, you know... People turn on the TV at a certain time because they, they used to, turn on the TV at a certain time because they know their favorite show's about to start. If, if you give people two minutes notice when you're going live, they're not gonna come because they are in the middle of something, they need to finish up what they're doing, uh, and then maybe they'll come by, and if you're only live for an hour or two, then there's a chance that they're going to miss your whole stream. Uh, and so maybe after a while, they'll be like, oh, you know, I've, I've got to finish what I'm doing. Oh, it's been three hours. They're probably not live. I'm not even going to bother checking. So having consistency and knowing when you're going to go live is super important for growth. Uh, schedule, talk your ass off, and uh, be prepared to work your ass off as well. Be, like, it's it's hard. It's not easy. Uh, but yeah, those would be those would be the three big ones. Um, the number of times I've seen like a, a tweet on Twitter or, or a post elsewhere with a screenshot of somebody's dashboard saying, "I've been live for three whole days and I've only got this many viewers." Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. Like no, you are nobody is entitled to viewers. Put in the work. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's it's incredibly rewarding, like incredibly rewarding. Um, not, and I'm not talking about financially. Financially, it's it's not. <laughs> it's not. You make far less than minimum wage in any country. Um, I know how low minimum wage is in some countries. 
if a country has minimum wage, what you make from Twitch is less than that, I promise you. Uh, but until you get up to the, you know, the top 10 streamers on Twitch and all that kind of crap, which I'm not. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's hard. It's, um, it doesn't pay particularly well, uh, but if you can build a community around your interests and who have similar dispositions to you, like your vibe attracts your tribe. So if you are a salty ass gamer, you will attract a salty ass community. If you're chill and, and upfront and honest and, and open and all that kind of stuff, then you will attract a chill, upfront, honest and open community, which is what I've managed to do, which I'm just blown away by and it's amazing and I love it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, yeah. Wild beasts are encroaching on the farms by the coast. Help out the farmers and handle the problem. Yeah, but, um... I hope you're having an awesome day, Zebra. And welcome on in. And I hope that that, um... Has answered your question sufficiently. <laughs> uh, stream that nobody's watching. No, you would need BFA time working for that and that's not a thing yet. No, it's not, but, um, I, th I thought the question, Zam, would be, like, when it becomes a thing... Would it be a, a and when when it becomes a thing, Pro maybe who knows? But um, yeah, I don't know. Not a not a thing I probably do, but that's okay. Twitch, they're on. Yeah, I make most of all viewers keep talking. Couldn't do streaming. Fair. It is. It's not for everybody, and that's something else. Like all these people see, you know, it, you have a, a, like hundreds of thousands of viewers who are like, oh. They sit there playing video games. I can do that. I do that all the time. Yeah, I'll give it a go. It'll be awesome. I'll make myself some spending money. It's not like that. It's, um, it's, it's really not like that. Um, and I, like, I know a lot of the stuff that I say with, like, the tips and stuff, I, I can come across as quite harsh and quite negative. Um, two years ago, when people asked me, for how, you know, what, what's your advice for starting streaming? My advice was don't. So I think I've improved from there. Um, but so many people just think, oh yeah, it'll be really fun and I'll make some money. You don't, you don't make money. Not for a long time. Not for a long time. Um, but if you're doing it because you want to share your passion for video games or whatever it is that you're creating with other people, then absolutely go for it. But remember, you you can see where I'm at. You can see my hang on, let me um uh tracker. Let me give you some data to put this into perspective. Where's my channel analytics? Over the last 30 days, I have averaged 89 viewers. Right? That's that's my average over the last 30 days. 89 viewers. I've streamed 107 hours and 42 minutes. Overall, I am 21, 2097th on Twitch. So there are 2096 streamers who have better analytics than I do. 2097th. I am... For English channels, I'm 9,223rd. So there are 9,222 English language streams better than mine. But I am still in the top 0.27% of Twitch. 0.27% of streamers is 21,907 people. That's streamers, not Twitch accounts. People who have gone live. There are hundreds of millions, millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, probably, of people who have streamed on Twitch. Maybe seven of those people are something special. Like, in terms of numbers and, like, really blowing up and all that kind of stuff. A lot of them are brands and stuff, you know, understandably, like PAX. It's in PAX with its multiple iterations has like 20, 30 something channels and they're probably up there. But um, there are so many streamers. It is very difficult to grow these days, especially if you're only just starting out. Unless you have some 
mind-blowing niche, like some mind-blowing little target audience that just, ah, oh, you know, have this something really special about you that very, very, very Our few other streamers have, then it's, um, it's going to be exceptionally difficult to grow. Uh, again, six years, six and a bit years. Took me five and a half years to make partner. It's hard. And people don't recognize that, and then they get shitty when it doesn't happen like that. <laughs> so, yeah, just be realistic, and you'll be great. Um, cool down. Uh, I don't think that's a command here, coin. I might be wrong. No, gamble's not a command. Gamble's not a command. It's not inviting friends to your stream, so you'll have someone to talk to might be a good idea until you get used to things. Oh, it's a necessary thing, because otherwise you'll be along with everybody else who's sitting there on one viewer, and it's like, tr you know, scrolling through those hundreds of thousands of people. If you, and especially, cons you know, it is now easier to be discovered on Twitch, much, much easier than it used to be, because it doesn't sort by viewer count, it doesn't go like 10,000 down to one. Um, it's by recommended. The problem is Twitch can't recommend you to other people if you don't have people viewing you who also view other streamers. So if you had a viewer that watches, it, it, like if I have a viewer and you have that viewer as well, and then there's another person who watches me, that'll, you'll be recommended to them because other people who watch me also watch you. And like I, I can never find the exact correct way to say that sentence and it's a bloody mess. But um, yeah, so recommendations are based on other people who watch you. Uh, and or other, pe other people's watch habits. So if there isn't that many people watching you, you're not going to be recommended to many people either. You need to build up that original base of friends and, and all that kind of stuff, like co-workers if you have to, like anyone else who, who you can convince to come watch you, who also use Twitch elsewhere. They also have to watch other channels as well, otherwise again the recommendations won't work. Yeah, I regularly have people recommended to me who have single digit viewers. Regularly. Um, but it's because they're not they're not at one, they're at five or seven. Um yeah. Um you can type exclamation points, see how many channel points you have. Realistic expectations too. Yep, absolutely. You definitely need yeah, if Yeah. It is important to have realistic expectations, especially be like if you want to make a long term go of it. If you don't reach your goals in the first month, then what's keeping you going? You need to understand it will take time. So if you're okay with, you know, not seeing much growth in the first few months, then you'll have more uh, willpower to keep going. Always going to be rough at the start, correct? Uh, you get to meet bots like me. Amazing how much consistency helps. Morning stream precisely because your consistency. Damn straight. Damn straight. I've had basically the same schedule for over two years now. In fact, it might actually be close to three years. The only change I've made, I think in the last three-ish years, has been that my Sunday streams used to be two till eight instead of four till 10, because I liked having the extra couple of hours at night to get ready for my week. But then I realized, like, I'm not working on a, a Monday anymore anyway. I used to work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and now I just work Tuesday, Thursday. But, um, I don't work Mondays anymore. And having it being able to say I'm Monday, Monday Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard, it's a hell of a lot easier to market that. I am aware that I'm, in a, I'm very grateful for my situation. Not everyone can do that. Some people have wonky schedules. Some people get their roster a week out which is ridiculous, but it happens. And so people can't have that consistency. And that's okay, but you need to understand that it will affect your numbers. It will affect your statistics. It will affect your growth. You can't do anything about it, but it will still affect your growth. Uh, hey, Andy. Well, how are you? Welcome back. Uh, people clearly have met people. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, mm -hmm, sure. But confirm, nice recovery. Thank you for showing. You're very welcome. Not a worry at all, Zebra. Very welcome. It's been suggested to me a couple of times that I need to move these, like, how to stream tips onto, like, a Patreon or something. <laughs> uh, but, look, 
That sounds like more work to me. I don't watch you every time. I can't really do to real life. Of course. Always try to be here on Mondays. Always so chill and cozy. Wonderful. I'm so pleased to hear that. But, and that's okay. You are under no obligation to be here. The only person who is obligated to be here is me. It's like a TV show. You don't, you don't apologize to the TV for missing a, an episode. You just catch up on it later. And you got 60 days with the VODs to catch up on it later. And then eventually they go up on YouTube and you can catch up on them whenever. Um, but yeah, like, no, you no, never need to, like, people apologize for being late or apologize for missing a stream or, and you don't have to at all, whatsoever. I am a form of entertainment. And it's totally fine to have higher priorities than entertainment. Totally fine. Uh, is there much point to getting Shadowlands? if it'll probably come with Dragon F pre-orders. Um, okay, so WoW expansions don't come with free, they don't come with pre-orders like that. That's not how it works. Um, what it does do is that when Dragonflight launches, not pre-orders, launches, Shadowlands will become part of the sub. So if you're paying your monthly sub right now, you have access to everything up to be up to and including BFA, and you have to purchase Shadowlands. You will have to purchase Shadowlands right up until the launch date of Dragonflight, and then it'll be included in your sub, and then you'll get you have to purchase Dragonflight. Um, Dragonflight, depending on how soon you want to play, play Dragonflight's not going to be here till 2023. It's not going to be here until next year. If you don't mind not playing the end expansion until early next year, then yeah, that's fine. Go for it. Just pay your sub and play up to BFA. That's fine. But you will not get Shadowlands included in your sub until first quarter at the very le at the very earliest next year. Uh, I'm personally pegging it as an April launch, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was March or May either. But I don't think it'll be any earlier than March. Uh, but that's just my personal kind of thoughts and, and all that kind of thing. Uh, I don't have any inside information. No one can know at the moment. I, I reckon probably Blizzard themselves don't actually know uh, when it's going to be launched. Otherwise, it would have tell us, told us a launch date, right? Uh, but yeah, you're going to be waiting a hell of a while for Shadowlands to be actually included in your sub. Uh, but welcome on in, war boss. I hope you're having a fantastic day. This is the world boss, so I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to try. Uh, this is going to go badly. Oh, actually, no, wait, I am a demon hunter. That's right. I heal myself all the time. I forgot about that. Uh, welcome to chat. Probably if you're keen to play soon, Shadowlands will be game for another year or so. Yes. Got a bit of a chunk of a question about, wow, if you're cool to help a gamer out, Fiala. I mean, yeah, you don't have to ask if you can ask a question. Because, I mean, that's already a question. If I don't want to answer something, I'll just say no. <laughs> or if it's super inappropriate, obviously, like, time out or delete the message or whatever, but yeah, no. You don't have to ask to ask a question. Uh, I'm gonna do this because this boss is gonna take a while anyway. That actually work. No. There we go. Uh, back in chat. We have a big community here. A lot of whom play. Yes, absolutely. YouTube can be pretty quick. Uh, what do you mean by that? What do you mean pretty quick? What's pretty quick with YouTube? Uh, uploading a six-hour video is not pretty quick. Let me tell you that much. I've got so far you can do whatever quest you like, like an ESO. Do you have any recommendations on what quest chains to do learn the story of the game while leveling up? Um... As a brand new player, you'll be put into Battle for Azeroth's expansion first. Um, there are, like, there are main campaign story quests and then side quests. And the, the main story campaign quests are flagged very obviously. Um, so if you want the story without the side quests, then that's the one to go for. Um, but beyond that, yeah, you can do what you like. Um... Oh, I'm so happy you already played. Just currently advertised, but I don't know if that's any help. I'm aware. I know. How cool is that? Face on the launcher. So awesome. I've had. Oh, it's been an amazing experience. Fascinating. Mm. Hey, Chrissy. Thank you for the well wishes. Much appreciated. Uh, as a new player to WoW, it's just way too much to do. Blizzard doesn't lead you around by the nose with main story quests like other MMOs. Ah, it does. It does. Um, there are quests that have like a shield around the exclamation mark, and those are your, those are your main stories. Um, main story if you quest. what main story quest? Yeah, is that lemon or is that passion fruit? It's lemon. Lemon. Wait, we have lemon. 
Me, you weren't supposed to open the lemon yet, so I'm assuming There's it's... There's passion fruit. Cool, thank we you. We have lemon? Yep. <laughs> and yogurt, that's what they sent me. That's what's on the car. Oh, I've been trying... That's why I need you to clean the fucking kitchen so I can make content so we can drink it. Because <laughs> I can't make content with it if the tub's half empty. <laughs> no, I cannot. If the tub's no. half empty, because you've made a drink of it. And like, you yeah, but I need to make the drink. drink. Yes, correct. I need to make the drink. But I need the kitchen to be clean so I can fucking film it. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Why are you trying to solo this thing? Because I can. Look. Alright, just because you can doesn't mean that you should. Correct. I know I know we're on the stream reader screen. I'm aware, but I can't tab out yet. Because, like, this guy has more health than your DPS by, like... Uh, Joe, Zem, Mental, Dunno, Dupe, Litter, Absolute, and Mizuma. Congratulations on your bonus shit. I'm currently frozen, but I can stand back out of that breath. Also, it's very ironic. That coming from me. Just because you can doesn't mean that you should. Correct. That is very ironic. Thank you so much for the bubble tea, Jas. I really appreciate it. Why am I saying Because you're a numpty, obviously. Why am I not? There we go. From buffing. The monks are the good buffers. Good, okay. Um The other one that I was gonna mention is like you have chapters up here. That's telling you what the main story quests are. Um, even if they don't have the shields around them and stuff, this is I remember that that's definitely part of um BFA. So if you have a look at your quest log, it will tell you what the main story quests are. Even if it's not obvious from like when you accepted them. Uh, in the simplest way to start your character in an area, work through all the quests in that area before moving on. Leveling guides and which can be helpful. <coughs> as a brand new player, um, there are no like new zones and shit like It's BFA. You have to go through BFA as a brand new player because that feeds directly into the Shadowlands story. You don't get crummy time. Not until you've leveled the tune. Uh she was put in the work and be either a entertaining or b be incredibly good at a competitive game yeah basically yeah it's either yeah it's it's the the skill at the game or yeah the the interactivity the ta that kind of entertaining stuff yeah it's yep you're right <laughs> you're absolutely right oh for god so just do the thing um because of Blizz. Came because of Blizz followed because of Entertainment Factor. Yas. Hey, a blade. Welcome back. Try to make it on livestream fails. No, I don't want to fail. All the people on there get fucking hate, like, constantly. Why would that be a recommendation? Don't do that. Don't do that. That that place is toxic as hell. Ah, uh, Zaquiria, try to prioritize. Oceanic Peak, support local. I love that. That's so kind of you. I don't get as focused as many in the game right now. Uh, trend to bumble through following quests I've been playing since the game came out. Yeah, absolutely. Look, it's dying. And I'm not. Slowly but surely. <clears throat> uh, hello, Scarlet! Wait, I think I've seen you already before. God damn. Look, my memory is failing. This is, this is not easy. <laughs> um... And the bots and chair computer being there helps too. Yep, absolutely. She was a supportive member of the community. Correct. Correct. Chair has her back. He does. He does. TV doesn't know we missed it. You do. If regular contributor to chat. I know, but I also tend to just kind of assume that, like, you're busy or that you had something going on that day or whatever, you know? Like, I'm not... Yeah. I mean, okay, okay, so there have been a couple of people who, if they've been there for every single stream for months and then they don't show up for, like, two weeks or something, I absolutely get worried. But you don't need to apologize for that. Like, sometimes what I'm doing as content just isn't what you want anymore. Or something big has happened in the life and it needs to be dealt with. Or, do you know what I mean? Like, there are just so many, and none of them are, apolo like, apology-worthy. Uh, cool way to think of it. Have a cinema full of people watching. How It is pretty awesome, hey? Like, it's trippy as fuck. Not gonna lie. Uh, but the other thing is that some people don't like thinking about that. There is, you can turn off the view counter for you personally, so that you can't see how many people are watching. If that helps you as a content creator, um, like, because if you get, like, nerves or whatever, I don't anymore. Like, I used to get kind of like a, oh my gosh, it's getting higher, don't do anything wrong to scare them away. Uh, but... 
I, I don't anymore. I just keep doing my thing. And if people don't like what I'm doing, then they're not going to stick around for long anyway. So that's okay. They drop in, they see if they like my content, and if they don't, they skedaddle. No harm. No harm. Hi, the sun well. Ah! Oh, Celtic, thank you for the sub. Oh, it's mid! Mid, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Celtic. Much appreciated. Much, oh, thank you so much for the support and congrats, Celtic. Congrats, she does have her back. Uh, how goes the mount farming? Yeah, I've gotten a lot of attempts in for specific mounts and stuff, which is good. Um, this is taking forever. I probably shouldn't have. Yeah, this is this is gonna take like entirely too long. So we're gonna run away. There we go. Out of combat. Run away, little girl. Run away. So what I've learned from that experience is it's absolutely possible for me to kill that world boss. I don't wanna. Too takes too long. Takes too long. For the alliance. Pardon? Yeah, that's right. Uh, how many mounts do you have? Six hundred and fifty-eight. Six fifty-eight. Uh, I guess the wrong. Yeah, Kaz has it. Nope. Kaz doesn't have it. You guessed the same as you did last time, which was one off, dude, which is really funny. I find that entertaining. If they take a lot of time with Dragonfly, they take thought in everything if they launch it. Wouldn't even mind waiting for the beginning of 2024. If they try waiting till 2024, they'll lose a ton of money. They won't do that. It has to be a balance of, like, taking their time and making money. They're a company. It won't be 2024. Uh, Shadow Fist! Thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. A little bit since I was able to catch the stream. That's okay. I hope you've been having a wonderful time. Did you kill it? Mm -mm. I ran away. Steak Yay, steak. steak! Thank you. Yeah, take too long. He was at like 80% and it had been like 10 minutes. I don't know. Lame. What? You got wet on you. Yes, the bubble okay. teacup here. Looky, 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 looky. The only good witch has is a dead No. A hat. Well, yes, but look. That's a mount. That's nice, but that's a hat. <sighs> Thank you for dinner, Jess. Hat! <laughs> hat! Uh, okay, so we have the reins of the smoky... Oh, crap, where's my... um? Excuse me. Ahoy. Uh, oh, we've got two minutes until we can... Uh, two, two more minutes to trigger a hype train if you're missing any of those uh, emotes. I uh, said quite far along into the development of Dragonflight. Yeah, I still don't think it's going to be 2022. It'll won't, it won't be till next year. Uh, I think these days, nothing co noting COVID as well. Things take a while. We'd all love to have the high quality product Blizz wants to deliver, which we're accustomed to. Uh, as you say, it'll take the time it takes. Yeah. Uh, personally, I don't want a bombshell like Shadowlands. Uh, I don't know what you mean by a bombshell exactly, because um, some people think a bombshell is a very attractive person, uh, and others you might be talking about like an actual piece of munitions. Not too sure. Um, I know I'm nine minutes behind on chat. I'm trying to catch up. Uh, just, just told. Careful, just is a trap. Um, Teamwork makes the dream work. Indeed. Just suggesting not killing stuff. Has he had a faulty firmware upgrade to his code or something? Um, uh, do every character have to go through BFA or just one is enough for regards to alts? Just one. So once you've done BFA on your first character ever, uh, you can then activate Chromie Time, which allows you to play through uh, BC or Wrath or Kata or Mop or whatever. So you play through one expansion for your level 10 to 50 experience. Uh, welcome on in, Clarify. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's not all hate and it's exposure. Fair enough, though, I guess. Yeah, nah. I, um... No, nah, thanks. Uh, I mean, it's in the name. Livestream. Fail. Uh, the, 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 the times that I have been directed to a popular post in Livestream fail by my feed, it has been toxic bullshit. Like, absolute, utter toxic bullshit. So, no thanks. Um, there's a thing called bad publicity. We don't want that. Oh my god, I feel so bad for only missing one. I feel like I've really let the community down. No, Panda, never. 
I've done the math. I suppose we'll still be battling this mob by the time she gets to this message. Nope. Uh, getting up at 4 a.m. for work gets to about this time. My concentration gets so bad, makes it hard to play games. Fair. Uh, I think the risk with that uh, is when you're working to create a vibe and community, negativity doesn't uh, stick with that. Yeah, you don't want followers for followers sake. Correct. Before she gets to dupe's message. Ah, uh, thanks for that. Indeed, congratulations. Is that Alliance? This is Alliance Tune. Was gonna offer to go help. Nah, it's totally fine. I was just assassing you from the other room. Correct, always. Holy shit, indeed. Uh, hello, Shadow again. Sure you can scratch together some people to help. Doesn't bother me. I'm I'm exalted now. Don't care. How much do I have to pay to replace that horde command with a... Perhaps we send a message before I'm ready. Oh dear. Jazz is right, it was a hat. Congrats, thank you. How's a kite on Hopium for Tenno in 2022? Yeah, no. Uh, Hopium bros. Uh, Jazz equals bubble tea happy time. Yes, correct. Yeah, and it is. It's uh, So this is passion fruit flavor. It'll have coconut jelly in the bottom. Mm. Passion fruit is one of my favorite flavors. And as always, heckin' delicious. Um, but this is made at home. Um, it's like... Depending on how many servings, like you can buy a five serving, 10 serving, 20, 40, etc. pack. Um, but depending on uh, how big a pack you buy, these it's like three bucks a serve. Not even. Uh, and when you buy it from Gongcha, it's like eight. So uh, if you are a fan of bubble tea, highly recommend. Use code FIAMA, 5% discount, and I get a 5% commission. Help me pay my dental bills. Help me pay my dental bills. You're very well versed in live streaming scenes like streamers. It's just a first guess. Of course, of course. I uh, love that my brain now reads and hears you saying yes. Yep. We're not getting 10.0 in 2022. Get off the hopium already. Yes. Uh, what would you like to see Liz do to improve WoW? Uh, honestly, I, I enjoy the game. Like, I I, I don't have, like, a, a wish. I don't really care. Like, um, so I'm very much, like... If they give us content, I will try it. If I like it, I will continue to do it. If I don't like it, I won't do it. And I'll do the other content I do like. I don't really care. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't bother me. I just hope that what they do implement, they think it through well, they accept and take feedback, they adjust. Um, to, like, obviously, they're not going to be able to take, and they're not going to be able to make it match all feedback, you know, but I hope that they take on board the feedback, listen to it, and tweak their product in a way that makes uh, it better and, and before they release it. But beyond that, I don't really care about the specific content. I'll give it a try and if I like it, I'll play. If I don't, I don't. Very easy. Um, happy with it as it is. Yep. <sighs> My precious mind. Yeah, good luck with that. Um, I like as it is. The only thing I didn't like was when they removed everyone being in PvP mode, but War Mode fixed that. Yes. That, yeah, War Mode was a fantastic change. I, I think, honestly, it was a really, really good change. Not having to change entire servers to be able to do World PvP. Like, that was a fantastic decision. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Same here. I feel there are legitimate problems with the game at the same time, although I feel everyone has a mob mentality towards Blizz sometimes with no merit behind the claims. Um, sometimes. Sometimes, um, yeah, people get, I think people like being angry at Blizz as well, like, hmm, and you can take a really small problem, have a large YouTuber make a video about it, and all of a sudden it's this massive game-breaking problem and people are leaving because of it and blah blah blah, when it really wasn't that big a deal to begin with, it's just that, it, like, as you said, the mob mentality, um, but, look, each to their own. If people don't want to play the game, for whatever reason, it's valid. They are allowed to move on and find something else to play. If they're looking for an excuse to leave, and a YouTuber gives them one that they feel like that can, they can take, then I hope they do get out. I hope they, they do find something that gives them more joy and, and ignites their passion uh, like WoW does for me. Because everyone deserves to have that. Everyone deserves to have something that they truly, really enjoy. Uh, and if it's not WoW, then that's okay. Like, for sure. Uh, Cross-faction will be a good thing, I think. Yeah, I do like that. Anything that allows me to play with more of my viewers is a good thing in my books. Uh, the fact that we can do loot appraiser challenges, cross-faction, cross-region, all that kind of stuff, it is via add-on, but it's still, like, yeah, I really like that. 
Fell Orc. You asked for it. Heartbreaker is hard to get. I can't possibly play the game anymore. Unsubscribe, except not really. Ah, uh, look to each their own. Um, if if they're really passionate about collecting and collecting is just getting too hard because they've gotten all the slightly easier stuff to get and so they're not having fun anymore, then that's a valid reason to stop playing because the fun's not there for them anymore. But yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Mmm, <laughs> all right. Nope. Glory to House Waycrest. Shut up, Sam. <laughs> no, it's because I haven't changed it yet, kid. It doesn't happen automatically. I have to do it manually. Please keep your pants on. <laughs> um 660 mounts, fuggers. Alright, uh, where's this one? Alright. What's next on the list? Because I have to take that one off entirely now. Oh god, I love taking that off the list. Oh fuck. Right, so it's Unshackled Caracol on field. <sighs> Although it is an emissary game based outside. Alright, and then. Isn't that nearly every mount in the game? No. No. There are 948 total mounts. I can get 877 of them because a bunch of them have been discontinued or removed from the game, etc. etc. Or they were promotional in China, for example. Um, so I can get 877. I have 660 now. Wait, why? Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm getting, I'm getting back, I, before 9.2 hit, I had under 200 mounts to go, and then they added 41 new mounts, and I had over 200 to go again. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, we just have to get more them. That's all. Um, hey there, yeah, you, hope you're well. I have a favour to ask, what to support for you? Why not follow on social media? Following is a free way to support streamers and makes a huge difference to them. Surprising, but true. Fia has just recently hit 1,000 followers on Instagram, which is a trigger for the algorithm, allowing increased visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. You can find all of her profiles by typing exclamation socials in chat, or by scrolling under the video player and having a look at the About Fia on the bar. Over on the right-hand side, you've got a bunch of links there. Thank you so much for even considering to support me in my quest for full-time content creation. How's that? <laughs> and that's the end of the two minutes. Ah, oh, fantastic. All right. I hope that was entertaining to you all, and I hope that you go follow me on Instagram because of it. Thank you. I'm getting better at the self-promotion thing. Still makes me want to puke, but it's fine. Excuse me, keeping your pants on. Brilliant, Kia. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> Sorry, it does, yeah, because I have to do it manually and I had other bits and pieces going on at the time. Sometimes it takes me a little bit to get around to it, um, but I don't have, like, coding or anything that allows it to, like, pull from redemptions and then do this and then, yeah, no. Nah. Oh, well. Uh, I appreciate the patience. I truly do. Ooh. <clears throat> Oh, is that really a game? Hey, what happened to your voice? Yeah. Fly is upset by the voice. Oh damn, what the fuck? It's my favorite voice. Much better, she said it sounds like she'd be in a Taurus. It was mostly two minutes of... Only get mounts that look cool. Fair enough. I want all of them. Uh, how do Twitch sponsors work? Can you reach out to them? Uh, it depends. It depends. So, um... Sometimes you get, like, I have an email address and sometimes people reach out to me and offer things or ask for me to do things in return for cash um, uh, or, you know, in return for application for front page or in return for product or whatever it happens to be. Because sponsorships are not all money. Um, 
But as a creator, you can absolutely reach out to brands as well. Um, when, <clears throat> when you do that, it's really important to um, like understand that this isn't just, can I have free stuff, please? I'll tell all my friends. Like, you have to be offering them something that's worth what they what they, what you're asking in return. Um, so, like, <clears throat> and of course, they have to be able to afford it as well. If you reach out to a tiny indie developer and say, "Hey, I want three hundred dollars to stream your game," they might not be able to afford that. They would much rather have a ton of smaller streamers who are happy to just take a key, a Steam key rather than one larger streamer for 300 bucks like it, re it really depends on like their target audience who you attract like the kind of people you attract uh and you often put together what's called a pitch deck um and pitch deck is like who you are what you have to offer the kind of person you are the kind of content you create brands you've worked with before because the industry is tiny so people who can like vouch for you and how you work with people and um also your stats your CCB, your watch minutes, followers, subscribers uh, on all the different social media platforms because often it won't just be a stream. It'll be a stream plus a social media post. Sometimes it'll be a particular platform that they want you to post on. Um, uh, but yeah, so you kind of, you need to put all that together and you basically use that to convince them that... Um, you can like so if that if um one of the things that i have said a few times is like if a sponsor gives you x amount of money the expectation is that by telling people about their brand and how good it is and all that kind of stuff and maybe using a discount code and all that kind of stuff then they are going to make 5x money from your followers if they then pay you 5x you get they get 25x back Etc. Etc. So they want to make more money from your followers than they have given you. Otherwise, it's not worth it to them at all. Uh, so yeah, you've got to convince them that you can make the sales, basically. <clears throat> so you can reach out, but you can also have people reach out to you and, and all sorts of stuff. So, uh, all right, what am I? It's Naga Hide. To enchant weapon Naga Hide. <laughs> you make a profit by making it yourself. Okay, in that case. Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. Um so good. <laughs> Pleased. Pleased to be of service, Kia. Love to take it with Twitch, but what an answer. Ah, brilliant! Let's see what they come back with. Awesome. Sounds good. Any chance you could try that voice again for 10 seconds? Put my hearing aids back in just as you stopped. Oh, no. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hello. This is, this is Hellhawk Fear speaking. <laughs> Greetings, mortal baker. How mortals are they? Crap. Um, follow on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. How is that? Hopefully that was good. Sorry it took me so long to get to it, maybe. Uh, I chose yesterday. What was it, Mount Maker? Um, oh, yesterday? Oh. Oh, Sinful Gravewing was yesterday. I'm so... Look at me remembering stuff. Go me. Uh, and then buy from vendor. Open mail. Um, really similar, curious, always satisfying, loving similar outlets. Of course, of course. Ah, uh, it's easy to understand. Leaf. Make out the words. Brilliant. I'm glad. Wonderful. Mm. Would you like me to like announce prior to me turning on a voice effect for you, Meaty? Would that help? Obviously, there are going to be there, there might be times where I forget, but I'll do my best to remember. Would would that help you for being able to grab and like? I don't know how quick or easy it is to kind of do the thing so that you can understand stuff. 
I'm not too sure. I'm laugh at the voice change was crazy. The voice effects are really good fun. This is, um, it's because I have a Blue Microphones Yeti X World of Warcraft Edition microphone. It was sent to me by Blue. Very, very grateful for that. Um, and uh, it comes with, not only is it an absolute piece of art, it's got, instead of like dots for the lights, it's got runes and the base has runes all over it and stuff. Um, it's just, it's freaking gorgeous. Uh, but um, it also comes with a whole bunch of like sound bytes in the um, in the software um, so that you can like play stuff for, for effect. Like there's a few voice lines and creature noises and it comes with a bunch of effects that are designed after World of Warcraft characters or creatures. Um, the, the regular Yeti X does have a bunch of pre-built voice effects in it, but the WoW edition one has a bunch more, which are specific like WoW themed things. Um, so if you're, if you're a creator or if you're like even like a D&D host, like a, a dungeon master or a GM or whatever you want to call it, um, you like, and you want to make, maybe be able to create some voices that you yourself can't personally achieve with your physiology, um, it might be something looking into, uh, cause it, and it is a beautiful microphone, like such good quality as well. Mm. Mm. Ready? Of course, of course. All right, I will. I will do my absolute best to try to remember to to give you some warning before I actually uh, make the switch. Thank you for confirming. I appreciate that. The problem is because the the voice change happens in the microphone rather than through software. My captions kind of die. Uh, they can't understand what I'm saying most of the time. Uh, normal blue yeti, only done voice changes through Audacity. Fair enough. You're waiting for um, yeah, you're it's through the, um, the G-Hub. The G-Hub program has all the kind of little tweaks and stuff there. Um, that, and so it happens direct in the microphone rather than, like, editing the feed later sort of thing. Yeah, definitely is something look worth looking into. I'm not sure if the yeti can do it, but I know that the yeti X can. Uh, and then, of course, this is the yeti X. Well, the Warcraft edition, so yeah. Mm, uncomfortable with headphones, don't keep them in while watching. Oh, absolutely understandable. Totally fair. That's cool. Started asking other streamers to announce stuff when they unplug or unplug things too. It's a great idea, by the way. Good, good. Sometimes I don't think it's going to make a noise and then it does and I'm like, shit, that was me. Sorry. It's funny. It's hilarious. Has an army of elementals. He's asking for you. Better not keep him waiting. Um. Another hydrate. If you could find like an overlay countdown Ooh, for like until I turn the voice on. Nah, it doesn't happen often enough to warrant something like an additional overlay. Um, it's just easier for me to sort of say, all right, you got 10 seconds, prepare your ears and then, then do it myself. <clears throat> that was me as helpful though. Oh, of course, of course. Because, I mean, like, when I hear stuff like that, I always panic and go, crap, what did I touch? Like, what did I knock? Um, so I figured you guys probably would too, considering that, you, you know, your vibe attracts your tribe. And I attract people who are sometimes a bit silly like me. Ah, <clears throat> oh, bugger. I'm supposed to, I was supposed to pick up a person person, wasn't I? Oops. Um... Um, I think you've reminded me. You've just reminded me. I just don't have a void touch satchel. Last thing for biggest back. Oh, last thing. Well done. Look at you go. Almost there. Okay, I'm clearly it's just been. I no, totally fine, Celtic. Not a worry. I got some chores and work to do. Have a nice stream. You too. You too. God. Have a great night, Kia. We'll see you next time. We'll see you. Yeah, we'll see you then. Enjoy the chores. That's all I need. Is sitting here in the case. Brilliant. Sounds good to me. Everything going well? <clears throat> wow, sniffy. Uh, hey, Lucky. Doing well, how are you? Welcome back. You're a sight for sore eyes. 
Here we go. This was the, these were the bits that I forgot to pick up. We share what we've got. Everything has its purpose. Oh, is there another one in there? Is there? There is. Whoops. <clears throat> What's your favorite mount? Ashes of Allah. By like a long shot. Love it. Ashes, yeah, it just makes me think of enjoy your meal. You too, yep. Yup, I know the feels. And the weight person, yep. It's like, yeah, I was just I was just saying I hope you enjoy it when you get around to having your food. Yep, uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, uh-huh, yep. Mm. It's an algorithm. Turns, the tears of all who have suffered will be washed away. What am I looking for? Fresh unagi. Oh, you kill the eels. Ah, oh, I get it. That's hilarious. God, I love Japanese. So tasty. Oops, that was the wrong thing to attack. Ah, uh, she's a little pick. Oh, Matt holds up so well. It really does, doesn't it? I think because most of it's glowy, you can't see the lack of details so much, but then there are enough little tiny details when you look closely that it kind of convinces you that it still looks good. Yeah, I like it a lot. Oh, good, thank you, little ill today. So what happens chronic plane fairs up still functioning. Did you get the charm out? Absolutely not. But I did hit exalted with order of embers. So I bought the two exalted mounts. So we're at 660 now. 660 mounts. I've got 23 more to get to stay ahead of the batches. So that's pretty good. I'm happy with that so far. <clears throat> I'm actually sort of farming two five chances where I get dropped again the next week. Oh my gosh. Lucky, lucky. Uh, I don't think I've been back since Ashes dropped. I don't, th I mean, maybe to the other, like maybe to the other bosses, but I don't think I've killed KT since it dropped back in Legion. <laughs> I will eventually because it'll be um, time to go and do uh, Transmog, but I think I've got most of it completed because of the, yep. Yeah. Um, nice indeed, got my Ashes Transmog with this community, amazing! Amazing. Mm hmm. Thor, Fade, Zombie, Litter, Wallach, and Zam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Mm. Oh, that's tasty. Mm. I didn't get any assists from buffing. That's all right. Let's do that. Uh, let's go do this one. Got the gambit yesterday. Animation for jumping on is pretty sick. Gambit mount. Which one's that? What's it called? I was wondering why I was on 20 Wind Rider. I've forgotten to un the thing imagery. Oh, the gig lighter. Brilliant. Sorry, there are, as I said earlier, 948 mounts. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me, sometimes I have troubles. Um, hey Z, welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, I do not have all the new mounts from Xerath Mortis Crafting. Not yet. Uh, but I do have either two or three of them. I don't remember. I haven't spent a ton, ton, ton of time in ZM. Um, I did in the, like the first couple of months I spent a lot of time in ZM, but I was doing things like knocking out achievements and stuff, uh, not necessarily focusing on the crafting. And I don't really have time to play video games outside of when I'm streaming and stuff these days. Uh, I've got a pretty full on schedule. 
but yeah, I will absolutely be working on them at some point in the future. And I'll probably end up putting together some viewer groups to farm uh, Genesis Moats and stuff. Because why not? <laughs> why not? <clears throat> Hmm. Yeah, no doubt. This posture check is for me. Brilliant. Noted. I also probably need a posture check as well, though. Oh, oh I should. Oh, is this going to be that stupid Fathom remake again? It's great to see you. We have so yes, many yes, it is. New home that we need to gather more food. <laughs> this is great. Corner of my, like, the edge of my, uh... Lash keeps poking me in the eye. It's been pretty good the last few days. It hasn't done it at all, and now I must have put it on funny today, and now it's being a me pant. That's okay. Um, has Hatch watched any good movies or shows lately? Um, not really. I tend to have stuff playing in the background while I do work. So it doesn't really, like, click as having watched them, if that makes sense. But I'm sure others in chat will absolutely have something they can add to that particular conversation. So watching Dark Matter. All the series is on Prime, so I figure, why not? Yeah, absolutely. I'll do that too while cleaning. Mm-hmm. Mm yeah, I've just been doing so much work lately that, um, yeah, which is fine, uh, but doesn't leave much time for other things. Green stuff in my teeth. Um, Manifest, knocked off two seasons about a week. Ah, oh, that's on my watch list. You recommend it? Obviously, no spoilers, but like, what do you reckon? Hmm, <laughs> Shutter Island the other night. Anyone seen that one yet? Was that the one, like, is that a f like a few years back with um, Leo DiCaprio when it was the whole, that, the, the, uh, like the hospital thing? Mental hospital? Is that the one, or am I thinking of something entirely different? Because I've seen that one. <laughs> uh, manifest was good. Okay, noted. Noted. What match are you going for? Hey, Abez. Um, I'm going for the Unshackled Paragon uh, cache mount. The one that drops from the Paragon cache. So I'm just trying to grind up some more rep to get another box. Hope that the mount is in it. How you going? Just going background stuff. You gonna teach him? Oh yeah, we were talking about that um, yesterday. Really well. Really well. Episodes are hard to get through, but I'm enjoying it. Okay, good. With the, I know, like I know vaguely what it's about, so I'm unsure whether hard to get through is like it's a tough watch or it's just kind of brain deadening. Um, like it's, you know, not very well paced for those particular episodes or something, but hey, no, I'm, I'm keen to, keen to dig in and see what it's got to offer. Mmm. I'm just seeing it. Loved it. Brilliant. Awesome. Glad you liked it. Another thing's in the manifest coming. Oh, I'm sorry. I hate when they leave you hanging. Mmm. Quick, get those supplies. When they just cancel something out of nowhere because it doesn't have great ratings or whatever. Yeah, it's really frustrating. Fathom Ray feast. Oh, is it up? It is up. I helped a little elf girl find a doll here once. It made her so happy, even though there was so little of it left. I hugged Max so hard when I got back to New Home. Uh, Fathom Ray, Fathom Ray. Let's kill all of the Fathom Rays. Oh, I 
keep forgetting I haven't changed that talent. Um. So the three-day passes for packs and ninety-five percent sold out. Yeah, it makes sense. Hmm. So I hate when they leave me hanging. Um, careful, Randa. Hang on, where was the... Oh, it is the one up here. Okay, yep, this one. I knew it was stairs. Yeah, bugger it. Explorers, Meta One Season shows on Netflix are ridiculous. I mean, they like the concept and so they give it a chance, but then they can't really afford to invest more money into it if it doesn't perform well for them. I understand why, it is still just a little bit annoying. Uh, best shows are the ones that leave you hanging and thinking. Yeah, but not forever. Like, making you think, yes, but like not, so, not, not completing storylines ever because they cancel the show is just pain in the ass. <laughs> um I Ah hey Spot, doing well, how are you? Thanks again for those Steam keys, I really appreciate it. Much appreciated Crisis Firefly, the Space Force got two seasons. And this since when they cancelled at least Firefly got a movie to finish the story. Massive Buffy fan love Firefly after hearing about how much of a great a great pig Joss Whedon was, took the shine off all of it. Dollhouse. Yep. I feel the same way. Yep. Mmm. Mmm, the castles. Cliffhanger type of- mmm, mmm. Everything going well? Yeah, I agree with that, Celtic. <clears throat> um, never got into Dollhouse. I loved it. I watched the whole damn thing and then I'm like, wait, where's the rest of it? Um, I liked it a lot. Um, like the whole moral concept behind, you know, the core theme to it all and stuff like that is, yeah, it was just really interesting. Um, uh, what are your thoughts on Shadowlands as a whole? How would you rate it on a 1 to 10 scale? I don't think I could rate any game on a 1 to 10 scale, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I tend to, like, my enjoyment of games is really quite complex. Um, there are just too many different aspects to it that I feel so many different ways about, all that kind of stuff. I just, I wouldn't rate anything, like, any video game on a 1 to 10. Um, but I've loved Shadowlands. I'm really enjoying the story. I'm liking the mechanics. I quite like the covenants and the the different aesthetics and stuff like that. You know, the mechanics of picking one and all that kind of stuff aside, I, I never really cared about that. I was always intending to have a bunch of characters and, you know, one in each and all that kind of thing. Um, and I don't play at a competitive level, so I don't care about the, the benefits that they put, that they give in those sort of, like, I just don't, so I'm the wrong person if you're looking for that kind of thing. Um, but I've really enjoyed it. I've met so many incredible people through playing it, um, through, through streaming it and having people come by the stream and stuff. Um, I've loved playing through the storyline with Jas. Uh, I've loved the the raids have been really interesting. We've seen so many really funky mechanics with raid bosses and dungeon bosses and stuff like that. Uh, and yeah, I've I've really enjoyed it. Like honestly and truly, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, and the collectibles, holy hell, they stepped it up. Like it's they they're finally it's like they're finally starting to realize that. The majority of their consistent player base, like the the high, like the competitive people, they come at a patch, they play, they get their stuff done, and they leave, or they play a little bit to kind of get their gold for doing carries and stuff like that. Then they come back, and then they play hard, and then they leave, and then they come back, and they play hard, and they leave. Whereas the collectors, we come in for the patch, and we experience all the patch has to offer, 
and and then we kind of spread ourselves across the whole game doing your collecting stuff and, and picking things up here there and everywhere we are the more consistent player base and they really did cater to that hardcore like there are so many collectibles it's gonna take me five or six expansions to even come close to getting all of them uh because i'm not able to play outside of stream and all that kind of stuff so yeah it's uh Oh boy. Oh boy. With the most resources. And you brought us closer to victory. Uh, but yeah. So no, I've I've enjoyed I've enjoyed Shadowlands. Ah, <clears throat> uh, why is chat being stupid? Like you scroll up, but then it pulls itself back down to current again. You can't just scroll up by like one page. It's really frustrating. <clears throat> um I see Dollhouse, nope. I try to give shows about two to three episodes and decide not to watch them anymore. Totally fair. Haven't seen Dollhouse. In other news, Octonauts Above and Beyond Season 2 is out on Netflix. Hey! Uh, just generally an abusive human. Uh, shame when shit like that ruins it for you. Absolutely. Shame when people are shit. Really. <laughs> These things watching Joe pops in my head. Keep watching, can't stop thinking about it. Yeah. Never that bad, hey. Just search it up now. I'm curious before you do. Uh, just realized there's no one reading it. Yeah. And also keep in mind that people in chat may not want to know the details. Um, so talking about, you know, it was really bad. He's a shit human is one thing, but going into details about what might have happened and stuff is not necessarily something we want to do just because uh, sometimes people avoid those details for very good reasons. Hmm. Thank you for understanding. I appreciate it. Okay. <clears throat> Sniff. Ah, uh, dear. Bloody love your mount. It's pretty cool, hey. Uh, so that's the stra scrap forged mecha spider. Um, quest: drive it away today. Zone mechagon. That mm, what? It says it comes from a quest, but what are the requirements for getting that quest? Is the question. So it's from mechagon. We know that much. Spider engineering thing. Yes, it is a cute one. Shiba picked good today. <clears throat> um, all right, she is there. Ah, I see some guests always. It's about anything. No, well done to them, Gita. Well done to them. It changed. Don't mind me. Trying to get that mount. I think it's beating it on hard mode. Ah, yep. Yeah, that would have been it then. Yeah, that makes sense. We did it back. We did do that back in the day. So that's a... Uh, I think? Huge quest chain. It's the chain. I'm trying for the making on hard mode mount, but my demon hunt is too squishy. Get a team together. Now that we outlevel the content, it'll be a bit easier, I think. Um, have you mounted underwater? Ah, uh, I don't know. Probably not. Uh, last in the train, I haven't gone back to Mechagon to complete it. Fair. Fair. Maybe this is your prompt to do so. Uh, hard mode is aerial unit R21X. Gotcha. Cool. There you go. Information get. Uh, Alright, we can't do the world boss. Let's go do the chest. into a sub that's cute that's super cute Uh, 
I need to do some IRL stuff, give us a stream day, night, time event, etc. Thank you, Kaz. Will do. And enjoy your IRL stuff. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out. Appreciate it. A toy except not correct. It's similar though. Very similar. The Shirakes are conducting dark experiments with the Void. <clears throat> Use this telemancy beacon to deny them their specimens. Oh, oh it's under. Okay. Shh. First fell magic, okay. now the void. Azara is a prideful fool who tempers- Ah, uh, when you get some time, could we get a battle plan, control. please? Absolutely. There you go. Hope that was in enough time. No idea what these, uh, whatchamacallits are, but Azara <laughs> clearly <laughs> wants them. We'd be wise to make sure she doesn't get them. Everything about to be look, no. Because you are so politely, absolutely not. You face the abyss. Do you run keys as well? Uh, eh, not really. Occasionally. But, uh, like, very occasionally. Not often at all. I don't remember if I said it. It has been guessed. Thank you so much for the compliment, Lucky. Much appreciated. It's the uh, Red Shadow Pan Tiger. Shiba was here? Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's time for action! Oh, I love learning about the mounts in this way. Yeah, it is a very cool one. It's red, but it's green. Now go check out the green Shadow Pan Tiger. Tell me Shiba was here without telling me Shiba was here. Yep, Mount's been guessed. <laughs> oh dear. You have as much talent, many wow, Mount. Correct. Absolutely. That should put a wrinkle in Ajara's schemes. Thanks, hero. Okay, so we got kelpstone. No oh, wait, most delicious clams. Available quest. One of my Good. champions seeks to earn glory in my name. It would be cruel of me to deny them this opportunity. Here we go. I believe we're about to go underwater. That is pretty funky. But it's not a spider anymore. At least when it's flying, it's still actually a spider.
Esters. Chest, a maze. Um. So you gonna miss me on Wednesday? Oh, and did you see the schedule that popped up on my Instagram stories? What do we think of that? Any feedback? I'm not quite sure. I feel like the the Instagram story schedule. It's not quite Let right. Let me confer with my sources. No. You're not gonna miss me. Okay, noted. But yeah, the Instagram story. Like, I I like the idea of it, but there's there was something just not quite right, and I can't quite put my finger on what I need to fix. So if anyone has any ideas of what might not be right with it, um, I'd love to know. Because I'd like it to be a useful resource. You know, people see me on Instagram and be like, Ah, this person is cool. I would like to talk to them live. But, uh... Yeah. Uh... Mm, yeah, weekly schedules. Yeah, obviously. Aww. It's very sweet of you, Nano. Appreciate it. Love them. Good. Yeah, it's trying to re like, rather than just telling Instagram people like this right now. This is when I'm live. Come see me. Like actually getting them used to like what my schedule could be, and then like maybe they'll start actually tuning in or something. That'd be kind of cool. But yeah, it's um. No, there was just it's something. Not quite right. I oh, calmly do shopping then have an early night. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm honestly probably going to spend it working, but it would be nice to not have to. I'm going to spend the day working because it's what I usually do anyway, but it'd be kind of cool to be able to sit down and have like an hour or two to myself. Hmm? Like the Insta story option? Brilliant. What other kind of short form, like 10, 15 second video bits would you like to see from me on the regular? Like if, it, if, it, if you were gonna get a snippet of fear every day, what would you like for it to be? Cause story, I know I need to use, I need to use my stories more, uh, but I'm not sure what to post. And there's also the opportunity, like, if I record a story of something and it does really, really well and I get lots of comments and interactions and stuff, um, then I can always repurpose that as a video later on my feed as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I got Zam. Cheeky. Cheeky, what we do with our Wednesdays now. Only one Wednesday, just the one Wednesday. Only this Wednesday, then I'm back next Wednesday. Um, promise. It's a good little reminder. Good, I'm so pleased. I'll probably still be here in chat. Oh my God, that would be absolutely amazing. Like, I mean, I'm not encouraging you to do it, but I just, I thought it'd, it'd be really funny if like, you know, maybe at 5 p.m. on Wednesday, I open up my Twitch app on my phone and just there's a whole bunch of people just chatting randomly. I feel like, oh my God. <laughs> Yes, just a single Wednesday. Just the one Wednesday. OK, 
Okay, let's go turn all of this in as well as my emissary and hope that maybe I get a Paragon cache. Wouldn't that be nice? Stutter in the chat only stream without the streamer. Don't do that, people. I'm clearly joking. I mean, do it in Discord. Why not? Why not? Imagine gathering 200 people on chat. Fears off day. That'd be more than we usually get as like a max, like peak viewer level. We've been peaking at like 160 something. 200 is far more than our actual peak lately. What flavor is tea today? Ah, passion fruit green tea with coconut jelly. And it's freaking delightful as it always is. Mm, looks good. I think you have a border outline for each day and activity. Could look a little cleaner. So when you say day and activity, so the the words for what I'm doing each day has already got an outline on it. Do you mean that kind of outline on the like the Monday, Wednesday, blah, blah, blah bit as well? Because I'm pretty sure I did that. They do have an outline. It's just because it's a black outline on a black background, you can't really see it so much. And then I are you, are you meaning like a black line around the, the rectangular section of the picture thing as well? Welcome, land dweller. Hold on. I love Ooh. you. Okay. We have. Stay sharp. Position. See you around. Unshackled. Me, you know where to find me. Amazing. Wait, why is there another? I hope I have what you need. Why is there another requisition here? How did I miss that? Surely I didn't. Oh my god. Well, look what the tide brought in. I must have. Alright, that's fine. Well, let's go do this requisition then. <clears throat> um, can you show off some of your spreadsheets? I could. What, what would you like to see of them? TikTok of you yelling at the game. I find them enjoyable or yelling at chat. I mean, they go up every day anyway. Every day there's a clip. Uh, I reckon you should start recording your meal prep. Hmm, okay. It is like the same every week though, so that could get real boring. <laughs> but like not recording the whole thing, just kind of being like, so this is what we're having for breakfast today. Like that or this week or whatever, that kind of thing. Hmm, that could be doable. Meal prep. Got D&D Wednesday. Went for good for not showing up. Like seeing the schedule. Awesome. Got a bubble tea story. Could definitely do that. We don't tend to have bubble tea on days off just because um, we're trying to make it last because I'm trying to save some money because dentistry. Um, But I can probably do that. I am looking at potentially starting to make the bubble tea earlier in the day so that Jazz doesn't have to make it while I'm streaming, but I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. But we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, bubble tea stories would be good. I feel guilty watching streams really enjoyable. It can get absolutely no reason to feel guilty for doing things outside a hobby. Quick time lapse of making some bubble tea. Time lapses seem to be really annoying to do like live on Instagram. And so much of the time lapse will just be like nothing happening. You actually have to clip out a lot of stuff. Like you actually have to proper edit those videos. Cause there's a lot of time where there's just nothing happening. I clear borderline around those tangle. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, jump cuts on each step. Okay. Give you like out for the day kind of thing. A short insta story. I don't know if people seem to like that kind of stuff. Could be interesting. Okay, yeah, yeah. Alright. Catchy music in the background. Yeah, that's um, that's a lot of editing you're talking about, dupe. Like, go try making something like that on Insta and tell me how you go. It's a little bit harder than it looks. Instagram does give you a lot of really good, like, little editing tools and stuff, but, um, good lord. It's a... Uh, mm. Meantos, Meaty, V, Brick, Ali, Joe, DNC, 
and Draz, congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Well done. Music is tough because of potential violations for um, DMCA. Um, on Instagram, not really, actually. Uh, especially with stories because they disappear so quickly. There's no, like, they disappear after 24 hours. There's no real record of it. And because it's short form video, because it's 15 seconds. It's not long enough to... Hmm. Instagram has been very, very particular about the length of their video content to avoid them having to action DMCA requests. Which is interesting. <clears throat> uh, remember when you realize something you do is symptom anxiety not normally normal. I thought everyone felt guilty and they couldn't do something like that. People there are a lot of people who do apologize and stuff like that, but there is no need to. Um Okay, maybe we should be using a bit of unless they're gonna strike hundreds of thousand instant TikTok users. Then when will we see Jazz? I know he'll still bring it in, like with dinner, but he just won't have to make it by himself. Was more the the goal there. Um uh, a few people seem to feel this way. I don't think it's just you had enough trouble trying to figure out how to remove the background of the TV in the Lillian's Good Little trying to put stuff in. Perhaps your continued survival yeah, look, it's fun. It's fun. Do you see how one of my Instagram posts which was made a concert years ago? I didn't even know I was doing the wrong thing. Holy cow, really? Oh my god. That's so strange. What? Could I make a small suggestion of some short highlights of you doing your makeup before stream? Prepping the mount challenge without saying what the mount is, obviously. I am actually working on that. It'll be a part of the feed posts though, not a story thing. So like you'll be able to see the makeup, but if you like swipe through the carousel, there'll be a quick video of me kind of putting the look together, if that makes sense. Um, but that is something I've started recording. I had some issues with the recording today. Again, I do have one recording that's worked. I've tried three now. One of them just stopped recording randomly. Um, and then today's one, it stopped recording as well and I was like, hang on a second. So I think I figured out what's wrong, which means that I'll be able to fix it next time. But yeah, that is that is something I'm working on. Just not for stories though, for um, for the feed. Got the roses when I was pregnant with the small. Mm. Yeah, it must've been the music, but that's yeah. It, I wonder how long was the clip, do you remember? Because duration has a big thing on DMCA. Like, you can use little clips of stuff because, you know, passing music in the background and things like that. Um, but yeah, it's... Um, <laughs> what are your options? Just delete it. Clearly, I delete it. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Should I have my makeup video is really interesting. Is it really... Aw, thank you. Like, well, we're going to have a whole last makeup stream this month. Makeup, nails, and beauty stream. So... If that's something that you're interested in, um, or if you have any questions about stuff, like that's the time. Come on in for that one, and I'll be kind of demoing the whole bloody thing. Super Nose Prison, I had the Ghostbusters theme in the background, a friend was on stage doing Ghostbusters cosplay, yeah. I would encourage people to come and make guesses on the mount. Uh, mine was YouTube though, not as if I was trying to monetize it. I know, I'm just super hyped. Of course, of course, I'm super hyped too. I, I'm, yeah, I'm very looking forward to that. It's funny because I've gotten to the point where I'm actually, it used to take me about an hour to do like the whole face and everything. And it's gotten down to about 35 to 40 minutes to do it. Um, but it'll be interesting trying to stretch it to a six hour stream. I have a feeling we're gonna have to do something in the, like some game eventually, uh, but that's all right. All right, so we didn't get a Paragon cache today. We will next time, though, because we're really close there. So I'm going to tick that off. Once it loads. Ooh. When are the Tormentors spawn? Oh, we're at the half hour mark. Uh, okay, oozing Necro Ray Egg. All right, so we're going to hop off this one, and we're going to... We've got I've got six tunes that I can do the Necro Ray Egg. No, actually, maybe I should check if we actually have eggs up today. Or, ah, Tribute to the Ambitious. Okay, we do. So there is an egg that is gettable today. Let's go do that. If I 
of last year. Peace off for the planned November 2021 concert. Ooh, interesting. Hmm, that's really interesting. I mean, the, like, um, record labels and stuff like that really did up the DMCA's um, once the pandemic hit because the vast majority of music income prior to all that uh, was touring. The, the big the big numbers for actual income was was from touring so uh now then when it got to the point that they couldn't tour they started really hitting hard on that stuff so that they could try to monetize everything that they possibly could which makes sense i mean look if your company's about to collapse because you've lost your major source of income uh i can understand why you'd want to do that as hurtful as it might be to the fans um but yeah so maybe it just kind of maybe they started with youtube and stuff and then eventually kind of bled over to, to instagram and whatnot uh hey emotrax welcome back but we're all in this together though yeah right it was when the the d the copyright strike started happening on twitch and stuff too Totally okay with it. I felt a little silly, it hadn't occurred to me. I guess I was thinking sharing. We're sharing what they do and maybe letting people to look for them. Didn't think about the other way though, so fair, yeah. Mm. But it's um like it is interesting that it took them that long. And depending on the length of the clip, sometimes it doesn't matter. If that makes sense. Right. So Tormentors, it should be kicking off in about half an hour, right? Is that am I right with that one? I think I sent you I completely forgot. I'm so sorry. Oh, look, it sounds like me. Colinda Brain. At me. <clears throat> so this is gonna be the one that's just outstairs, uh, outside again. Really do with DMC on IG. Yeah, it usually only happens when you've got longer videos that aren't stories and all that kind of stuff. Um, because if it's under a certain amount, under a certain number of seconds, it doesn't matter. Like it, it's not detectable really it's not claimable etc etc there's there's like a limit to what you can do with it something um so yeah it's it's something that's rarely rarely done on ig but it does still happen <clears throat> it's funny, i love these which is pretty safe yeah mm-hmm 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 What is your quarry? Okay. My We're gonna head over to Maldraxxus. We're gonna do Amma tonight. We're gonna do Mortanis. And we're gonna do Battles One Long Ago. Because they're all three are anima, and I'm gonna get a thousand anima out of that, which is pretty tasty. Do that on six turns. Oh, yum. Oh, if I can get the six turns done. We'll see. Hopefully I can get at least one egg, you know, like come on. Come on.
sliding in on a shrimp sandwich. I am very confused by this. Uh, what? <laughs> Do I want to know? Probably not. Mm. Now I know how I'm greeting my friend's next big group chat we have. <laughs> Should I get in the blue cupboard? Uh oh. I have a concern. <laughs> Can anyone remember? Um. Oh. <clears throat> last wait, last Mount Farm Monday, and we were waiting for tormentors to spawn, and they didn't spawn at nine. Am I remembering that correctly? That the Wowhead front page is wrong, and that at GMT plus ten, it's spawning at like on the even number now, <clears throat> and that they like are wrong. <laughs> Strength means everything to the Maldraxi. Prove that none can match you in the arena. I just don't remember. Or well, does anyone know if um the torment has happened half an hour ago? Just myself. Yeah, I'm kind of because it says it's happening at nine, but I don't know if it actually is. But I guess I can go sit with Venari for ten minutes or so and see if it spawns. Let's do this. Luna, how you doing? Maldraxxus knows you are not to be challenged lightly. Uh, I'm okay, I guess, what about yourself? Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. I've been fairly productive today, which is always a good feeling. Um, yeah. Not too shabby. I hope you feel better soon. <clears throat> Snivels. Alrighty. 
More tennis. Let's see if we cannot find a group. The House of Rituals is conducting a rite of empowerment here. If you cannot stop them, destroy whatever emerges. Doesn't seem like too many people are around. Disrupted bones of the fallen awaken and greet our visitors. A willing sacrifice for the house of ritual. Mm, productivity, woo! Absolutely. <laughs> Fear has been tantalizingly teasing an exciting announcement. Don't want FOMO? Follow on social media. Following is free and support streamers by increasing visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. It's also a great opportunity to share content with someone you think may enjoy it. Having recently hit 1,000 followers on Instagram, the next goal is 1,111 because the number looks pretty. <laughs> you can find all the profiles here. Thanks for taking the time. It is so appreciated. Absolutely. Thank you, Seeker. Oh, excuse me. One, two, three, four. I mean, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, we could also go for like one, two, one, two. One, three, one, three. One, four, one, four. You know, like. There are so many very pretty numbers. Your disturbance matters not, for the ritual is complete. Behold, my new vessel awaits, a form more befitting of a true master of death. We have four people. This is not enough. <laughs> <clears throat> Eleven, eleven is for you not get to determine the happy numbers. I mean, you do. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh, hello. Am I gonna get heals? Oh, there is a healer here, okay. What just bones call for you? Oof, that hurt. What's the your stone? Call for you. What's your stone? Call for you. <clears throat> I'm taking a world boss. I'm dying, a world boss. There we go. What's your stones call for you? The skulls of the fallen Stop. cry for vengeance. What's your stones call for you? Six minutes. Hmm. The one seventy seconds isn't six minutes, but it feels like it. 
Mm, I was tanking, now I'm dead. What's your stare? No one got into the stacky thing with me, and so it killed me. <clears throat> I'm hoping I get a res, but I feel like I'm not gonna. We can't release anymore. Can't release it, run back. Like, he's down to less than half health. That's not bad for a group of, like, eight people. <clears throat> I do believe, yeah, I'm one fifty one. Like, I'm very, very low gear. You want a pug? Yes. It's not looking good, though. Just a group that formed there, I think. Um, well, when I got here, I clicked the little I. The, the looking for the find group button. And uh, this is what I found. I was the third person to join the group, though, so. Uh, but that's okay. Look, he's down to 28%. Like, this is not bad. <clears throat> It could be worse. I need to redo my nails soon. They're chipping pretty badly. Have you got luckouts for Phil Steel Annie Mount or got it? Phil Steel Annie Mount. What is the what? Oh, the Annihilator. Right. No, I've got that. I got that when it was current. Um, I felt Guild's first kill actually. I won the roll. I think I rolled the ninety-eight or something. Yeah. But I also do have the lockout, like the the skip for it, because I did it while it was current. Work. <clears throat> uh, okay, so let's go. Let's try to go fly here now. Um, Doki, so I feel quite ill. We have a shower, try and sleep. If I'm with the stream, good luck with the drops. Thank you, Lucky. I hope you feel better soon. We'll see you next time. Right, all mates have it for my luckout. Awesome. It's gonna offer it if you didn't have it. Nah, all good. Do not need. <clears throat> to accept, I'm gonna leave body. Uh, and then over to here for our last one. The Primus was the victor of countless hard won battles. Honor him by defeating enemies in this revered place. Oh crap, I'm not my mage. I just hit my start combat buttons that are like bound on my mage. I'm like, oh, why is this not working? Perfection. Well, indeed. Absolutely. So, ten more of these, and I'll have my quest done, and I can go back and collect my egg from the cache, because that's exactly what we're getting, is an egg from the cache. And then I'll have to switch to fear and see if the tormentors are going to spawn today. 
<laughs> what would you do, Zam, if I went through and did like a clean out of the quotes and all the numbers changed? I don't know if that's actually how it works, but like if I delete one, all the numbers might like shift down one. Or it might just make those numbers re like available for a new quote. I'm not sure. Why did you have to spawn on my face? That was not very nice of you. Every quote with the numbers anyway. Fair. Very fair. Yeah, there are a lot of quotes, and a lot of them make reference to like like they're inside jokes with people who don't they who aren't here anymore and all this kind of stuff. Like I I do feel like clean out the quotes uh is a although like stuff uh, you know, I just like punching things. That's probably not something that's gonna go out of date, as it were, you know, like that that's kinda it's just a bit of a giggle, whatever. But there are a lot that refer to people or things that don't make any sense to current viewers. So yeah, that um, might be worth doing. True fear is a violent person. Only towards those who deserve it, dupe. Violence never gets old. True fear like punching things in the future too, I imagine. Maybe just a bit. Just a little. Especially if I keep paying Paladin, Paladin, although they don't punch, they don't use first weapons, do they? He's like khaki slashy. Alright. I'm not a Paladin! Oh. Uh, I also... I'm not a Paladin! Um, actually, let's go turn... else in. <laughs> My oath is to the forest in time. No egg. But I did get soul furnace. So let's go attach that to the thing. And then we'll dunk all the amina into the bucket. And then we'll log out and I'll jump onto fear because it's 8.55 and I'd like to see if the Tormentors actually make an appearance today. And if they don't, I will check again after stream. Like right after stream. <laughs> or during the last five minutes of stream. Am I far too long to figure out what the emote was? Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bring it full size would help probably or seeing what it's actually called. Like the... Mm -hmm. But if you mouse over it, yeah, it's very cute.
Alrighty. Give me just a second to get into the moor real quick, because I'm three minutes away from a potential spawn and I just don't want to make I don't, don't want to miss the voice, the like chat command, but then we'll do that thing. Um but congratulations to Litter, Joe, DNC, OG, Mizuma, Dunno, uh, Gloaf, Seeker, and Cat on all your bonus shit. Well done. Um Glauf. Glaufel. Glaufelopagus. Yes, you. Congrats. Well done. Ah, oh dear. The minions of the Jaina forge a vile monstrosity within Zoval's cauldron. We must destroy it. Here. Okay. That's the hunt, but there's no... No tormentors just yet. So, what are people's plans for tomorrow? Following on from that, who's planning on watching the mobile game announcement? Following on from that, anybody have any plans for Star Wars Day? Work? Yeah, but like after work, dude. Oh, look, me too. Me too. All right, it has just hit 9 p.m. Wrong time is 8.59. It's a little bit off. Time is 9 p.m. Is that supposed to be a hell mix? No. Oh no, hell mix is from place. Yeah. That's gonna come up. <clears throat> mm. 
I think kids homework, etc. Work then kids to activities and one kid to another activity, then crash. Oh my god, same. Oh my god, same. <laughs> Best of luck. So how long do we wait before we decide it's not spawning? I think last time it took a couple of minutes, like it took a few minutes, but I don't remember exactly how many minutes. <clears throat> 11, so hold out till 9-11. All right, we can do that. Because ones are the same. Fair, fair. <clears throat> oh look, it's a sinful grave wing. You love me. Mm. There is one. There's no. There hasn't been an announced. Announce. That's. Oh my god. So it doesn't. There's no announce in in general anymore. That's terrible. What the hell? Okay, so I missed it last time, because it didn't body announce. <clears throat> That's so bad. All right, no should. All right, enough with the small indie company bullshit, honestly. Like, there are more creative ways to, <laughs> for real. Shit goes wrong, and if they don't know what's going wrong, how are they supposed to fix it? Everyone just goes, oh, small indie company, and no one actually reports the issue. So how the hell are they supposed to know that it's not functioning as intended? Welcome on in. I hope you're having an awesome day. But, like, honestly. <laughs> no one reports the shit. bugs that existed since alpha lex by a shader bug that exists still on low end gpu people know exactly where the bug is they're even fucking website made about it still nothing no small indie company is still very much true well that it's not though it's absolute bullshit they're not a small indie company so like sometimes there are issues that they don't actually know how to fix coding is spaghetti like th the code is eight nearly 18 years old 17 and a half years old fixing one thing can cause a million and one other bugs. Maybe they've figured out how to fix the shading bug you're talking about. 
But in order to do so, it actually game breaks several other things, and they're trying to figure out how to fix it without breaking other shit. And the people who wrote the original code that's making it behave odd haven't been with the company for a decade, all this, like, it's not... If it's that easy, go fix it. Pull all the data, figure it out, fix it, send them the thing, and maybe they'll offer you a fucking job. Like... <laughs> It's, it's really not as easy as everyone makes it out to be. Honest to God. Okay, never like it. When you have a backlog of 5,000 issues and 50 programmers, low priority stuff is never fixed. Um, I can't comment on their, obviously, the backlog or the number of programmers that they have. I know they are a large company, but I don't know what the size of their teams are. But it is, it's, it's very much like a priority thing. If something is not breaking the game, if the game is still completely playable, it just looks a bit weird in this particular issue, uh, in this particular place, or something like that. Or the fact that, you know, I've reported this, the, 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 uh, the event is still working, it's just not printing a particular line in chat. That is a very low priority issue. Very, 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 very low priority issue. But I'm still going to report it just to add it to their list, just in case it is an easy fix. Because I don't know that. I don't know shit. But reporting through, like, via in-game means is super important as well. Post on the forums. All that kind of stuff too, but making a report via in-game sends a snippet of your game along with it. So if it is something that's particular to maybe your setup, or maybe you've got a, a file somewhere that has a different setting to a few people, uh, who knows, like all sorts of random ass things can happen. It helps them narrow down the cause of the issue, and then hopefully a, uh, a solution. Feedback, feedback, feedback. This is the mantra. Uh, and I think it's more about resource thing. They're not willing to spend time to fix it. Well, it's not necessarily about not willing either. It might be that they physically can't. You know, man hours are expensive. Like you said, money talks. Yep, absolutely. I agree wholeheartedly. Um, and if you have X number of developers and they work X numbers of, of hours a week, <laughs> and there's, you know, they, there's a bigger issue that's going to be a more demanding of the, the time. Yeah, it's absolutely going to work that way. They have to prioritize big things that are game breaking, that disconnect people from servers or have people fall through the world mid key or all that kind of stuff rather than, oh, a thing's not printing in chat. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, bio, like, it's frustrating. I missed a Tormentors last week because I didn't think it had spawned because there hadn't been a thing. I'm an idiot. I didn't check the world map. Or maybe I did and it was too late and it had already been killed because I was waiting too long or something. I'm not too sure. I can't exactly remember. But that's on me. But the fact that it doesn't print in chat is very annoying, but ultimately not a very high priority issue. Uh, but I, again, still record it. That's not a mount. None of those are a mount. Fine. Uh, right, so I'll take that off the list. Back to trying to get my oozing necro ray eggs. Uh, cool, this way. Um, suppose issue is not minor issue, it affects the whole zone. Uh, well, I haven't, I'm not sure what you're talking about, so I ha it hasn't affected me. Uh, what does the spy issue do anyway? Yeah. Can I paste a link for Jazz? No, you can't. Uh, Twitch will block you, regardless. It's not like an allow permission thing. You can't post a link, no. You just have to explain it, unfortunately. You could copy paste details about it, like if you've got a post that explains it or something. You can do that, but no link, sorry. Uh, link protection enabled. Purse, guess what? Uh, you got the, the Fez thing. <sighs> I can't imagine what else could possibly have you this excited. <laughs> what? What, Purse? Uh, yes, links are disabled. Yeah. Hey, Philly, how you going? 
Welcome in. Um. So, you know, yeah, I'm not gonna sit here googling shit during a stream. I'm supposed to be providing entertainment for people. So, but thank you anyway. Um, have you got Dragon Soul ever again? Oh, you got a mount. Well done. Congratulations, purse. Well done. I mean, she swears we're going to SOA Dungeon. You did mention it's primarily lower graphic settings, though, I believe. Are you glad to be here? Yay! Oh, I'm so pleased you're glad to be here. Mm. Wow! <laughs> entertainment achieved. Look, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. It doesn't always succeed, but that's all right. You win some, you lose some. Why have I still got it set to absolution? Sake. How did I forget to set my- Oh, wait. How did I forget to set my hearthstone? That doesn't sound right. I'm a- mm, Okay. Oh well. Uh, so it's an FPS issue. Possibly. Well. So this is invisible. I think I'm gonna let reset happen first before I move 58 characters to ice ground. I mean, you could move them over there in preparation and then when restarts happen, restart happens, get on your way sort of thing straight away. So your heart's so glad she's mentioned the heart of Delphi, my god, yeah! <laughs> Don't forget though that shamans still have to do the skip intro thing to be able to get there. They can get the hearthstone, but they can't use it because reasons. <laughs> Uh, half Dal thing. Yeah, so if you've got characters who leveled through any other expansion through Chromie Time and therefore never got the Dalaran Hearthstone, the purple one, you can take the portal to Azuna, fly up to Dalaran, and ask the innkeeper for a Dalaran Hearth. The only issue is shamans can get it, but they can't use it. Shamans have to go back to Stormwind or Ulra and trigger the Legion intro. They can skip the thing. Very easily mm -hmm. done. Just skip the thing, um, but uh, yeah, they have to skip the Legion intro and actually get to Dalaran and get it via the quest. Otherwise, they have the item, but they can't. You click it, and it says you can't use that item, which is like what? Um, and through a bit of testing, it's only shamans that are affected, and it looks like it's got something to do with the fact that Thrall is involved at some point in the storyline and there's like a special thing that shamans have to do with Thrall at some point. I don't know, it's been a very long time since I've done it. Uh, but interacting with Thrall or activating the skip checks off a box that allows shamans to use the uh, use the pastone. It's It only takes like this much longer for shamans to get it. It's not really that big a deal. Again, low priority issue, but it is an issue nonetheless. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I haven't ever run a shaman. There you go. Maybe you should try. Volpera shaman have little fox-shaped totems. They're very cute. Do that. I'll use maybe my tears. Excuse not to work tomorrow. Perfect. Love it. Go you, purse. I don't think ever or if ever only low then deleted. Totally fair. Hi, the yeah, sun. Sure I'm gonna reset my you later. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, ah, dids. Hello. Thank you so much for the resub. On track passing the course one terms, Mr. Go! Fantastic! Well done! I'm so proud of you. Good job! I hope I, I bet you're chuffed with that. I bet you're so happy. And thank you so much for the resub and your ongoing support. I really I really appreciate it. Eleven months as well. You get a new badge next month. I mean, assuming you still want to subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, no no hard feelings, but um, yeah. How cool is that? Still haven't unlocked Volpera or the other one. There are like 10 allied races. Which other one are you talking about? <laughs> Haven't unlocked anything but the Nightborn. There you go. There you go. All right, while I'm on this flight path, I'm going to take a quick chair stream and run to the bathroom. I'll be back in a second. Oh, there's an ad too. Perfect timing. Oh my god. Run away, little girl. Run away.
your enemies gather for another assault. Strike them down first and put an end to their threat. Prepare Take yourself! Battle. Returned. Oh, itchy eye. Um. Really, since the beginning, I'm lacking you. I, no. You know you don't. You've played little bits here and there. Like you, you know what I mean. It's not. It's fine. It's totally fine and okay. I don't have access to callings yet. That's the problem. Oh. At ease. Back to your post. Okay, at least that's home now. So where's... <laughs> oh, I have to... That's probably why I don't do it. Didn't do it on this one yet. I don't have access to callings. All right, bugger it. I'm gonna unlock it because I need to eventually. Anyway, might as well do it. The only time I get to have play. Let's try that again. Best do it while it, during the only time I get to play video games. Anyway. Ah, um, my It was Ray teleport for me. Perfect. Oh, it's very fast now. It's a quit. <laughs> before Zam. That poor for me. Night bomb week before Shadowlands dropped. Um, before Para, Zenlay Trolls, and hmm, have been mean to finish Mechagon. Voices. What have you created today? No Mario Warrior. Haven't we all? Do you think you can crash all the way? Well, of course! Of course! Need to three drop us in two minutes. Ah oh dear. All right. We get to work? Conduits. <laughs> this is a. What am I on a warrior? I'm on a warrior. C -c 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 -la -c -la classes. Here we go. What? I'm a fury warrior. I think. Yep. Here we go, Marilith. So much fun. We are the queen's fun. Despite your house's treason, even he speak. I proclaim calls. Ah, there we go. Okay. So there's the ambitious is up here. All right. That was quick. I thought I'd have to go to the bloody moor. I didn't. Good. He is indeed raiding. You knew here. Um, hi. 
We'll head up to Amateur Night first and grab that delicious anima. Our enemies gather for another assault. Strike them down first and put an end to their threat. I'm not sure where these are those so new content trigger warnings. Fair enough. Strength means everything to the Maldraxi. Prove that none can match. <laughs> it's dragon, all right. <laughs> Those always, especially when it's like right there in the middle of the screen, make me jump. <laughs> Panic indeed. That reminds me of Luke's X Wing. Nice. Afternoon. Hey, Mystic. Doing very well, thank you. Hope you can say the same. Raging Earth and Magma rise and take form against their will. Seething with the desire to be free, behold the unbreakable Earths. Earths. Wild and untamed, a mighty beast asserts its dominance and roars for old nature's primordial wrath, personified, the dinosaur. All right. Uh, sorry, those whisper pings. That was that was on my end. Um. So you being unemployed for a year up? Hey, fantastic! Wonderful news. Wonderful news. Um, where has been screaming for 40 minutes? Oh, Seeker. I'm so sorry to hear that. Are you okay? Sleep in the bed. Oh, Seeker. I'm oof. They gotta get used to it. <laughs> Mum's going on a trip in October. Now all of Maldraxxus knows you are not to be challenged. Let's see, X. They've done that. We don't do control crying or anything. Just tensions the both of us up and down. <laughs> Go to sleep, you little jerk. Yep. Yep. I feel that. Except when I'm saying go to sleep, you little jerk, I'm talking to my brain. Like, shut up, let me sleep, go away. <laughs> my brain, not me clearly. Of course, of course, understood. Hunt the child, wait, no. We had that conversation in Discord already. No. <laughs> uh. God, <clears throat> my sinus is getting really angry now. Like the inside of my head is itchy. It's the worst. The worst. Disrupted. Bones of the fallen. Awaken and greet our visitors. The house.
House of Rituals is conducting a rite of empowerment here. If you cannot stop them, destroy whatever emerges. What is the one that drops from the Nord something? Ah, uh, Nord Reigns of Battlebell and Warhound. I've reset, that's fine. I got a um a legendary memory. I keep forgetting I'm missing so many of those. And you're old and truly on yourself. <laughs> Test all my patients not to resort to shouting, threatening to confiscate toys, etc. Yeah, I can imagine. Parenting's still the hardest job. Now for wow. It's hard at times. Yeah, the Torian get to be rogues in the new expansion. Yeah. Um, mages, priests, and rogues, I think it was, are available to all classes um, in Dragonflight. They are working on other things. Uh, they're working on making other classes available across the board, but some of them actually have some tricky things that need to be worked out before they can do it. Um, uh, one big example that a lot of us kind of mentioned last time we were talking about this was druids. Having class, like race specific druid forms. Um, <laughs> and I mean, you know, people might be happy to make him Mechanoma Druid, but if it doesn't have mechanical bits, they're gonna be people are gonna be pissed. Uh, so yeah, it, it takes a whole lot more work to do some classes than others. Uh, but it seems that mages, priests, and rogues were a pretty easy one to do because they're the first three off the ranks. Easy to get into, hard to do, right? I will eat the wind monsters coming back. Up. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant, love it. I really, really want a Valkyria Pal Paladins are going to be another one that will take a while because of the class mount. Um, Paladins get a specific mount, um, like the Charger, That's and their um, uh, class, they're race specific. So it'll take a while as well. Maybe not as long as a Druid, but you'll be waiting a while. Um, no one should be worrying about the Mechanome's mechanical bits. <laughs> You know, you know, some people, some people. What about hunters? No mention, Zebra. All we know is mages, priests, and rogues, and that other classes aren't available yet because they have to do stuff with them. That's all we know. No other info. The, the rest of it, like the paladin and druid stuff, is us making guesses and assumptions. Beyond, like, we don't know anything for sure. Mm, wouldn't it be the hyena they already have? No. Why is that a paladin mount? What, what makes it a paladin mount? <laughs> Hunters don't have racial effects, do they? I don't think so, but they some classes may not have a shoot animation, maybe. Like, sorry, some races may not have a shoot animation because they can't be anything that can shoot. Uh, Mental, Zem, Glaffel, Dono, Ali, and Silver. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Like, just thinking off the top of my head, that might be a reason for it. I'm not, I, I genuinely don't know, though. I hadn't considered this. Yeah. Sometimes it takes a conversation to make things click, hey? It's kind of cool, though. There you go. Place your units. It's the last battle of the night. Uh, hunter races have specific star pets. Oh, also that. I mean, they could just grab existing creature models for those pets. Like, that. that is a possibility. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure uh, if they'd want to do that. Maybe they don't. And that's fair, too. I don't think about what could be a Vault Pally Mount. I mean, it could be a Hyena, but they'd have to Paladinify it. Plus the, uh, when they have their charger, their ability that puts them up on a thing, makes them run forward fast and then drop like that cooldown. That's got to be race specific as well. Like there's a whole lot of bits and pieces. Oh, y'all want to check the Discord for quality truly content. <laughs> Good, noted. Oh, 
Honoring the legacy of the Primus is a solemn duty. One owed by all who vow oh my God. to defend Maldraxxus. Let me bloody loot it. Thank you. you. Done well. All right, let's go turn this in. And get our egg that we know we're going to receive because we deserve it. Thank you very much. Hmm. Timey makes it look like Fear is saying Ugame. I've done that type of thing before, so it could be an alpaca. We'll do an alpaca. Yeah, potentially. Absolutely. Uh, but they're going to have to make that decision and then they're going to have to design it and get their art people to do it and all that kind of fun stuff. Excuse me. Our enemies gather for another assault. Strike them oh, excuse down me again. first and put an end to their threat. Oh, God, what? Oh, my sinuses hate me today. And what have you done lately? <sighs> no egg for fear. Well, no, no egg for Jasmine, technically. Next goal should be unlocking allied for me, not you, clearly. I've got them all and leveled them all up and have all the stuff, yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Zika. Jesus. I wish you could hand me candy through the screen. That would be lovely. Taking a tiny wee bite. Oh, I would be I would be taking the whole last thing. Let us be clear. <laughs> Simultaneously cute and terrifying. Oh man. How you doing? Where am I going? To that one. Perfection. State your purpose. If and our duty is true. Our purpose Go. pure. Um still very terrifies me. As an incentive to learn her. Brilliant. How are you? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Doing pretty well. Busy, but productive. All the good stuff. Expensive income incentive. Hey, Daz. I'm late. Oh, there is it. That's totally okay. Not a worry at all. You were never late to entertainment. You arrived precisely when you were able to. It's totally okay. Not a worry. It's good. Yeah, it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. Yeah, super, 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 super busy. But, uh... Yeah, good. Yeah.
Ah. <sighs> Bastion's a really pretty zone. Like, it's not really my aesthetic, but it is it is a very pretty zone. I can appreciate it. And there's a junk rat trap. <laughs> Too bright for my liking. Fair. Fair. It's a lot of pastels and very shiny, and when the light hits it right, it can be quite glary. Although... What with my key lights, like <laughs> they kind of outshine literally anything on the screen. So there's that. Revengeth is a bit depressing. Yeah, it was very stony and dreary and all that kind of stuff, but it fit really well. Like I think it fit the story really well. And I think Bastion did as well. Like I think it worked well for what they were trying to communicate. Um, two, two pastel. Yeah. It's a lovely zone. Yeah, definitely. Into the magic axis is rather depresso for me. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. No, I loved Revendreth's, like, you know, all the the stone architecture and, you know, the ruins and all that stuff was really funky for me. Uh, Maldraxxus is a bit icky. Like, I feel like no matter where you went, it'd be kind of sticky and squishy and no firm ground and just kind of ugh. Uh, but I, un like, I can appreciate the aesthetic is just really not mine. Ah, uh, Malandra having more character. Sonera just told by the style as well. Yeah, fair enough. Draxus would smell bad. Oh yeah, absolutely. For sure. Not steamy and unpleasant. I mean, there's literally, like, there are skinning nodes in Maldraxxus, which lends to the fact that Maldraxxus is actually just one big heaping creature that has like bones and bristles and pustules sitting on the surface of its skin. It's literally a flesh round, like a, a flesh realm. Everything's made of flesh. And bone and stuff. Makes sense. Just, I don't know about the mountains. But like literally everything else. <laughs> Mel's a giant ulcer confirmed. Ah, oh, no, there's too much variety for it to be an ulcer, I think. Um, but yeah, it is. It is definitely made of creature. Flesh there, bones here, pokey stuff there. Yeah, it's all like. Yeah. I feel like this is just like scaly skin and then this bit around here is like, you know, you'd, you'd step on it and it'd give a bit, kind of like wet sand, but it springs back when you remove your foot from it kind of thing. Yeah, it'd be disgusting. Disgusting as hell. I did pick up the quest. There it is. Okay, good. Four. I'm like, I did pick up this quest, didn't I? Ew, correct. Agreed. But I'm right. My brain can smell it. I have a headache. It is unpleasant. That's okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Hard mode is too blue for me. Fair enough. Someone's as rest as I sympathize. Uh. Terrorizing the skies above the Shadowlands, a winged nightmare descends upon the arena. A dread creature of immense necrotic power. Santa mm, I feel Rider. would love the Dragon Isles in general. Ah, well, we'll see. Give it about a year. I'm sure we'll find out. It's like, I don't know for the longest time, but it grew on me. Those eyes look so good. They do. They still look thematic without being like 100% over the top thematic. Like it's all kind of grass and cliffs and trees and water, but with those distinct differences between zones, but it's still actually land. Like this doesn't really look too much like land. If that makes sense. 
Like these these four zones are so different from each other. It'll be nice to go back to a place where it's conceivably part of the same world. I mean, again, granted, these are four different worlds that are not connected in any way except via Oribos, which is again a different world, like over again. But um, it will be nice to kind of have that connectivity again. Which would be nice. Hey, Dean. Welcome on in, you've been lurking. Thank you very much. I hope you've been enjoying yourself. Welcome in. I love Draka. Draka is amazing. Agreed. The House of Rituals is Dipper Wilson's even better. Empowerment here. The ritual will not be disrupted. Bones of the Fallen, awaken and greet our visitors. The House the of Rituals is conducting a rite of empowerment here. Bones of if the you fallen, cannot stop them, destroy whatever emerges. Oh, storm! I hope everyone's having a pleasant Monday day night. You too, Sass. You too, welcome back. Uh, I've been enjoying getting back into work again recently. Get the bubble tea out of the cupboard today. Fantastic. I hope it's delicious and enjoyable. Well done. High fives. Ever. Mine's pretty much gone. <laughs> Mine is pretty much gone. But that's okay. I enjoyed it. A willing sacrifice for the house of real bones. Will only strengthen my vessel. The ritual will not be disrupted. This too, and your disturbance matters not. For the ritual is complete. Behold, I'm gonna get out of the middle so I don't take a bone to the face. <laughs> Can I get the bone cleated foot pads? For transmog, maybe? In expansions to come, we're gonna have to put viewer groups together, like community groups together to go farm these old world bosses for transmog. What's your story? Let's take up the same size as the gummy burger. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I actually wanted to get a different one. It was okay that the bubbles were so sweet. It was like a shot of cordial. Interesting. What kind of topping did you have? Fix to confirm. Perfect. Ah, oh, so sniffly. Did not get gear, but that's okay. Excellent work. Right this way. <laughs> Go. Those cough shot and cough peach green tea ones. <laughs> that's okay. Um, yeah, so some some toppings are naturally quite a bit sweeter. So if you have like popping pearls, which are the ones you kind of crush up against the roof of your mouth and they burst into like liquid, those ones are filled with syrup and so they are very sweet. Um, if you get coconut lychee jelly, they are quite sweet as a baseline as well, but once you put them into a tea that is less sweet, sometimes it can take a bit of the edge off. Um, tapioca pearls by themselves, if you cook them up, are not sweet at all. Uh, you can add brown sugar to them while they're cooking, uh, and that will that will make them a bit sweeter. But by themselves, they don't they're not sweet at all. They kind of take on the sweetness of the drink you pop them in. Uh, 
Aloe vera jelly. I haven't cracked bubble tea club's aloe vera jelly yet because I've got the tin of it out there, but I haven't made it up yet. Um, so I haven't uh, tested it. Some aloe vera jelly can be really, really basic, but others are stored in a sugar syrup. So obviously it takes on a bit of that sweetness too. Um, uh, if you like a particular texture, but don't like the sweetness so much, you can rinse them before using them. If you're taking it like out of a tub and then like, if you're obviously getting bubble tea club because it's the best, uh, you can rinse this cause they are kept in a syrup and you can rinse the syrup off it before you put it in a drink or you can add it to your drink with the flavoring syrup and then taste it before you add the fructose before you add the sugar so that you can control the sweetness a little bit better. Um, but those would be my general tips for controlling the, the sweet taste in, in your at-home bubble tea. Um, so when I remember the tapioca pearls, yeah. Tapioca pearls are great. They're so fun and chewy. Uh, they do taste a little bit strange by themselves, but once you put them in a drink, they definitely take on that flavor a bit and it's, yeah, they're really good. You can get, of course, brown sugar pearls as well uh, or make them that way. And that definitely adds some sweetness to the pearls themselves, but um, that's extra effort. <laughs> Honoring the legacy of the prime it's extra effort. Oh, two minutes One until I can go back. I did this too quick, you guys. I was too efficient. It's hilarious. Ah, uh, looked at Bubble Tea Club earlier. Ah, yeah, they're the ones I'm affiliated with. To be clear, like, I am I'm affiliated with them. If you buy and you use my code to get a discount, I get commission. Um, you know, all the disclosure, disclosure and all that kind of stuff that is necessary. Uh, but genuinely, there's a reason I'm with them. And it's because they're fucking delicious. It's, uh, they're with the Bubble Tea Club. They're just, they're awesome. And honestly... Uh, the, the bubble tea club, like the, the bubble tea place I would go most frequently would be Gongsha. Um, and of course Gongsha does have more variety in their flavors and what's available and all that kind of stuff because I mean, they're selling a lot more as well. Um, but most, if not all of the flavors that bubble tea club offer it tastes better at home than it does from Gongsha. And that's a huge, cause Gongsha's fucking delicious. That's a big statement. Uh, so yeah, definitely recommend Bubble Tea Club. Uh, not just because I'm affiliated, but be like I was uh, shopping with them months and months and months before I um, became an affiliate. Um, yeah, so <sighs> Bubble tea is delicious, but I hear boba is bad for your teeth. Don't forget to brush. Oh, of course, anything with sugar is bad for your teeth. Anything with sugar is bad for your teeth. Uh, tapioca is very sticky. So if you're talking about like, if you have, uh, and tapioca is made, uh, tapioca pearls are usually made with a little bit of sugar in them. Uh, and they, they do get very sticky when you cook them. So if you get bits of boba stuck in and around your teeth, but it's like any other food, like literally any other food. <laughs> I don't think there's any particular ingredients that make them even worse. I think it's probably just the sticky thing, but the same could be said for gummy bears. So, remember Gongsha Supernova Weekend at South Bank? Awesome, awesome. Yeah, Cha Time seems to be the... Gongsha seems to be more popular in like city centers and around like that kind of thing. And then Ch it, it kind of fades from Gongsha into Cha Time as you fade, like as you get further away from the city. It's really interesting how that kind of stuff works, so. But yeah, sugary, t sugary drinks in general are absolutely horrid for your teeth. Uh, so yes, brush. Um, but like that's that's all sugary t drinks, not just bubble tea. And uh, boba is sticky. Uh, the tapioca pearls are very sticky, and they will stick to your teeth and stuff. So definitely make sure you brush well. Uh, but again, that goes for literally any food that is sticky. I don't think bubble tea in particular is worse than anything else. 
It doesn't have some magical enamel eating ingredient or anything. It's just a combination of sticky and sugar. But yeah, definitely brush because uh, you don't want to end up with $23,000 worth of dental to pay for. <laughs> I might save my first bubble tea for PAX weekend. You've never had one si Oh, Jesus Christ. I wonder what time they open. Have a look at Google Maps. Is there one left side of Melbourne? Is there a bubble tea around there? Like, Gongcha would be great, but is there a bubble tea place around yes, there um, that opens like somewhere between eight and nine? No, no eggs. Good God, this is not going well for me. You are seen. This is not going well for me. Um, this one. Where are the eggs? <laughs> Wait, fair. Where are Bubble Tea Club based? Melbourne. Uh, not in the city, though. They're out of it. Oh, I think that would be awesome. I so want to take you out for bubble tea before. Um, I was supposed, can't remember 100% which one. Usually 10 a.m. or so. Yeah. Because who wants bubble tea for breakfast? <laughs> uh, there's one in the DFO, if I remember. Should Google now. Yep. Absolutely. Let's go. Google Maps. South Bank, there'll be one close. There's a South Bank in Brisbane as well. Keep that in mind. Uh, and there is a there is a gongcha in the South Bank in Brisbane. So <laughs> uh, MCEC. Perfect. And now I want bubble tea. Hawkeye. Okay. There's a Trudan across the way that doesn't open till midday each day. Ah, Snow Bubble Tea. I remember this place. They don't open till one each day though, so that can that can suck it. Ah. <laughs> I wonder if there's one near where I'm staying. Where am I staying? Um, <laughs> no, there's not. Okay, that's fine. They're all on the other half of the city, like all of them. You have a look, you just type in bubble tea for the city and you see like there's a line down the middle of the city and they're all this way. Yep. The fuck even is True Dan? It's in Crown. Ah, oh, is it in the... It's in the food court. That makes sense. That'll be really easy to get to. Yeah, that'll probably be the closest one to the convention center by like a long shot. Um, there is Epic T at the DFO. It depends on what side you're coming from though. That's the thing. Cause the DFO is like that away. So like if you've got the MCEC here, DFO is here, the city's up here. So if you're staying in the city or in Crown or the nearby Airbnbs and stuff like that, and then you gotta go like past the MCEC and then back again, 
and that's like, yeah, I don't know. But it depends on when you're getting it. If these are all opening at like midday, then it's <laughs> right. Looking for a fight. It's right. When we have our when we have our sit down, uh, our um community gathering on the lawn on Saturday. Yeah, I'll just all have to bring my bubble tea. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, six new Chinatown. I mean, free city trams. Yeah, but that's time. It's still time spent. You still gotta actually go there. Uh, Fukuot doesn't have great seating. You don't have to sit down with a bubble tea, though. It's a drink. You just, you do this. <laughs> Uh, is it good though? I want my first try to be. Ugh. That's very fair. Need someone to do a bubble tea run? Yep, absolutely. Wholeheartedly. Um. Staying in Pran. Uh, hey, Eat. Welcome on in. I hope you're having an awesome day. I was on par with all I've had. I'm not a connoisseur by any means. Taking a heap of bubble tea to make up? I could. I could. Only problem is it'd be in the reusable cup and then I'd have to like put that in my bag. Which takes up like a chunk of space. I don't have a collapsible one, unfortunately. Definitely could. Rested from the twist Are we going to stay nearby? We're staying nearby. Not like super close. We're staying. We'll, we'll, we'll be walking there and walking back each time. But um, it's not a long walk. Be like sub 10 minutes. Uh, is bubble tea like a hybrid of milkshake and tea? Uh, not always, because like this one, this one's clear. Um, it's like green tea with fruit syrup. Uh, but it's tea with um, a, like usually either a fruit syrup or like a powdered flavoring that makes it milky. So like Thai or coconut or chocolate or strawberry, something like that, like flavored powder, creamer flavored creamer that adds to it um or yeah the, the syrups and then you add toppings so jelly or tapioca pearls or popping pearls and stuff like that um now all of yeah it's from taiwan not to be challenged lightly. it's good stuff quite sweet quite sweet um chat all no beyond the fact to with warm cups of bubble tea. Brilliant. Amazing. Ah, uh, you'd be the one who looks like a robot. <laughs> oh dear. Pran, how far out is Pran? Gosh, it's been a while. Oh, that's not too far. How are you with mornings, Seeker? The House of Rituals is conducting a rite of empowerment. There's mm, a mid-80s computer carrying a pile of bubble teas and how? <laughs> I love that so much. Of the fallen, awaken and greet our visitors. Oh, itchy nose. The House of Rituals is conducting a rite of empowerment here. If you cannot stop them, destroy whatever emerges. Sam is kind of approved it. Okay, noted. Noted. I'm not, uh, but I'm pretty sure you and Jas are going to be the only mods in attendance. So I'm having thoughts and things. That's all. But I've got months to to sort this shit out. So never mind me. And who knows, three weeks from now, you might decide you hate doing this. 
Oh, and asked me to demod you, so. <laughs> oh! Renowned 79! Sorry, I just managed to kill Mortanus. Um. This place, leave party. Congratulations to Elytria, Zam, Mizuma, Joe, Dupe, Dids, and DNC. Congratulations on all of your bonus shit. Uh, we're not doing any more battles for today. That's it. Uh, what I am going to do is finish off this last world quest, turn it in, get my box, open it up, and hopefully find an egg. Primus was the victor of countless hard find an battles. egg. Honor him by defeating enemies in this revered place. Uh, sinus issues are going around lately. Kids are getting all sniffly. Me too. Yeah, it really sucks. Uh, might have been going on for uh, two, three, maybe four years now. Yeah, no, I, I have, like, chronic issues. Um, I think it's something to do with my autoimmune condition, but we can't really peg it down. It's just a thing that is. Um, some days it's better than others, but some days it really it feels like I have marshmallows stuffed in my sinuses and they hurt. Like, right now I feel like my cheekbones are about to burst out of my face. Um... I can breathe, but it's heavily restricted. I'm I'm wondering if it's going to be one of those things that one day I'm going to have to have like plastic surgery to kind of open up the bone or something uh, in there to kind of let me breathe properly. But I don't have the anything for that at the moment. Um, so yeah, we're just going to have to we'll focus on the dental stuff first, and then once that's done, uh, maybe then I'll start diving into why my sinus is a crap. Um. But yeah, they're they're really they're really bad. I have like chronic sniffles. Like I, I never don't sniffle, like never, um, which is annoying and sucky. And I I know especially in like this kind of a thing, it really irritates people. And I get it it it, it irritates me, uh, but unfortunately, it's like that where I can't really breathe properly. I start getting kind of lightheaded, and then I have to sort of go, and it's not to it's not to sniff. It's not like it's dripping. Or that stuff's moving. It's more that if I actually focus and kind of open my sinuses, I can get more air. Like, it's just, it's so screwed. So screwed. Probably why I have so many headaches and stuff as well. Although that's likely the chronic dehydration too. Look, I'm just not a very healthy person. Let's, let's do a bit of that. Good way on Twitch Tuesday. Well done, build. Congratulations. Oh, uh, what the hell am I sleeping in without the kids around? Should I make the catch up? Uh, probably not, honestly. Like, your body is just so used to being up at that time that you'll just be like, oh, what? Uh, do you get the puffy, painful in mouth too? I often find when I sign this is what my mouth puffs in the roof too and it bloody hurts. No. No, I don't. Interesting. Okay. No. Hard, lumpy, and painful. I don't think I've ever had that. That's really interesting. Okay. Well, I'm like, maybe that'll help a doctor narrow it down though, right? I don't have this symptom. That's really good. Legit, like I have to do with the, yeah. True, very true. Oh, the hydrates. Honoring the legacy of the Primus is a solemn duty. One owed by okay. all who vow to defend so this one family. is a a necro lord. So I'm just gonna hook on in there and turn in this and get my egg. Who's ready to see fear get an egg? Me, me, I am. Oh, I'm gonna need to take some painkillers tonight. That really hurts. Okay. I haven't had a headache this bad for a little while. Uh, spoke to mum tonight, kids are sorted for PAX weekend. Ah, amazing. So good. Our enemies gather for another assault. Strike them down first and put an end to their threat. Okay. Everyone has to start somewhere, right? Renown 80. No egg. <laughs> Alright. Um, okay. Our menu. Yes, I've opened the bubble tea placing crown. I want to see the menu. Uh. 
So they have delivery from their Box Hill store. Classic bubble. So that looks like a milk tea with pearls. Milky Thai style, so Thai milk tea. Creamy Four Seasons. Sure. Classic taro. Taro milk tea. Double bubble. Ah, passion fruit QQ. So passion fruit with actual passion fruit bits, uh, coconut jelly and pearls. Honey chrysanthemum. Never had chrysanthemum tea, I don't think. Oh, maybe I've brewed it myself. Classic herbal jelly. So that's milk tea with herbal jelly. Instead of pearls. Milky Earl Grey. Good stuff. Uh, Rose meets lychee. Those are two of my favorite flavors. But that looks like it has coffee jelly in it, and I don't like that. Oh, and then classic. Oh, so they've got a quite small menu. Okay. Interesting. This is not this is not your gong cha. This is not your. They have like a handful of types of tea and you get to pick one sort of thing. So that herbal, the coffee jelly I was seeing is probably herbal jelly. All right, that's okay. I'm assuming that they'd be able to chop things out unless they pre-prep them and then sell them, which is uh, questionable. Questionable, but that's fine. Let's find somebody to love. <clears throat> egg! No egg. Uh, <laughs> um, what do I have to do with Mr. T near Tap Camp? Tap Campus, you let get to meet Mrs. Healy. It's totally real. I'm just to get done getting quickly. Yes, do now your Ember contributions. I'm looking for people to raid currently. So when I do that, no more contributions for today, and you won't be able to contribute again until Friday. I just realized I set the goal with four, four streams in mind and I'm taking a day off. <sighs> I am very good at this. What did we get to? Oh, 34. No, we're fine. Okay. Don't care anymore. Um, <laughs> I think we are going to go here. It's just gonna be an extra tough challenge. I believe in you all. I believe in you. You can do it. You can do it. I actually love the idea of being a situation like the invisible person who talks to you if any of seen. No. I mean, Mrs. Hillis does exist. Invisible guy tries to convince everyone he has a girlfriend who is also invisible. Not saying it is like that at all, to be clear. <laughs> Just wanted to think of Jute being all. Oh, yeah, she's totally gone to the loot uh, over there. Don't know who's that. This is Helix. I've seen a pic of her, so I know she's real. And you all get to meet Jas, who I can confirm also is real. Um, <laughs> it's fine. We will make it. We will. We will. I have faith. We did it too quickly. We're extra tough. Yep. Pretty much. Pretty much. Alrighty. We're going to send some love to a fantastic, awesome, lovely human. Uh, her name is Marari, but I usually call her Murari because that's how it's spelt and there's a place in Brisbane called Murari. And so that's how Brain... Yep, but her username is actually Marari. Good. Um, I'm gonna pop, whoop, Twitch raid. Here, grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fiamma Hype emote, either because you are not a subscriber or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, uh, your embers underneath the chat box, either which is totally okay, uh, you can still copy paste the whole message, delete the part where it says Fiamma Hype and drop in your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote uh, to send the love to Marari anyway. Um, I will see you not on Wednesday. I'm going to see you on Friday for some BC time walking. Uh, I'm taking Wednesday off because I need a bloody day off. I need a day off. Uh, so, so we're going to do BC time walking on Friday, some gold making on Sunday and wrapping back around to Mount Farm Monday on Monday. Do not forget to follow me on all the social media things. If you haven't already hit the follow button here, turn on your notifications, join the Discord for notifications, follow on Twitter for notifications when I go live, and of course, Instagram. Instagram is the big, super important one uh, for more notifications of when I go live. Plus, you know, like cute pics and stuff or something. I don't know. I'm not really sure. But take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I'll see you on Friday. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys.